Man, y'all got Toyotas or Mitsubishi's. This one, yeah, we got the Toyota, Joe. We got the Toyota, 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 yeah, that's an old school. We got some, we got some old black and orange Toyotas. They've been ordering those for years now. Yeah, I got those they, too. Yeah, they brand yeah, those, those, new. We got, we got two of those, but this is the oldest one we got. Yeah, I see the Toyota ones everywhere, everywhere. Yeah, we got, we had, and they they fooled around, and uh, last year they ordered a whole bunch of like these, these like mucus green mitsubishis man them toyotas is trash i mean they weren't toyotas though they're mitsubishis they was trash bro i don't know why they spent their money on on, on them forklifts man and don't nobody want to drive them the small ones they small yeah well yeah they, they are small man they got like the little handrails on the seat you don't have a lot of foot room and Hell no. and then no and, Asian guy, uh... and they tall the taller than the, well they're not they're not tall tall but they're taller than than the than the Toyota they one. Little engine man. Yeah, they them little bitty ass engine boy. They sound bad and everything. I'm like, man, who's who who gave the okay to buy these damn things? Like we out here making money and then y'all giving us raggedy equipment. Like that don't make no sense. You should have asked the forklift driver. <laughs> them right. things is. Them things is awful, bro. And it, and the big dudes, you know, we got a couple of big guys, man. You know they don't fit in them forklifts. We got some big, big guys, you know what I'm saying? We got we got some big boys on, on my dock, you know, like, yo, they can't get one ass cheek in that forklift. <laughs> yeah, we got some, we got some, you know, some old linemen and some D linemen on my job. <laughs> they not getting in that little thing. When I first learned, I learned how to dog them. Reach was then learning the forklift. Oh, the reach, oh boy. My, I got a homie that drive the reach. Started on that. That's where I learned that. Nice one, that bitch. I tell you that. I picked up something six stories up. <laughs> man, bro, niggas be whipping in them hoes, bro. <laughs> nah, yeah. I started in like a four-story warehouse doing that shit. I used to pick up pallets with like fifteen hundred pounds, two thousand pounds, pallets of coffee and shit. Jesus Christ. This shit is hey. old, bro. Like, this shit don't got no power steering. Like, you gotta turn the wheel 800 times for this bitch to pull. They're trying to maintain that hoe as long as possible before they have to get get rid of that hoe and get a new one. What yeah, you mean? That thing no power steering. That thing got too many. I'm looking at it. I, I can see it got about 2 million hours. <laughs> boy, boy. Yeah, this bitch got. Yeah, this bitch. Got some miles on it, bro. Shit, I'm looking at that oh, thing. Hours, that, I'm looking at the hours right now. That thing is 67,365. <laughs> that thing Dude, is that's how many hours? And mind you, that's probably probably service is reset. Yeah, yeah, they they didn't roll back the roll back the hours on that thing. <laughs> they just took the dash it's off of right now. They just took the dash off a different one and put it on. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> that thing is the last, the very, very it's last. So when, when, when I come out of reverse and go forward, it, it still roll back before I hit the gas. Like, this is like a fucking. It don't catch gears properly or anything. Zulu. <clears throat> Zulu with the George Davy. Damn. It's a whole lot of points to make it to level 39. Sheesh. 
I need I need two thousand more points. Mm. Um, I'm ready. I'm ready, bro. I hope, I hope, man, the main event ain't pulled out on me, man. Or the cold. cold I'm man, bad. Man. I'm a bad man. I'm a bad man. Look at that. Look at that. Forklift fucking master. <laughs> Forklift master. Where I am. Where I am. I could throw a needle with this forklift. <laughs> Uh, use the check mark emoji, please. I'm fine. Use the check mark emoji, man. We down, bro. Two, four, six, eight. We don't. We barely got enough fighters to check in just for three fights. There's only five fights. One, two, four, five fights. But we only got enough for three. Let me call in some backup fighters. We usually do. I don't need nobody ducking me, bro. Nobody. I need you to catch the fade. The boy Easy got a two week suspension because he got somebody surprised him with USC tickets last week the day before the fight, so he just didn't go. Damn. I was wondering what that suspension list was about, so if you miss your yeah, fight pretty he, much. Yeah, yeah, he told me he told me he, I seen him in the chat, he was like, Bro, he said, Lucky you ain't get, get fucking surprised with USC tickets twenty four hours before for yeah. a corny ass fight. Oh, he was mad as shit. He said, I just took a two week suspension for that shit. Well, yep. <laughs> I'm gonna say he had to go, though. I mean, can't let them tickets go to waste. Sure. I would tell you, uh, at that point, man, if I got some tickets, you know, to go to something I really want to do, yeah, I'm I have to take the suspension too, man. It is what it is. I mean, shit. We are we we grown right. We all grown. <laughs> it is what it is. Sometimes you gotta take a whooping. Let's see here. Um, sometimes you gotta take that whooping. Playing this game. Hey, 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 man, ten items or less. Ten items or less, man. You in the express checkout line. Man, that's y'all getting the tick. Flagrant foul. <laughs> Up in here with all that. Flagrant red card. Said, <laughs> said there's no self checkout. <laughs> So you know you don't have to show <laughs> your receipt to the Walmart people at the end when they ask you. Like wait. you legally don't have to. Say wait, say that again. What you say? You don't have to. You know the people that like I see your receipt, it's like Walmart and shit. Yeah. You ain't got on this. Oh yeah. Like you really don't. Have, yeah, you don't have to. What's gonna happen? You don't do it. Like my law. I mean, I'm not. I've seen videos of the people tripping on, on the motherfuckers that don't show them. 
but at court you'll win if they fuck you yeah. up. But I'm just saying. <laughs> I'll get my ass beat by a Walmart employee happily. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. I seen that. I seen that one video where that dude was trying to take the. He was like holding him from taking the cart back. He said, "Give me my stuff, bro." Man I was just holding on to the cart. He ain't let them check his receipt. That's all. Yep. <laughs> and then he's paper and he's up. Like, bro, what the fuck. In that situation, he should have just let that shit go. Like, he, he was stripping on that one. Like, bro, it's too much shit. It's too much shit in that basket for one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got to let that shit go. Yep, you should have just let it go. Because uh... he even told him he bought the shit. He had that boy it was like him uh -huh. and like two other people. He even told him, hey, I brought this stuff, bro. <laughs> Shit, at that point, man, they need to use their cameras and shit. They they ought to see. Use their cameras, yeah. Yeah, they seen what Ali come out of and everything. You got somebody at the door, but they ain't watching the house. He ain't watching. That's what I'm saying. So that's all, that's on him. He should have let him go because he should have been watching. He should have been watching him when he was checking out. <laughs> he's, he's gonna ask you got that much stuff. He's supposed to be watching them. He's supposed to. Be, he's, that's the that's the people he's supposed to be watching when they got a lot of it's stuff. If I do go to check that out. Yep. Are you gonna be mad at me for doing them wrong if I work here? Exactly. <laughs> Think it's me. Gonna let me check myself out. Make yep. me mad because I did it wrong. Because when they get past that door, you're supposed to let them go anyway. Once you get past that little, um, uh, little, uh, little uh, scanner or whatever, you're supposed to let them go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't supposed yeah. to chase them like and pursue that. them and all that. Mm -hmm. Man, I had I, I had a person did me like that. Man, I'm walking my car out to the car. Man, I'm like. Half, like I parked down to you know like way out there. I'm like halfway there. Here come a motherfucker running up on me. Like hey, how you doing? You have a good day and everything. I'm like yeah. Like uh, can I help you put everything in, in, in your car and stuff? I'm like man. I'm like where the hell you come from? Like what is this? This Walmart don't got nobody out here uh putting the groceries in the car. And they trying they trying <laughs> they trying to see if I was stealing some. I was like man, you better gone with that. I'm I'm already gone. Like you better figure it out. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, right. I'm, I'm done, but you better call the police or something. You think I stole something? Who, like, who is you to run up on me like that? Sure shit, though. People be taking their job way too seriously. For real, on some Superman shit. No, damn well, I ain't steal nothing. You know what I'm saying? But, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's not safe to be running up on somebody, you know what I'm saying, trying to do an investigation. <laughs> he said, bro, I was at the CVS once, man. I never thought I'd see this. A gypsy had the whole aisle under her dress. <laughs> the whole oh. aisle. She had she had that huh. two huge tie detergent cereal boxes. How the hell did it fit? <laughs> oh my god. Do you think the tournament and the leagues will change the rules with the addition on the power hooks? Man, yeah, bro, Goose people they, they are they are already talking about it, man. They don't want Hook City to prevail. But that's you, what are they or they already talking about putting it back at one point though? That, yeah, that's what uh, yep. Joe was telling me just now about 30 minutes ago. There was a section on how this duty. They talking about it right now. You go put your words in, BZ. They listen to you. They know your name. And, and, and where? Which one you in? DCA Undisputed General Chat. Man, they ain't going to listen to me, but I'm going to say what I got to say. I'm going to say. DCA John Undisputed I'm going to say, move your head. Move your have head. Have they tested it out for them to be, uh, <laughs> have they tested it out yet? Fuck no. Gancho <laughs> said he is. He's just testing. I mean, you y'all. is asking around right now. Yeah, I, you, I tested it out, bro. Like, you, I mean, you not, it, they, bu they buffed it, but it's like, the, how do I put it? Like, where? Where you know maybe if you caught somebody you I know like, talking about it. Talking about all fights, people are gonna get knocked out quicker. 
to I want to be able to box more than box. Yeah, stop. Don't yeah, exactly. Stop all this back and forth shit. Don't get hit in the face, bro. I don't understand. That's boxing, bro. You don't see exactly. boxers. Boxers can get knocked out just as fast as fight as the way this game is right now, bro. I can knock you the fuck out a few hooks if you let me sit there and hit you. Yeah. They got to understand what boxing really is, bro. If they want exactly. that, that's how they want it. They're talking about they want real boxers. Yeah, then that. you can't you can't hit me with sixty jabs in one round. Then that's not boxing. Yeah, exactly, like you can hit me with about seven and seven. You can hit me about ten of them bitches. Oh, uh, you got next. you got one round. That boxing man. Yeah, you got to get out the way, bro. Like they like saying they yeah, want a real, realize. they want a real, but they <laughs> but they don't want to duck and dodge. Four, four they, around. They gave us that around. slider. They, they gave around. us that slider for a reason, bro. <laughs> they, oh, they, they, they give you that slider for a reason, bro. Yeah, if you, you want to adjust it, you got, you got to move your move your head, move your feet, and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like the first thing I seen, I mean, you, you, um, Duke, you was there. As soon as I seen, I seen the damage. I was like, okay, people are going to head hunt. Then yeah, I, my then, homeboy, my homeboy, just said the same man. thing you saying, Joe. He said they trying to stop from getting the ass whooped. That's what they trying to do. <laughs> I said, like, nah, fuck that. <laughs> I, I seen I seen the damage. I said, okay, here come the head hood. Then I seen I seen okay they they uh they nerfed the body hook. I'm like, yep, definite head head hunt. And then on top of that, they uh they nerfed the guard. So people they gonna bust your guard up. So you you gonna catch a hook to the mouth. So and I did it immediately after I was like, yo, let me go ahead and play around like a serious round. I got I got the swinging and I'm like yeah I'm finna burn this dude's block as soon as I did whoom, heavy hook rocked him uh and I and I think yo it's I think it should be that way man I don't got no problem with it I think it should be that way move your head move move your hands and and immediately I said when they when they got it to where people are gonna be head hunting and the block is is gonna get burnt up I said it's gonna oh, yeah. cause more people to go to the weave at that point I'm you to uppercut the fuck out of you yeah at that point you got to use the weave and I'm like okay what's wrong with that there's there's no problem with you know hey you need to you gotta need to incorporate some more skill to your fight style you're gonna have yeah. to weave so out of box bro. <laughs> I mean, like, it doesn't make any sense, bro. It does not make any sense. You're going to have to, you know, look at your block bar and shit like that. You got to get in, get out, move around, pull back, you know, duck a punch or something it's, like that. Guard your head, man. Put your hands up. People are like, oh, no, I can get knocked out by a few hooks, man. Uh, no shit. That's why no, you're in a fight. I can't stand my straight back, set my step back straight. I can't spam it now. If he hits me four times the hook that counters it, I'ma die. You like supposed to be bitches, bro. Yeah, you supposed to die. No, that's what it is, cause like that's that's what it is. I can hit you with a hook. If you hit me with that right step back, I can counter that with a hook, a check hook, a check right hook. I just learned it yesterday fighting with with third. Mostly anytime you throw that right hand, bro, I mean your left hand, I can hit you with a right hand. So people you wanna get that people that stay live behind the jab all day. And shit like that are gonna be fucking done if they get, keep, keep getting caught by hook. They're yeah. gonna be fucking done, and they're not gonna like it. Hey man, I, I vote for I vote for motherfuckers getting done. That's what I vote for. <laughs> I vote for them getting done. I, I like that. And now it makes you have to actually box and be careful. That stay saying like they always just give us time to box. 1.5 damage you're gonna see too many KOs if you fight like that if you don't fight like that you'll be fine man Bro, where did I see this? I, I, all I seen different was like if the situation I seen is different is basically like where where like three flush hooks might rock you and we talking about three, like most of the time you're not getting three three flush hooks before the patch. Before this patch, you wouldn't even getting like three flush hooks. But let's just say you got like, uh, let's just say you got like you you did land three hooks, but they wasn't flush. So you got the dude head on red. Well, now you know what I'm saying two to two to three. You know, especially if you got a counter hook in there, two hooks, a, a flash counter hook. Yeah, you finna get rocked, and you're supposed to. You, you're not like that's the thing I've been telling people 
you know, in training and everything like that, when we be sparring and everything, when I catch somebody, I'm like, bro, that's a bad sign. If I catch you with one of them things upside the head, it's, it's a bad sign. That means I'm finna win. I'm telling you right now, like, I boom, and I see that you didn't, you didn't make no adjustment. Like, you just ate a hook, and then the next time I get ready to throw the thing, and you still standing there the same way, the fight's, you, like, the fight's over. Like, you don't know how to protect yourself. You gotta, you gotta make an adjustment. You have to. You have to. Like, if you don't know how to get away from right hooks, you dead. If you don't know how to get away from left, left hooks, you dead. If you don't know how to get away from, from straights, from the quick straight, you dead. If you know how to get away from power straight, you dead. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you stand there and let a fool uh, uppercut you from, like, two feet away to the chin, you're dead. Like, ugh. My daughter feeding the turtles. Remember? Master of the Sky. You ever see that? Oh. Master of the Skies was shit. <laughs> Master of the Skies, am I too turtly for the turtle club? Let's see what I want to do. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm so happy. That's hilarious. Let me let this damn dog in. Hold on, Max. Jesus. He got the most American dog name ever. Uh, Max said, right now. Right now, cuz. <laughs> That's just the most American dog. Yeah. yeah. Max. He's in right now. <laughs> Mazel calls him Air Bud. <laughs> He's an air bud in the movie. America. 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 <laughs> I wonder what kind of dog he got. Yeah, yeah, that's what, what I want to know. Well, what kind of dog is that? He named him Max. I bet it's like a it's like a rot. It's a it's a rot or like a Doberman or something like that. I bet it's a rot or Doberman. I think he has a Caucasian dog. <laughs> Caucasian dog. <laughs> yeah, he got a Labrador Retriever or something like that. Man. <laughs> Alright, fifty bits, bro. Fifty bits. He got. He got a black man dog. <laughs> All right. If he got All a white. Right. If he got a white man got dog. Pitbull or yeah, yeah. He got Pitbull Rottweiler. Yeah, he, he got a black man dog. He he better not right. come back here. You. If he say he got motherfucking Chihuahua, he bro. Chihuahua. He better not. <laughs> It's gonna be hilarious, bro. I gotta. He bet. He bet. He better come back and say he got a Rottweiler, bro. He got a. He got a Doberman. He got a French Bulldog. Yeah. Baby. I swear, if he come over here and tell me he got a Pomeranian, bro, I'm I'm turning the stream off. <laughs> Zay. So you kick out of it. You gotta come back with more manly shit than that. Yeah, yeah. I'm finna, I'm finna <laughs> drop him off a new dog. Stealing Max. Yo, Max, you gotta go, man. I'm gonna drop you off somewhere else. <laughs> so, so I'm about to go. I'm about to to get home, brother, and get ready for that smoke. What do you say? You about to get ready for that smoke? Oh yeah. Well, yeah, I'm finna ring them up. Finna ring them up. I can't wait for the damn for what is it? It's already one o'clock. They should have. They should be having. A, let me turn on the stream. A fight should be coming on. What the hell? Who the hell? They should be. They should already have a damn. Uh, this guy Gerardi is just talking on his ass. He, bro, he just like talking on his ass and said. There it is, yeah. The undisputed, uh, the WECB has went live, baby. Let's go ahead and pull it on over. Let's 
so we can get some fight analysis. <sighs> I'm not gonna give up the sauce. I'm just gonna see what I see. You know, call it like I see it. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not in here. I'm not gonna be a commentator. I'm just gonna talk about the shit I see and and, and where and where the knockout gonna come. You know, and like like they said, they you know they increase counters and they increase you know um, flash KOs and stuff like that. I was trying to trigger something today. I didn't. I wasn't able to trigger anything. So you know, I think I'm they. Telling I, you, I, they I only th come in the middle of the stages, bro. It happened yeah. to me twice yesterday, the same exact way, the yeah. same way it happened. Yeah, I was sitting there just training with angles. Mm -hmm. And my stamina was down in the middle of one of my punches. He caught me. I'm telling you, it's just all about that timing, bro. That, oh. I think that's what it's all. It has to be the perfect timing. Then oh. it happened with Jay Surge in there. We, we was in there just throwing with each other. Yeah. I threw something, and he just came over with a perfect, perfect left hook, and he just finished. Yeah. It happened with, with me and me and Duke last night, man. We was it, in yeah. fact, it was it was the first round. I had a Tiro Gotti. And um, I forgot who he had. I think he had night. I think he had Nigel Ben or he had Ben. Nah, he had Connor. He had Connor. And then you know, I was just, I was just, you know, uh, it was the very beginning. You know, we just throwing. I'm just throwing some one twos, one twos. And then uh, I was trying to do a, a standing straight to the body. And soon as I, soon as I threw that that right out, he just fell over dead. I was like, yo, what happened? Did did? <laughs> They're always counting. Always a counter that does it. Yeah, never I was, a regular. Punch. Yeah, it always was a counter punch. Yeah, I don't think this. Uh, like I was, I was holding a button to do a standing, a standing straight to the body, but I think he just got hit in the head, and bro, that was it. He just broop fell over. I was like, what? It, it was like, it was like Flash a. Was fun, right? Yeah, it was a flat. It was a, it was a full KO, not a ten count. And I was thinking to myself, yeah, saying, go ahead. Like the punch itself was a counter punch, though that yeah, that did it. I think, that, yeah, I yeah, always, yeah, I think so, man. Because it, always, yeah, we was, was counter punch flash KO. Yeah, we was right on top of each other. You know, we was we was in the phone booth. So like before, like before the punch could even like really just come out, he was already falling. I was like, what? And I, you know, uh, you know, I was still, you know, I, yeah, it was crazy, man. It was crazy. I was like, that's yeah, that's wild. I didn't, I did not expect that at all. Same thing happened with me and Serge and me and Angles. Yeah, I, I thought Angles because the way it was fighting, I knew he was gonna probably tire me out in like the tenth or twelfth round. But bro, like in the middle of one of our changes, he just like poof, KO. <laughs> and it's just a perfect timing thing. Like, yeah, if you're, if you're a better counter fighter, you probably can get way more flashes, KOs, bro. Yeah, it's I, only yeah. counter punch. Yeah, it's just like button. Like if you get if you get into the wrong set of exchanges, man. You know what I'm saying? Like you throwing one twos, one twos, and somebody you know just hit that uppercut at the right time. You know, just it's just perfect timing. Yeah. You just it, and it's when you hit. It's not even like it's it's beyond. It's it's more of an anticipation thing than it is timing. Cause you gotta have you gotta do it like ahead of time. You gotta anticipate he gonna throw. Y'all damn near gotta throw it at the same time. Like, yeah, this, yeah, long. like the same, like like you threw a left and 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 I threw a right, you know, at, at the exact same or le you know a left and a left with an eye. It's like a it's like a left and a right. Yeah, you throw a left and I throw a right, and it's gotta be like the at the exact same time button press the right distance. It's gotta be flush, you know, right on the button. You gotta stick track on man, and yeah, it happens. It does happen. Now, I think I think you can, uh, but I think it's you know anticipation, man. I think you can you can anticipate somebody and uh and and get a, a flash knockout, man. It's like it's like if you're really really watching the, watching the game, watching the screen, you know you don't have any lag and everything's running smoothly, man. You'll be watching a fighter, especially if you got faster hands than the other guy, and it's like every movement they make is in slow mo. Like you can you can predict them. But you got to be really locked in to to the fight and the movement and stuff like that. You can predict you can predict a fighter. Ask Joe about them double stuns last night. 
What happened? What happened, Joe? Who's that? And that was Jay Surge. He said, what about them double stuns? I just told you. Remember he fucking... He <laughs> played KO. Oh, okay. <laughs> maybe I maybe he... him, right? Maybe he didn't no, no, hear listen, listen. No, listen, listen, DG. I, we were fighting. We were fighting, and I stunned him. Uh-huh. And he was backing up, and I ran up. I ran up to finish him, and he power punched me and stunned me back. And we were both just stunned. stunned right <laughs> in front of and then we just both started throwing slow ass punches to see who was gonna go down. And that, that shit was just funny as shit. You know? I've I've had that happen to me too, man. Like I rock somebody, and as soon as they got stunned, they threw a power and rock me. And then we was there with the with the slow ass punch. And, and yo, I got I got I got rock I, I got dropped, man. A little the little slow slow mo missile hit me, and uh, I went down. <laughs> yeah, I ended up getting it. I ended up getting it. I might as well go to break. Fuck it. Let's see what DW. Oh, no, let me see what WECB talking about. Let me see what they talking about. Did you like wrestling, DV? Like wrestling? <laughs> yeah, I, I used to watch wrestling back in the day. I, I mean, I ain't. They got the new out. The I new st- WWE. Yeah, man, I don't know about playing a wrestling game. The last time I watched wrestling, I man, Stone Cold was still wrestling. Uh, 316 oh. or Rattlesnake. <laughs> no, I never, I never enjoyed playing it too much, but it was, um, it was all right. Uh, that that was like that was, on my way out, you know, when I was when I was stopping, when I was about to stop watching wrestling, you know, Stone Cold was it after he had got injured and then, you know he had that neck injury or whatever it was and he wasn't coming back and all this and I was on the way out of wrestling, man. But I I used I used to love watching Stone Cold, man, smash the beers open and be drinking them things and throwing up the middle finger and people be talking crazy to him and he hit him with the Stone Cold stunner, boom, you and he turn around and you get some too, boom, he stunned every goddamn body. <laughs> I'm like, yes. I love that shit. I love some Stone Cold like, Steve Austin. Rattlesnake. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah. You were all set in place. Like if me and the other commentators joining me, if we see a lot of spam going on, and I mean like the same, the same arm spamming, oh, just going to the body the whole fight. Uh, uh, we will start deducting one point per round. The spam has been oh, played Oh, you hear so this, guys? Well, you know how. Hold up, listen to this. Um, it's the best way to go about it. Can y'all hear WECB? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before so you go, anyway, BG, what kind of dog you got, E man? E- 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 what kind of dog you got? Sports League. It's a Yorkie, uh, a Yorkie poo. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh man, <laughs> fifty bits, fifty bits. <laughs> Damn it! Damn it, man! I was, I was like, he ain't, I was like he ain't got, he ain't got a white man's dog. I'm like, yo, he gonna come back and say he got a Rottweiler, he got, he got a Doberman, he got a Doberman or something. I'm like, no, his name Max. That's a white man's dog. <laughs> Damn! Ah. Oh. Nah, I'm like, he gonna come back with a Pomeranian? Nah, I don't do it. <laughs> I'm not like he got a pit bull or something, man. Oh, my God. That's <laughs> man, if it was a pit bull, I'd have gave him a stronger name, bro. I just, when they first, my mom's an old uh, employee, brought the dog up. I'm like, what the hell is this? Said, okay. Uh, <laughs> all right, he, he's redeemed. He's redeemed. He didn't go out and buy that dog. The dog was a gift. <laughs> <laughs> it was a gift. It was a, it was a gift to dog. He he didn't pick it, but I but I I still lost the bet. He still get the fifty bits. <laughs> he the dog was inherited. All right, so so every now and then some weird things happen in life, man. And, you know, you you end up with the, you end up with the albino or something. You know, like it just happened. <laughs> oh my god. I know the next dog I'm getting, he's gonna be bigger. I know that much. He's gonna be bigger. Join me today. Max, I already get up there in age, I gotta get, you know what I'm saying, at least get something something to have prepared for whenever he decides to uh, (laughs) leave this place. Commentate application, let me know. Max, like, what, 13? Get your trial going. Yo, yo, Jay Surge. 
comments, yes, commentary. <laughs> Yo, they said they taking commentary. Uh, gone, invitation. The Everyone's looking forward to you tonight. <laughs> they take. Oh, bro, they need commentators. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they take. Yeah, they taking them, bro. Main event. They take. Ooh, look at your boy Beard. Look at Beard and Beck with that L on his record. Look at that L I put on his record. That's right. You fought, you fought the beard. You fought the bearded neck. I was like, I know that name somewhere. Um, wet uncle. Wet uncle better whoop his up. Boy, he better whoop his ass. Uh, especially the. Well, the next. Can uh, can y'all hear the uh yeah, the commentators right now? I think that's gonna be a great. I'm on the phone right now. That's why I can't hear. Oh yeah, J um, Surge, you definitely fun. should. Bizarre and the Bam Man. Looking forward to that. I'm not even on your stream. I'm just on Discord. Uh, oh, that's right. You're on Discord. Okay, on the stream, can you hear it? Is there a bell on the line? No, there is not. Not tonight, no. But uh, we will start having some championship fights in the future. Um, if you guys didn't tune in to our tournament we had on, I believe it was last Saturday or Friday, one or the other. But I blow Oh yeah, there the go my headphones, fellas. I see y'all in a little bit. Let them charge for a little bit. I right, know. Yes, sir. Within the WECB, so uh, congratulations again to I blow zips. And I feel like it would be unfair to make what him. What was Sarah saying, saying about the. Uh, early. Is he just become champion? Well, you know, I was just talking about the 1.0 shit. Saturday, or the damage. Oh, uh, oh, okay. Okay. The damage sliders or whatever. E's versus I'm reading the chat trying to see what the hell uh, is. Yeah, they always seem to get matched up in tournaments. That's your fucking double stands. Uh, dead ass thing about it. Within the oh, okay, okay, okay. But, uh, yeah, they do get matched up often within hmm. okay. the WECB. So, um, I think they just have a thing for each other, you know? <laughs> they got a the thing. They just enjoy fighting. I'm listening to these commentator, the commentator right now, trying to, trying to uh, figure. It. They was talking about how they was doing uh, rule changes and stuff earlier, but uh, I didn't catch it all. They talking about all these rule changes coming. What else? My jaw will fall off as it does every fight card or tournament I commentate on my own. Wait, who do? What do you say? He needs some help. Definitely needs some help commentating. Hey, if no one does. Oh, oh yeah, you don't want us on the Yeah, I'm getting in there, bro. He said he needs some help. I'm, I'm in yeah. there. You need some help. I'm have a four man yeah, panel I mean, in there. Be like, what's yeah, up, we can, man? I mean, we're not we're not gonna have anyone in yet, just in case. No, don't don't, don't make me get the collar shirt and, and, and play the part. Have a wear, have a too, have a collar shirt with some basketball shorts underneath. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that's me. That's me every day. <laughs> Okay, but it's nice to know the soundboards. So, well, I'm like, yo, they can't like see my like shorts. The, Thanks for doing that. Like the reporters was doing during COVID, bro. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. <laughs> but by the way, um, the soundboards... Yo, I'm telling, I'm telling you, Jay Serge, you should you should be yeah, on it, bro. Just because we don't want the soundboards You should be doing it, bro. Scammed. So use it sparingly. Um, yeah, so, but hey, at least we got a, at least we got a sound. How they got a, uh, they got a mirror match with, uh, with, with, uh, what's well, the yeah, name, uh, if no one does join the commentary desk, a Garcia uh, mirror match, yeah. fights, we will definitely get you in. Oh man, they said they'll take me in commentary. Yo, uh, J Surge, if you want to put, put your, I may need to get put your, the uh, together. You want to put it in there? Actually wants to cause you, play. cause you know I'm gonna talk crazy. Because like I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> they better so not be out. Uh, make weekends completely fine. Understand that. He's they, good. they better not be. You know, oh, talk. Oh, oh, Trig, I was just in the middle of a fight when. when being you all asking, quiet. So. Oh no, no, you're good, you're good. They better not be all quiet and shit. Like, oh, it looks like he's throwing a few jabs. A few jabs today. Uh, is Down to the body he goes. Bro. <laughs> What do you mean, uh, Those body <laughs> shots, he's walking right through them. Uh, they look like they might tickle. Um, but yeah, guys, start your fight. No, you have to be like this. Well, um, he's setting good pace right now. <laughs> they both have dust. <laughs> Drinking tea with the pinky very good up. Very, oh, very, very, very he's. Good. How do they say it? He's. He's in. He's. He's in a. A, a bit of a, a tussle right now. 
His head moving. Head, head movement is looking rather, 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 rather poor. Yeah, ra rather poor. <laughs> he said, "Oh dear, Watson, it looks like he was dazed by that lovely left uppercut." <laughs> dear Watson. <laughs> Look at that model tone shit. I'm 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 talking about how like how uh how Bud Crawford hit Porter when he jabbed him. Oh he hit him flush with the right jab. <laughs> He's eating them 20 percenters. <laughs> I'm saying I'm be on it loud. This is bad news. This is bad news. I'm smelling an upset. He's wobbling. Knees like Megan, folk. Knees like Megan. That shit is clean. You know what I'm saying? I need to find that knockout. Let me know if the mic is going weird. I need to find the long rocks. I'll say some shit to have people mad. I do. Ali would be turning in his grave if he seen him fight. He seen himself fight like this. <laughs> Fine for me. Oh, okay, it might just be Discord. Right? What are you doing? Is that is that Ali or is that Freight? Who is that? That's not Ali. Yes, and it's just Discord. Uh, oh it's dear, Discord. why I said it looks like Discord, is he gonna yeah, be get that that comfy box out of here? We won't need it for this fight. Man, I'm telling you. Ah man, yo, somebody. Somebody give me a sub. I got the commercials and shit at the beginning of the fight. <laughs> Somebody give me a sub. <laughs> Somebody give these boys a sub. And I hopefully I catch it. Finna Odell that motherfucker. Finna right. Odell that motherfucker. Alright. Hell nah. Alright, let's see here. I don't even I don't this even like heavyweight corner. fights like this, man. Indeed, indeed. Yeah, Joe Joe Lewis. So and it kind of looks like to start off the fight. I was like, that ain't Ali. He's just kind of using the range of Deontay, using the jabs and straights, keeping his opponent at bay. And we see this a lot in the tournaments. In the tournaments, Deontay is one of the main picks in the heavyweight division. Just uses the damp, uh, the jabs. And you know why they got? Why all these heavyweights got stiff no, neck models, man? Like they neck is just. Reach, might as well use it. it look, it look like the top of a faucet. The <laughs> <these guys already. laughs> neck models is weird. The second ago. Let's take a quick look at the predictions. See what everyone's got. They did. I did notice they buffed the uh, flash knockout. So, yeah. Like, we're supposed to see more flash knockouts, so Deontay Wilder yeah. could be an interesting pick in these fights. Yeah, right yeah, yeah. That is very interesting. Flash knockout. Okay. I don't think the flash knockout is gonna be be that big of a deal. Damage and stamina. We could see more. Hanzo gifted. Hey, I got and one. Deontay's got the fifty. I got the gift. To I told y'all we're gonna catch the thing. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, all of a sudden. Boy, T O. <laughs> I told you. I told you. So, Ken Shiron. I think I pronounced that. I think that might be the first name, the first technical name I've ever pronounced correctly. Appreciate the gift of the bazaar. Come on. You guys go crazy with the subs. Do appreciate the support. Hands up. Shout out to Joe you, Joe Lewis doing a good job of trying to get inside there. <laughs> yeah, and we see this all the time in the heavyweight division when someone comes against a Deontay fighter. It's just, they, they struggle to, to kind of close that range in. Yo, yeah, green thumb up in here. Oh. Yeah. Dr. Green Thumb, what's going on? Welcome to the WCB, appreciate the follow. Ooh. Final seconds of round one. Love the new big power cross. What's up, Wayne? What's good, baby? Just then, and that is round one in the books. I got a, I got a fight coming up. Eases round based on him using his reach. Um, he landed more volume. Who see, I mean, baby? Just, probably go either way as far as the damage shit is concerned. Yeah, that makes sense. It's probably gonna go either way, but like either way, you'll be able to. 
Now I got about I think I got two fights in two two maybe three fights in front Again, of me. Guys, do apologize for the <sighs> stream quality. <sighs> Um, <laughs> at least we're not parsec, right? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> at least we're not parsec! <laughs> I love it! It's better than parsec. I know a lot of you love it and some of you hate it. It's kind of a, a mix. A mix of both. <laughs> Mouth of the South commentator. Oh my goodness. Let me give him some biddies for that. Let me give him some biddies. That would be fun. I mean, hey, love it. At least we're not perfect. <laughs> Bizarre with a hundred bits. Yeah, I'm starting off strong with the support today. We already got a hype. Oh no, the hype train is closed. Or the hype train just started. I don't know. We've got a hype train. It, I think it'd be really interesting to get uh, Bizarre and J Surge in here. Commentating. <laughs> he said he said he might get us both. <laughs> That's great. That's funny. You guys are streaming, and uh, of course you can still stream while commentating. But if, when you are communicating with your own chat, oh, uh, you from you in Discord. Let me see here. Uh, angles. <laughs> let me see here. Nah, bro. I, I tested it out no, for just, a couple I hours, bro. My Discord mute on a hot let me, let me, uh, there we go. I had tested it out for a few hours, bro. I did see that the, um, that the, the hooks are a little stronger and they did nerf the lead body uppercut. Um, they, they're already playing on one X stamina. So now, like, now I feel like you're not doing next to no damage when it comes to the stamina bar. I think that's going to be a problem. Um, but outside of that, bro. Um, I seen like it, what it, what the fights look like, bro. Is it seem it looks like you're gonna see a lot more fights with a hundred percent stam and uh and people head hunt people head hunting. You know what I'm saying? Like it, you're probably gonna see a lot more uh KOs like in that. They'll be late though because I don't think the KOs will be early. I think the KOs will be late, like eight eighth round, tenth round. You know they're gonna be running a hundred percent stamina for you know eight rounds, so it's gonna feel a little weird. I think that they need to bump up the st the stam damage so that you don't have that. So it'll you know kind of it'll kind of shake up, uh, it'll shake up you know how people fight because if if they if you're not gonna get rewarded for going to the body, then people are gonna purely headhunt. You're gonna start seeing hook spammers. It's gonna be a pure head hunt, and uh, I don't I don't know if that's the right way to go about it, but we'll see. I can't really tell how people are gonna play right here in heavyweight, but we got I think we got two more fights before me, and we're gonna see uh, what what meta these guys are gonna to try to come up with <clears throat> that are not heavyweights. I want to see what meta they try to go for, but basically. Uh, you no longer need a golden ticket to Hook City. Bro, the Hook City uh, bus is packed. You know, just get standing room or whatever. And uh, whoever can't get on the train. Um, you know, I don't know if you ever seen Centurions as a kid. Or maybe you've seen Star Trek. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start beaming motherfuckers straight to Hook City. Hook City just moved to space. I'm going to beam you up, Scotty. <laughs> That's what's going to start happening. I'm finna beam them. Instant transmission. <laughs> the hooks just got more powerful. Let's go back to the commentators. I think that's what a Cardi's game plan's been kind of catching with. Because uh, I'm bad. Hard for him to land shots to the head. Of these, especially with Deontay's height and reach, to so the fact that he's kind of trying to catch them. Uh, counter body uppercuts. Good game plan from Cardi. Ooh. I think he's just still just doing a phenomenal job keeping his range, catching him with the counter left hook, stepping in with the one twos. Definitely been working for him. Who's Joe Lewis? Is that? Who's this Joe Lewis before I say anything? <laughs> is there anything <laughs> about it that we know? I say what I want to say. Say what? Oh, I don't know. 
Is, is this girl? Do we know this girl lose? I mean, oh, I have no yeah. idea, bro. Uh, really oh, let me let me look at the car. Body is gonna be hurting at this point. Let me look at the car real quick. The right side of his face. Um. Um. Yeah, this is bearded neck versus hey, wet uncle. He's selling it. Is it right now? I, I, I believe that's who's fighting right now. I have to say, while they got no power in this game, well, apparently he's got a buff. <laughs> Um, Be the next play in the same way he played yeah, with uh, French. Oh no no this is this is e this is the uh the, the EZ versus TM Cardi that's yeah, who that is so EZ versus really TM Cardi. Bearded John Lewis is that? Yeah so TM Cardi is Joe Lewis and EZ is new, Wilder. The, the new patch is I came out today. I you want to know something? Oh, you want to know something funny about the water as well? It did, What's it that? You probably noticed the stats yes. for what is this water doing wrong? I didn't say specifically. <laughs> yeah, I guess if it's for 19 fighters, it's hard. Uh, say say that again? I couldn't hear you. That announcer is kind of loud. What do you think is the acid water is doing wrong? What did he just say? Good boys, A, hey, what's going on, Angle? How are you doing today, sir? Why is this shit? Oh, Patch notes were like, play other game, we did nothing. <laughs> Alright, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna read all of the long stuff, but gameplay We're changes, fighting off the back foot. Flash knockout chance. Increase the chance of... He tried to get a little more, more aggressive, but I don't know. We'll see. Bruises. Increased stamina usage. He shouldn't be playing like that with Deontay. Damage dealt by especially with the especially with the update on the powerful punches. Like, come on. It says bug fixes, general improvements to how we handle online connections. We're gonna see though. Moved counter punch modifier from the speed category to strength category. Fixed an issue causing the fights. I noticed John Lewis is getting beat, beat up though. Laughing with other areas of the game. Fixed an issue that caused players to sometimes get stuck on the transition screen after being kicked from a custom lobby. Fix the issue for Sergio with his trait display. Fix multiple issues relating to taking a knee. So that's kind of interesting, giving Monday's stuff. And then it says a lot of other general bug fixes. And then it just says fighters have gone through another iteration of balance adjustments with stat changes to Ryan Garcia, Josh Taylor, Joe Joyce, and 19 other boxers to make them feel more in line with the real life counterparts. Please continue to share feedback around whether or not a boxer. Okay, interesting. So, that's so, kind of a... Sounds like we fix Sergio, so we might have to unban him. Oh, goodness. oh, there he goes! Oh my God! Damn, that was There's crazy. that flash knockout. Oh shit! Effect. Wait, what? Oh shit! Taking long to go down. I didn't see him. Oh, okay. He must have heard me talking shit. Hold on. Away, I believe. Wow. Okay. Okay. Maybe some changes have been made. Oh, he's come out the corner stunned though. Okay, he's good now. Whoa. Oh, okay. Yes, knock this man. Ooh, he, he must have heard me talking wow. shit. Ooh. <laughs> 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 oh, <okay. laughs> make me shut up. I so said he was playing ass too. He must have heard me. He must have heard me through the grapevine. <laughs> through the grapevine, boy. I'm telling you, the internet moved fast. Boy. Tell you, t t boys be sleeping on my boy Joe Lou, man. Oh, see, see, t told you about my boy is a gangster, bro. My boy used to be wearing the fedora with the suit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> old, old school, bro. <laughs> Tell you, bro. My, hey, my boy used to be a hey, pimp, bro. Nah. He used to be he used to be real dapper, bro. He said powder up before before the match. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he got bear, the bear claw. OG bear claw. Uh, put the powder on his hand. Put the powder on his hand. Then he put his glove on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Pimpin' ain't easy. Kind of left hook now. Landing a barrage of counts. We all boys don't know nothing about. Stop! 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 Bane, stop commenting on these people's tech. What's wrong with you? Said, wow! Side step, body hook to the head. Stop, stop, stop naming sauce, bro. Can't be doing that. <laughs> Don't name the sauce. Stripping. And again, guys, feel free. Is Bane in here? I know he, he he probably not in here right now. He probably in there, shit. Channel points. You can now use the soundboard. 
work butt on her. Nothing about no side step body hook. That's that's right. advanced. That's yeah. advanced cheese, boy. boy that's, you know what I'm saying? Right. He tell he tell her everything. He gonna go ahead and name all the punches, man. He 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 double tapped up with the quick step. And that was a right that was a right straight to the jab. Body hook. <laughs> body hook to the that was a lead body hook to the right um the right hook to the head and that was actually a directional hook. <laughs> like God Lee bro he gonna come in there and, and, and do the whole button combo verbatim. <laughs> What's up? Kicks and giggles. And even as he got knocked down. Oh, that's, oh, that's, er, that's old girl from uh, er, early on. I'd be telling people what I was gonna do when I was fight when I was fucking around with them, you know, like two, two, three weeks ago. I'd be like, Lo, look out, look out, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna hit you with the left jab, I'm gonna step to the right hook, go back to the left jab, and then step back to the right hook. Man, boom, they out of there. I'm like, Man, I told you. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> I told you. I give them that shimmy. They be thinking that I'm out of stamina. I hit them. I jab. I left jab, right hook, and I come back to the left jab. They think I I don't got another another right hook in the tank, and I, boom. I'm like, oh, what had happened was what had happened. Ooh, that boy, Philly. Boys be sleeping on my boy Joe Lou, man. He said, he said, counters do stamina, but they don't really do nothing to change. I got a hundred for three fighter. Ch chocolate hands talking. Ch I, I don't know where, I don't know where Zip's at, but chocolate hands show is talking. You're, what up? Sauce live in the building. If you manage to turn around going to be hiding for a little bit. He says, yeah, zip, 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 quiet right now, I guess, man. Y'all said he left, he left the, 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 sir, uh, the Discord and everything? I just hate that he went like that, He left because he got beat in a spar, bro. He didn't even have to do all that, because I, I was watching it on Jason. I even seen the face surge, man. He was like, fuck, dude, he's tripping right now. He started, he started complaining. He's like, oh, you, you want to do is throw one punch? I'm like, bro, it's not that serious. Just beat it. <laughs> Hey. See what he's doing. He didn't, he didn't even get a chance to, uh, no explanation, no nothing. He just did. Last just did. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, oh, no, man. It is what it is. Hey, and then, dude, you know, when people get belts and shit, yeah, he, like he got he got the welterweight belt, you know, my head might have been a little big. Well, man, what was crazy for me is he was all hyped up on how well everybody performed that day. We were up 4-1, I think, in everybody's fights that day on the cards. And then me and him sparred, and he had a... He beat me yeah, just in, range in the spar, and I, everything was good. And then I was throwing all them spars and commentating and shit. And then that oh, shit was damn, rock of hooks landed. Yeah, go ahead, Jason. He rocked that boy. Go down, no Who went in this fight? Uh, the Joe Lewis. It's uh, TMC Cardi. Cardi, yeah, yeah, Cardi. Cardi, Cardi, dog, and easy right now. That's my boy, Cardi, my boy. Oh no, Cardi just got rocked. He caught him slipping, bro. He caught him slipping. Oh my goodness. He did. He caught Cardi a dog though, bro. Yeah, Cardi, Cardi got the lightweight. Already, yeah, Cardi Cardi was dogging him out, but man, he he caught him he caught him right in the middle of a reload, man. Shit. He get a little greedy sometimes. Yeah, yeah. He, he he got real greedy, bro. He got real greedy. He got the knockdown. I ain't even gonna chase it. I already scored the knockdown. Yep. He he overthrew it. Yep. Man, I wish we was getting the same delay on this. We just do our own commentating right now. Oh uh, yeah, that I noticed. Yeah. The, um, sometimes mine's a little bit ahead of Duke's, and sometimes Duke's a little bit ahead of me, so it ain't at the same time. I'm at two. My round clock's at two thirty-seven right now. Okay, yeah, ours is on right on right on the same speed. Oh, and a big left hook I mean, y'all can do it. Just they, whoever's watching both of them gonna notice. Like they just watching y'all, they not gonna notice. Oh. Damn, Cardi went down twice right there, man. He got he got to tighten up, tighten up, Cardi. I think everybody's right now is getting used to the new settings. You know, update drop, trying to adapt. 
uh, a winner. So, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's kind of. Usually you don't get update drops in the okay. middle of a competitive. Yeah, setting, yeah, but, the, you know, yeah. the day of. So. Yeah, you know, everybody was expecting Plus, it to be tomorrow, be Thursday. Just, I was watching all the discords. Everybody thought it was going to be Thursday. No, okay, okay. That's one in the middle. So they dropped that shit this morning, and it's like, up. Oh. Hey. It would have been corny for them to cancel the tournament out of nowhere. Like, that's cool. I, f I feel like I feel like they bu they buffed it just for me, man. Like I I think I think Play Undisputed been watching me. <laughs> I think they a fan of Hook City. But it just seems like no, I think they, they was like, all right, DZ Hook is too good. We gotta even out everybody else. To make it easier for you. All right, they get even out how they want. They just made hook easy to use for everybody. Else. Uh oh, Cardi got him back. Oh, and he's oh, dead. He is dead. Yeah, Cardi said, "Not, not right here. Not right here, partner. I love Cardi. Not right here." This is like Ireland or something, bro. I don't know if that has anything to play with the match. You said you got your ticket to this day. Yeah, he was whipping too many damn. Stop throwing power. What I was saying. <coughs> he needs to stop throwing them power. He was straight. His dad is different. He was sleeping on Joe Lewis's. Face. Hey, you know why? I know. I know. He gets. Oh. He gets 170 damage in one point five. He got him again. Cardi. He back down on the mat. Cardi folded him. It's over, bro. He ain't getting up. That boy not getting up, bro. It's a wrap. Get Car up. Cardi He's got the dub. I told you it was over. Oh. I I seen it. It's over. Cardi done him in. He done him in. Oh, that man ain't got no heart. He ain't got no heart. Holy man, you know what makes the production hit shit? That Holy he needs to require God. everyone who wants to fight to be a nitro, <laughs> a disco nitro. Yep. Have to get streaming 1440p. No, that's, not, that's not fair, bro. Cause what if I just don't have this? You don't fight. Wow. <laughs> that's corny. Yeah, 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 everybody playing on on a uh, GT GTX 3060s. You ain't broke. Everybody <laughs> console game and we're on PC. Yeah. Ain't nobody broke. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. So I gotta spend money to play a game. Yeah, but it helps you in the long run though. But congratulations. If you into that, it's gonna it's definitely gonna help you. It's not gonna help everybody though. Like it ain't. Yeah, everybody ain't a streamer. That's one thing. Like there's a lot of fighters, but everybody ain't a streamer. It'll definitely help the streamers. It'll definitely help the streamers. But for the regular people, it's just not going. They're not going to give a fuck about having nitro. It ain't going to help them besides once them getting to a fight. You still get a lot of cool stuff on Discord for it, though. Yeah, I mean, oh no, definitely. But not everybody. You know I mean, that's, that's cool for us. Like we stream and we on Discord all day. I'd rather pay ten dollars a month than play on Part Six. Mm. Oh yeah, we would. We would. I'm just saying though, like for the average player that just want to play in the tournament point, though, they're not gonna be wanting to spend money just to be able to play in these ones, bro. Yeah, because yeah, they, they're casuals at the end of the day. Yeah. Oh, sorry, be casual with it. It's on certain shit. So easy. Not even that. Like, I'm not about to start paying money to play in these tournaments. I'm not ever gonna get nothing out of. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's just oh, yeah. it's gonna be. Yeah, they, yeah, that that's true too, man. Like, if you if you ain't here streaming it and getting wins, yeah, they gotta they gotta have a refund. You know what I'm saying? Like, they gotta give your money back. <laughs> I'm not about to be spending money to play a free tournament with y'all. Like, I'm not ever gonna see no return from it. I can just stream myself to my community for free. Right? Yeah, exactly, man. At that yeah, at that point, yeah, they got to You gotta be making some type of coins. Cause they, yeah, cause they, definitely is, but, cause they catching all the money, you know. But they, he, right though. Like he, they should implement something to where people need to have better quality videos. Like they need to do some some bare minimum requirement. Like it's a bare minimum. Yeah. yeah. Damn, nobody voted for. <laughs> that shit was making the shit hella choppy. You could even nobody see. Nobody voted like, for Cardi and Cardi won. Yeah, nobody voted for Cardi. They don't, there's only shit. three votes. Don't nobody know his name. That's, don't nobody know his name. That's why. I don't know who he is. Yeah. I know him, yeah. That's I know him because I fight with him. <sighs> I know who he was because I remember you mentioning him. Well, back. 
He put, he's eating higher than put, put, so I would say. Put that first. Oh, no, he's, he's <laughs> Gave that man his first L. Gave him his first L. So who we got now? The boy said he's from the UK. Uncle Wet. You boys be boxing, bro. Me, you boys be knowing the boxing, bro. I got, I got Uncle Wet right here. Yeah, he didn't knock his wet. Yeah. Wet uncle, bro. Yeah, whatever, man. You know. Anyway. Did you beat Uncle Wet? He beat him to beat Wet. Yo, I, can't swear, this, I can't believe this cat not getting us in here to commentate though. Just fucking mm. mellow Dello. Nah, he not gonna get us in there because uh, the other commentator uh, said he was gonna show up. Oops. Said he was gonna be there or something like that. Well, he ain't there. Hey, right. I ain't. Hey, at that point, I ain't got nothing to do with it. Mm, nothing to do with it. Just hire you, sir. Yeah, I'm minding my business at this point. I try, I try to give them high production value. You know what I'm saying? I try to, I try to, you know, be the main event. I try to do the promotions and talk shit and get everybody hype. You know, I'm a box office fighter, bro. <laughs> I don't, they don't want it. But we got another heavyweight fight. Let's get it. Oh, Red Jones, hey, he better knock the fuck out of the Red Jones, bro. He better, if he doesn't knock out. Oh, yeah, it's the dude I played, bro. I bet Roy Jones uh, win. He probably will with his time last. Ain't it Roy Jones up Roy Jones? No, uh, Joe Lewis. Oh, okay, never mind. That's why I said that. Yeah. Yeah, they yeah they need to add that spectator mode on custom games. Man, he at least needs to check and see if one of the two fighters he has in there does have Nitro and make sure he's streaming that person's screen. If somebody's already paying for that shit, like me, like if it's me, then you damn sure need to be watching my screen because I stream that shit 1440. A lot of people don't. Most people don't in this zone. I'm not allowed to keep it a bean. I know this. Like a lot of people I am friends with on Discord don't have this in the majority. But again, guys, there's a new prediction, yeah. so feel free to bet some channel like points. I, you you going through most of the Discord servers? They, I, oh, just, I've done this first. Like, what are most of the Discord servers you're in? You, a lot of people don't pay for it. Oh. Uh, it's definitely cool if you're running an active server, but like, if you're just part of one, it ain't really no reason to have okay, one. Okay. Add that shit, bro. I'm going to keep it a B. Like, so There's like no reason like cool. most regular guys that is in the server to have. That's the only reason that I, I like the whole idea. But there's not too much incentive for like the regular person to be buying this shit. Again, guys, do but I can stream a little bit of better quality. It's cool for shit like this, but you know, if you're just playing games with your homies, you ain't gonna really care about that. They gotta add a little something else. I feel like <laughs> people really want it. I think I got next. Prizes. That's what they need to start doing. Put a cash prize on that bitch, boys, and start doing it. Man, yeah, you start. Yeah, they put a cash prize in the business. Uh, you start yeah. talking about you money. From, like, you know, you need to see me knock him out. You exactly. Yeah. Knock him out. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I see it a little bit. But on the other side of it, bro, like, right now we're gonna have to. Is it him or is it them? Because I was doing the same thing the other night, and my stream didn't look nowhere near this bad. I don't know. Like, Could be both. His empire, he probably don't have the same petty on OBS type shit. Yeah, because this shit is not. This is shit, his shit should be at least upscaling it. I mean, he's streaming at 900p from theater. That's why. No, I stream at 936, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I know, but I can just imagine what his bit rate at right now. Yeah, yeah, but y'all's much. It looks way sharper here, yo. Yeah. I got that shit. That's all you need. Oh, guys. Yeah, that's what it is. His bit rate is shit. That's the problem. Probably, cause my shit is high as shit. My resolution is just under 1080, but it looks about the same, bro. Yeah, no, yes, yes, looks good because as long as you have the bit rate and it, uh, it upscales it, you need just the gameplay and the gameplay only. That's pretty much 1080. I want a 1440p monitor. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I got one, but it's for the one I got on Discord. It's in my Discord monitor, but anytime I put a video on that monitor, bro, that shit is so crispy, clean, and smooth. <laughs> oh my god. But it's only 60 FPS monitor, so I can't do too much with it. 
No, okay, okay, okay. Oh, it's a 64. Oh, God. God. He ain't doing all that time today. That's funny. Joe. I guess that knockout changed him, bro. A huge creator. <sighs> I want to do time today. He actually want to box. Do your little time at the middle and just keep it coming. The bit rate in this score, if that's what you want to write, is 64. I guess higher is better. <laughs> your OBS bit rate. Oh, there you go. Oh, I spoke wow. too soon. OBS bit rate. Couldn't tell you. Could not tell you, I'm afraid. It needs to be at least 6,000. Okay. Um, I don't know if that plays a factor with um does that play a factor his bit rate is too low is the discord screen share uh oh my fighter's here the bam man is here so that means I'm gonna get my like fight it. I'm gonna get my fight he's in the waiting room <sighs> waiting for you baby waiting for you no oh okay Oh. Damn, I left my knife. Man. Um, yeah, I, I'll, uh... Fuck. Uh, 4.5 is a good spot if you can't handle 6,000. Okay. Appreciate you guys letting me know. Appreciate the, uh, feedback and advice and whatnot. Um, feel free to DM me as well to remind me. My memory is terrible. <laughs> Especially when we're doing these fight cards, it's hard to remember these little things. Um, I've actually up but, uh, this you gotta well. let it go. So hopefully, streams. Of, I don't know if that plays a factor. I'm really. I'm gonna. As soon as I get home, I'm gonna make that video out yesterday. The intro to into a uh, emo PZ. What you say? Kapova? I'm gonna make that that intro to rock the intro to an emo. Ha <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I get home. <laughs> Luke, you see your boy, bro? But anyway, guys, I can't tell you what I'm doing. Just thought Luke was. One, no, we're in round two of six. So he might be doing it for stamina gain. Seconds left. He doing, he doing what for stamina gain? From bearded neck. Tan. And I haven't oh, Tan? Yeah. Wow. Wow. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be surprised if he has been. Nice counter punch lens for wet uncle. That's the dude I beat, stars. Uncle Wet. <laughs> uncle Wet. <laughs> a wet uncle. Which is interesting because uh, you don't really see. Uncle Wet. Uncle Wet. Advantage in any fights. That's not kind of freaky calling him that. Don't ever do that. <laughs> Man, the whole, his whole <laughs> name oh, sounds freaky. It don't matter what way you say it. Why are we calling people uncle, man? Mm -hmm. that, ain't, that ain't my just uncle. Call it, just call him uncle, bro. Just call him <laughs> uncle, bro. Like Shannon, right bro. On, right on. Came over here looking for something. I forget what it is. Sorry to bother you. Has a fight in the co-main event. I behave when that shit happens. You, you go over to look for something, you forget so what the fuck he was know. over there for. <laughs> I just walked all the way to this top. Oh, yeah. So, because I know he's streaming. I don't know. At, I don't know if he is streaming, but I can imagine he is. <laughs> but uh, if you guys are streaming and you have like a hotkey set up for your Discord, so when you're communicating with your chat, you definitely up in the uh, commentators Discord chat, just so you know, keeps everything clean. But if you guys do want to commentate, I'm more than happy to get you in today. Job do have to agree matchmaking is fun. I would like I would actually like to get a matchmaker in. Um, at the moment I'm doing it and I do enjoy doing it. But um Yeah, it'd be fun to get another person's opinion on matchmaking. Maybe when I'm making the next fight card, someone else can be in a call with me. And we can match make together, that'd be fun. Get another <coughs> person's opinion. Instead of just me matchmaking on my own. That was C. Now I need the regular. Right. Three, two. Right. I'm gonna try and commentate the best I can again. 
stream quality is a little blocky. You appreciate you guys still being here, watching. Oh, hooks are coming out to play. To in there. Yo, I thought I was gonna see um some middleweight, some, yeah, no, boys. some middleweight. Yeah, Who that is? That's Luke 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 Luke. Us, baby. Block up as well. <laughs> what up? Bro, I ain't gonna lie, lie. it's funny as fuck every time, every time Joe says fucking Uncle Tom. Again, good lateral movement. I'm sure talent was in his, I'm sure talent would come in his stream and said, said, what's up? And then he's like, yo, Uncle Tom. Oh, bro. I ain't gonna lie, this, this new, uh, this new update is fucking trash. You don't like it? You don't like it? Ah, uh, bro. It's trash, man. It's just it's just catering for the spammers. Like that's all it's doing. It's catering for someone who just wants to spam hooks. It's, it's definitely. I'm su I'm surprised at what they did to the lead body uppercut. They're now going. They're now going to towards like an arcade style game rather than a boxing sim. Yeah, because yeah, they said they didn't I want. don't think the uppercut thing is cool. Um, I didn't think they needed yeah, to raise the damage them. on the hook. Like that's not something oh, anybody. Oh, you come against my player heavyweight and you come against Ali. It's ridiculous. He's just spamming oh, yeah. four hooks and that's it. You're rocked. Jesus Christ! Fucking uh, terrible, uh, man. Jesus Christ! Yeah, they are all. They're just catching it. Do you know what it is? All these little bitches sit in the Discord all day crying, Oh, I can't damage anyone. Yeah, because you don't know how to cut off the fucking ring and hit nobody, you stupid bitch. That's why you can't hurt no one. <laughs> oh, full, full tilt, baby. Full tilt. <laughs> bro, it's, it's so annoying, man. The shit is so annoying, bro. He's not lying, though. That's the fool, because they do be in that undisputed Discord. Hey, hey, yeah, that's what it is. They've just catered for everyone that's in that undisputed Discord with low IQ. So basically, because you got low IQ, now I can't box. I just yeah. got to <laughs> deal with these fucking hook spammers all over again like it's the first release of the game. <laughs> oh, yeah, because they nerfed. Oh, yeah, you're right, because they nerfed hooks. So I feel like I'm yeah, like, yeah, like, nah, everyone's break. been crying for fucking months. Bro, they didn't address nothing that anyone like, with real boxing IQ actually asked for. What they did was address everything that all these little bitches in the Discord asked for. No, People in there crying, I can't hurt nobody, man. That's because they... Everybody <laughs> jumped my head off, man. I can't fight them. <laughs> That's that's because they fight in 1x damage, bro. We we quit 1x damage like a month ago, damn near. I feel like I've been fighting on 1.5 for like three three weeks to four weeks straight. We quit that shit. That's why. It's too much. It's too much, man. I, I, I don't want this game to go down that Fight Night arcade feel, man. I don't want it to do that way. It feels like that's where they're going for because that appeals to the masses more. Yeah, they're going to have... And if they're going to do that, then they should at least separate... The, the communities and have a boxing yes. sim um that a boxing yeah. sim section and an arcade section and you guys yeah. that just want to hook each other in the face all fat you oh. can't play over there at the arcade part oh yes. man that's a, that'll be perfect no, that, that, that'll be perfect they can yeah, yeah you yeah, go to the rock em sock em section i'll be over here on the boxing section that's it in, in the big boy section exactly <laughs> we'll actually have to use my brain the IQ section, bro. That's what I'm calling it for me. <laughs> <laughs> the IQ section? The IQ section. And you lost stay over there. Yeah. The rock'em sock'em pop. <laughs> that's, that's what they want to do, bro. They want to sit there and, and swing, bro. I'm okay. I'm good on that. <laughs> Man. Yo, ha look, Hazo look, said it. Look at, look at this. Call of Undisputed. Okay. Rocking everyone, though. Okay. <laughs> But like, but what I said is, what's gonna like where people people aren't understanding? Okay, if the if the hooks have been buffed, there like where where there was no way to escape from the body from the lead body uppercut, bro. They do have head movement in this game. Okay, so you got your block, and if your block get busted, you better weave. Get your head yeah, off the and, line. And they, they weaken they weaken the block as well. Yeah, they weaken the block. So, so most of the time, the hook goes around the back of the block and catches you anyway. It go, it goes anyway. So they they want people. They want people to go to the weave. Yeah, that's pretty much it. You just got to pick the head movement guy now and just fucking. Yeah, they they want people to go to the weave. Like dodge everything. Weave is weave is meta, bro. Like if you know how to weave, you won't have this problem. Not display capture. Oh, like, you don't even need to weave. You just need a faster fighter with hook. Yeah, well, you don't yeah. Even need to weave. Yeah, if you, you if, if you, yeah, you got the faster hand speed. Your hook going to get there first. 
But, yeah, but that's bad, that's man. That's bad. Really that's just rewarding a low yeah, IQ. That's, 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 that's not good for a game that's... Uh, I, I like the idea like, that you're... A game that's promoting themselves as a boxing sim. If I'm correct. And that's... Like, that's like what you're catering for. It doesn't make sense. That well, but it's easily it's easily defeatable. You know what I'm saying? Like even the, the lead body uppercut was easy to defeat, but it was very very punishing. And this is the same thing. The hook is very very punishing, but it's even easier to to defeat. You got you can move your feet around. You could weave. You could use your block. You could go in and out. No, no, like, no, they're still not beating me. They're still losing to me. Yeah, it's just like. It's annoying. Like, fuck, <laughs> why the fuck is four? Why are you hitting me it with four, closes, it two, three or four hooks? Though. And it my 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 head is on red already. Yeah, that's what Crazy, I'm saying. Because it just closes the skill gap, bro. Like, the difference between a very high skilled player and a low skilled player just got smaller now. Yeah, it just got very, just got very yeah, smaller. Because and... low, because now BZ, somebody that can just pick up the game can go in there and knock you the fuck out by accident. They, 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 yeah, yeah, they, they, they could, happen. they could, they, it actually that's could. And that's all I'm saying. They, they just lessen it's the just skill gap. It's just rewarding a very low IQ style of play. Yeah, they're that's not what it's widening doing. the skill gap. They're not making it. You know what I mean? The game more. They're just making it easier to play. Yeah. Like they should have just done what I said and created two different sections of arcade type and sim type. That, and and done it like, like that. I, that's what I've been asking so for. Then, so then they keep the both of the communities happy. Yeah, I've been. Yeah. I've been. Not everyone's. Not everyone's got the the boxing IQ and doesn't want to do the boxing IQ stuff. All right, cool. Then don't play the have game. A arcade. <laughs> have an arcade section for those guys. <laughs> yeah, I. I feel like. Play with me, guys. It's I don't know, man. Uh, I don't know it. It's it's crazy. It's it's absolutely crazy. Like I feel like they should have put. They should be a search engine put into the game, where you can you can you know. Put what type of fight you're looking for. You want one one point five damage and one point five. You want you yeah, want the that, simulator. Yeah, yeah. You want the simulator <laughs> boxing. You should be able to search for simulator boxing. If you want arcade, but the one search for the arcade. One point five with these hooks now, it will be crazy. The one point yeah. five with these hooks, we're gonna see like ninety percent of these competitive fights ended in knockouts now. Yeah, there's but, gonna be hardly anyone. Yeah, you could actually box around the ring. Oh. It's taking away the boxing, oh. the, the, the point boxes. People oh. do box on points. Oh, I can. Oh, oh, it's, it, it's 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 Hook City for me. Oh, this is candy. You know what I'm saying? It was a parade. I'm beaming people up to the spaceship. Instant transmission. <laughs> yeah, you love you love the inside game, Hook game. So yeah, I could get yeah. Benefit you. I could get inside. Like I'm not scared that somebody throw a hook at me. I'm finna duck that bad boy. <laughs> yeah, Scotty beam me up because because this just is kind of making the whole one twos obsolete. I know, to be honest. That is terrible. Nah, the, like, watch. When you see my fight, the one-two is still going to be good. The problem is, like, you could you could duck the hook with the lead body. It's less effect. It's it's less effective. The lead body is less less effective. But what is effective is not getting hit in the head. Duck the hook with the lead body, and you hit the you hit the body. Nah, every time you hook, I'm gonna duck under it and, and lead body you. I'm gonna stand there. You throw lead body. You throw the hook. Lead body. Like I don't have to come back up with with another hook. I could just one punch you until you stop throwing hooks. Yeah, but I'm saying if you trade me that counter, that lead body, I'm a I can counter you right back with a right hook. I'd take that trade all day after this update. No, there wouldn't be no trade. Like if if you it throw, does. No, it, it does. I've done it, bro. I'm just we need insurgents just doing it last night, bro. The right hook counters the lead body every time, even if I. I've gotten counter after counter for counter, bro. It, it happens. Uh -huh. I will take that Big trade neck. every day. You okay. hit me with a lead body cut, I'm going to swing that right over. Just because the hooks do more damage now, I'm not going to be scared to take that trade. You know what I'm saying? Is what I'm saying. Cowboys drop Zeke, boys. They did? And it's just like, yep. it's just all in, the, I feel like it's just all in favor for hooks now. Definitely. Like, what, Well, what I was trying to say is if, if, you, if you throw first, if you throw a hook first, I'm, I can duck the hook and get the lead body. Then yeah, you can't. You can't. You that, I'm gonna hit you back with a right hook. Yes, you can. You can. It's not gonna happen every time. But you can, bro. You can. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Look, yeah. It might. It might. It might work. I, I don't know that for. I don't know for certain that it won't. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna take your. Uh, I'm gonna take your word for it because I don't know for certain. Yeah. To be fair. You can still type. You can still type it right and, and count them every time. It's 
Yeah, so, most of these, most of the hook spammers are trash, anyways. Let's be honest. You know, occasionally when you get that, that um, upper again, up lead, uppercut, uh, counter hit, you'll get the one where you like lean over. You can't counter. I can't counter you off of that one. But if it's just a regular um, flash counter you know, uppercut, really it's like a swing fighters. the right, right after that. Uh, I'm, I'm sure everyone can agree. As much as we would like to know. Okay. Okay. So, unless you're southpaw, you southpaw might not. But the new changes and patches made to them. I'm sure we'd all prefer a blessing to be fixed first. Yeah. Like even um that guy uh, Job. He's he said he's, he he has he played one match. He's not playing it no more. Ah oh, man, he's man. Uh, bro, don't even say his name, bro. Cause he he wanted he's one of the people he's one of the people why the, why the patch came out. He's one of those people that was that was crying about about the body spam. And now they got head spam. He's the he's the person that made it go this way. It's just been yeah, no, I hear you. But they shouldn't have tried to counteract body spam with he, making head spam more viable. Like this doesn't make sense. He's the low IQ guy that made it this way. He's the arcade fighter. Nah, I'm saying it, shit. I'm saying what's on my mind. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm saying it with my chest, baby. <laughs> shit. <laughs> I seen, I seen him get defeated, and then, and then, and then, and then he got defeated, and he was the guy that said we taking Stam out of 1.5. Oh my bad, shit. I'm up in here talking crazy. All three judges scorecards with 57 to 55. Congratulations to Wet Uncle. He is now one and one. Let's take a look at the fight card. So Wet Uncle is one and one. Bearded Neck is zero wins, two losses. In what time your boy shows up and gets a win? Yeah, congratulations, man. I, I know you've been grinding a lot and putting in a lot of practice. Especially when it comes to tournaments, you come away today with your first win. Hell yes! Love to see it. Congratulations to Beard and Neck. They put up a good fight though. But we move on to our co-main event of the evening. Our first co-main event of the evening. We got Ty versus Don. It's a mirror match in a lightweight division. Uh, again, we do try and stay away from mirror matches. Uh, it's just the way it worked out in this fight card. The Sigma, bro, that shit feels like so much. That shit feels like <laughs> my bad. Fucking dookie. I thought I was uh, up next. You won, boys. Just I, I thought I was up next. I didn't think it felt that that bad, but maybe on your side it was worse. Because you was the one hosting, maybe it's because of that. Because it, it was weird. One time me and Sigma fought, it felt okay for me and really bad for him. And then the second yeah, time we fought, I think it just it just picks which one it's gonna fuck with and fucks with it. It was really bad for me this time. Uh, he said, "Yeah, bro, the head the head is harder to hit than a body for sure. Uh, it's definitely something they need to just for bro. like, hey, bro." I like what if y'all was y'all was listening to what the guys was talking about in the chat, man. I, I seen I seen the number one the number one fighter go down to body spam, bro. The number one fighter went down to body spam, and then and then he wanted to change the the uh the stamina from one point five to one, and then what happens? This just happened last weekend, and then and then undisputed comes out and they patch the game. They take away the lead body hook, and and then uh and then add add the the head damage. This literally just happened last Saturday, no lie, bro. Right, so both fighters are just setting up that that's fight that's wild. That's wild. The number one fighter goes down to body spam. Like, bro, you're not the number one fighter. No, no, you do not you're not the number one fighter. It. He go down um, to body spam, claiming he number okay. one. We and and I think he's still maintaining his number one position. The sign ups. And uh change. And but then he wanted to change the rules and everybody in all these little fight clubs, they all change in the stam rules because of him. Yeah. As long as it's not a banned fighter, you are good. It 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 is a shame. 
And yeah, and yeah. Oh, uh, body uppercuts was cancer. It was cancer, but it was real bad. But it, but body uppercuts was defeatable as well. You could get away from body uppercuts. I dominated people that spam bodies, and I'm gonna dominate people that spam hooks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dominate no matter what because I'm not a low IQ fighter. I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna get dominated by somebody with low, with, with low IQ. It's not gonna happen. I don't care how you change the rules. Yeah, do you want to join us uh, commentating? The only the only thing that I don't like about yeah, the, uncle, if you do wanna... the the only thing that that I don't like is that when you have low damage in in low like I said I can I can defeat these goofy strategies. You, brother. I'm here for you. Let me mute these guys. Let me turn these guys down. I can defeat these goofy strategies. The problem I have is is that if if you take the stamina and the damage down you know so low that i have to punish you 35 times to show that i'm the better fighter i got a problem with that i shouldn't have to punish the opponent again and again and again and again and again to show that i'm the better fighter it should really only take a couple of a couple of exchanges to be like yeah i'm better than you like you know what i'm saying i don't have to i don't have to beat you beat your ass over and over and over again i don't have to do that it, it should it should be like a maximum of 10 times you know like if i catch you with a hook in the face uh, a flush right hook 10 times bro get out the lobby bro you're done if if i catch you in the, in the belly with the lead body uppercut 10 times get out of here bro you're done you don't know how to defend yourself if you don't know how to defend yourself then it's it's not my fault the game shouldn't shouldn't let you get hit 85 times in the stomach or 85 times in the head because you don't know how to defend yourself get out of here bro you shouldn't you shouldn't you shouldn't sit there and just get punished over and over and over and over and over because you don't know how to defend yourself that's ridiculous Yeah, absolutely. You catch somebody mid punch, that's that's a counter or a flash punch or whatever. That's that's knockout type shit. But if you if you up the damage on that, I promise you nobody you'll see less punches being thrown. Nobody will want to throw a punch. They'll want everybody else to punch first so that they can get the knockout punch cuz they know that the counter punch is that is that fucking strong. Early prediction, boys. So you I mean there's there's always a problem. There's always, you know, a way, a way to a way to deal with somebody. Oh man, I'm telling you. Lanierez is going to win this fight, bro. So, we got J Surge talking bro we got jay surge in here talking man i'm i'm i'm, I'm proud of my boy hopped in there on the commentary yo let's listen to jay surge who is lanares let me see I, I could tell you real quick oh it's under the predict i can look under the prediction uh t t y tie it should be uh lanares and uh donnie is uh is a uh, Wait, wait a second. Let me let me get a better. Let me see if I find something else. That's not their names. So this fight is um, yeah, it's it's T T Y versus Don. That's who's fighting T Y versus Don. Don is uh is uh, in, uh Ryan Garcia and T Y should be uh George Linares. So we'll see here. We're still here in round one minute, a little under a minute and a half left. Both fighters doing a good job of trying to fill each other out, still trying to figure out which one, what strategy the other one is trying to impose here. Look, J Surge coming, J Surge coming with the, with the boxing IQ in this motherfucker. That's my boy coming with the boxing IQ. Shit, I already forgot. 
As they fill each other out, I'm trying to fill them out as well. See which one. And everybody's still adapting to the new update we got today. So. I never heard of PLD crew or whatever. I never heard of that camp. I don't I don't know who won the last fight, uh Duke. I have no idea, bro. I already forgot about it. Let me let me let me look at the at the card again. Maybe that'll jog my memory. Um The card was uh I believe it was easy ver wait no. Yeah, it was easy versus wet uncle, and I believe I don't know. I can't remember at all. And <laughs> no one cared. I really didn't, bro. I I don't care about heavyweights at all. I did not care. I don't fight heavyweight, so I could I could care less if there's a if there's a really good heavyweight. I could really care less. Yeah, did the Joe the Joe Lewis one right? I think it was the Joe Lewis. Slips and counters, I, I, definitely, definitely. I can tell you right now, bro. George George Linares is OP. I mean, unless unless this George Linares is just god awful, he's gonna win this fight. Garcia seems to definitely be getting the uh, better end of the exchanges here. He's uh, coming in, leading with his with his jab and following up with some good body shots and getting out when it counts. Oh shit, I got a 10 round fight. I forgot about that. I'm used to fighting 12 rounds. 10 round fight, I gotta, I gotta be a little bit smarter when I come out. High IQ, baby, high IQ. S smarter, not harder. Combo Ooh, you know what? Ryan Garcia might win this. He just got to get him, you know, methodically. He got to slowly chop the tree, and he'll get him. Playing a guessing game right now, trying to figure out how to get in there, and it's just not working out for him right now. He's got to figure a way to stick and move. A little bit of dodging. Garcia's hands are so fast, so it's it's hard to it's hard to compensate. If you can get in, he's got that glass chin. If you can get in, get a good shot on him, get a nice hook, especially with the update today. Hooks are a little bit more powerful. Get some counters there. Nice little body hook there from Ty. Garcia see, back with his own to the head. see, Garcia is like he could he could front run the race, but at any point in time, George George Lanieris right can so can you know like one punch KO him because he got that that he got that soft chin. So uh. Garcia's got to play a finesse fight. He's got to be a finesser. Definitely got some boxing IQ here. You can see. Again, punishing everything that Ty's trying to accomplish here. Lanera is normally a very fast fighter. He's looking absolutely slow up against Garcia right now. <laughs> in the round three. What do you guys, who do you guys yeah. think had that round on, on the card? Um, I would have to give that round to Don once again. <sighs> Yeah, Garcia is definitely winning the cards, but I think that um, Linares has a chance, has a better chance to KO and get the KO win. I don't think that uh, 
Garcia is going for any type of KO at all. So I was on the field in the last two rounds of my fight. I was like, well, yeah. And it, you know, Don's got to do a good job here, not get, letting it get to his head. Realize he's got the fight in the bag. If he continues to play his game, don't let Ty start imposing his will on him by any means necessary. He's doing a good job so far. Standing is starting to look like an effect, just by judging by the slow punches coming out right now. Let me see if I can. Hopefully, I'm not the host. Uh, let me see if I can catch what the um, what what the settings are. What the settings are for the fight. Match settings. Co-made event, ten rounds. One, oh, we're on. We're still on one point five. This is gonna be a one point five damage. One point five. Uh, stamina. Wow, they they didn't they didn't update the rules. One point five stam, one point five uh damage. So, I'm with it. I'm with it, bro. I'm with that. That's what I like. Southpaw fighters, once they figure out their offense, it, it can be a little awkward to try to get to the defense stuff too. There is no no I'm southpaw. Sure. Southpaw seems to be a struggle for a lot of fighters. In the game right what now. are they talking about? Nobody's southpaw. One of the reasons why Sergio is so predominant in the game. Otherwise, you know, obvious. But I'm a southpaw fighter by nature. I like to do. I love okay. it. If I go back to orthodox, or honestly, I, if I had the choice to switch stance, I would switch stance a lot in, in a fight. Um, that is one perk you get with parsecs, but we won't go down that rabbit hole right now. One. I didn't see as much action coming out of Don in that round as the previous rounds. I, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to uh, go with my motto. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. And I'm gonna have to. Well, I got proved wrong right there. I was gonna go with Ty, but uh, Don seems to have at least one of the other judges' eye. corner right now what I'd be telling Ty is, is every time Ty comes in he's coming in trying uh, being aggressive he needs to come in and and not throw the first punch he needs to let Don throw the first punch get a counter off open up a com combo opportunity for him. Uh, right now every time he comes in he's, he's the first guy to throw the punch and, and Don's making pay for it not by one punch either it's, it's a couple he's eating a couple every time he tries to throw one of his own Nerves needs to be moving in and out. Pick his poison, come in, hit one, two. Get bro, out. this is gonna make me sick, bro. J Surge is com commentating, and my fight's up next. J Surge is J Surge is gonna know my game, bro. He's gonna 
he's gonna talk he's gonna say hopefully he doesn't hopefully he doesn't like spill the beans on me bro he's gonna be talking about me because he knows my every move Uh, it's all a uh, four hit combo. Oh, blunt. It's all in, uh, it's all in how it comes to you, bro. Like it depends on if it's, if it's early in the fight. Sure. Why not? As long as you don't feel like you're in danger. If it's late in the fight, that's very, very risky. That's very, very risky. chin right now at some point Dom's got to be asking himself what in the hell do I got to do to put this guy down today <laughs> Ty's, Ty is doing a fantastic job at, at least staying alive and, and staying relevant in the <laughs> spam a, f a four hit combo spam is the same arm four times a four hit combo is not spam if you if you jab straight hook lead body who cares but if you hook 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 that's spam. If you jab, 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 that's spam. If you lead body, lead body, lead body, lead body, that's spam. <laughs> right, 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 right. What up, Jose? I know how it is, bro. I'm, I'm already nervous again, man. Every time I get ready for... For a fight, bro, I get nervous. I get antsy as hell. I'm already antsy, bro. I'm antsy, bro. I, I got the bubble guts. I gotta go sit on the toilet. <laughs> I'm always antsy, bro. Right before a fight. I don't know why I get so nervous, bro. This is probably like my... I don't know. I'm probably like on my sixth or eighth um, competition fight, bro. And and I always I always get like hella hella nervous like you know what I'm talking about like you get so nervous your 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 guts get all like warm feeling and all that and shit it's all like <laughs> yo thank you for the sub still man bro you you top tier homie and man feeding a fighter <laughs> top tier damn. Still, what is that? Five of them things? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, bro! Oh my goodness, yo! Thank, thank you for the for the subs. Oh my god! Oh my goodness, bro! I'm gonna eat good today. I'm gonna eat good, baby. <laughs> yo, the fighter gonna get a steak. Yo, hella Della, the fighter's gonna get a steak today, man. I'm, I don't have to eat off the dollar menu. What? What? Oh, ain't no motherfucking dollar menu today, baby. I'm getting a whole meal. I'm getting an adult happy meal. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'll be right back. Adult happy meal, I'm coming back with the toy, baby. I'm gonna go get that that Cardi B offset meal. Quit playing with me, <laughs> and I'm gonna eat both. My wife ain't here. I'm gonna eat the Cardi B and the offset by myself. <laughs> I'm gonna come to the fight looking like like uh, like John Jones, man, with the with the dad body. <laughs> wow! Thank you for all the subs. Oh my goodness, the subs are just raining in. Oh my goodness, all the support, I love that, bro. You know, you know I'm finna talk shit, bro. You know I'm finna talk shit when I fight. Y'all y'all can y'all get to watch, you know, two different streams. Y'all can listen to the WECB. But I'm gonna I'm gonna keep my stream going and I'm gonna try not to be so nervous. I know y'all seen me the last couple of fights. I've been really really nervous in the fight and uh I, I didn't really talk a whole lot and all that but you know i might loosen up this time i think i'm gonna loosen up i hope i hope there's a press conference please please give me a press conference yo what's up jay surge you doing good bro i'm listening to you i like your commentary
Oh my goodness. Yeah, don't give <laughs> You said don't give up the sauce next match. I got the notebook ready. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Get nervous, man. I got the fresh Coca Cola right here. Go ahead and let me go ahead and pop that thing. You know what I'm saying? Pop the coat. Try to get my nerves right. Oh my goodness. My nerves right, bro. You know I'm bringing the sauce. You know I'm bringing the sauce. I won't be you. I won't. I can tell you right now. I probably won't be utilizing the pullback, the weave, and stuff like that because that's something I I haven't practiced a whole lot, and I definitely don't want to get caught. I don't want to get caught looking, thinking that I'm I'm all the way back, and he catch me on the chinny chin chin. You won't be seeing none of that. I'm gonna be, you know, I'm gonna be, um, I'm a, I'm a fight, bro. I'm a box. I'm a box. I am definitely gonna box it up. And uh, you know it's gonna be Ricky Haddon, Ricky Haddon versus a Tiro Gotti. That's the fight that's coming up. Haddon versus Gotti, and you know Gotti got some stone ass hands. He got rocks in his hands, bro. So I got to watch. I has to watch out for Gotti, bro. They they buffed the hook. I didn't know this going into the fight. They buffed the hook, and Gotti got some nasty hands, bro. So if I if I catch a hook, I could be in trouble. What I tell you, what I tell you, fighter instincts, what I tell you, George Linares has the KO power and he was going to get it. I told you, I said Ryan Garcia had to have to chop him down slowly and play a safe game. I told you, George Linares has the KO power. Fight knowledge, bro. Fight knowledge. I'm telling you right now. I had a lot of spars against George Linares yesterday. If you seen me versus uh, Zay sparring, if you seen me versus Zay sparring, you seen George George Linares knocking me out a lot. I know for a fact he has pure knockout power. It doesn't matter who's controlling him. That character has knockout power, and Garcia's got a glass chin, and it's just a matter of time. It's a matter of time. I'm telling you, if you go against George Linares, if you don't protect yourself, you're going to get knocked out. Protect your neck. What's up, Polish? Bro, I'm finna put on a show, baby. I'm finna put on a show. Bow. <laughs> Increase my follower goal. Yeah, they they already reached reached the damn thing. Yeah, bro, they just they just uh flooded me with with subs, bro. Just a second ago, man, everybody was was pouring out the love on the feed of fighter. Let me let me see if I can fix that real quick. Let me let me see if I can uh. Hold on, real Doing fast. An excellent job, outstanding last round with a knockdown. Let's see if he can do it again. He has to. He has to win this round to stay relevant on the card. We got three rounds left in the fight. I, I predict another knockdown in this in this round right here. What do you guys think? George George Lanier is taking that boy to Hook City. All right. 
right, let me see what I can do. I gotta update my thing. All right, I found a button. Got the sub goal updated, and he's definitely putting his, his chin and his heart on display today. He's putting the skill on display as well. See here. Fighting IQ. I, you know, I'd really like to see Don. I don't want to take anything away from him. He's got to he's got to adapt here. And go. Lion heart come out of him. Find a way to finish this fight. He knows he's got it in the bag. Um, how do I do it? Manage goals. There we go. I think he needs to play the cards. He needs to come in here and play the score. Get the punches. Don't get hit. Here, we'll do we'll do fifteen. There we go. Be be the fighter, bro. Be the fighter. One thing I noticed with you. One thing I noticed since you kind of both fight with me is they kind of just do straight movement, be it in the middle. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Started a new one because y'all 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 met. Y'all met and exceeded the goal immediately, cause y'all, I got, I got fire ass fans, bro. I got fire fans. Holy Spirit, activate. Oh no. Holy oh, Spirit, oh, activate. No. Holy Spirit, activate. 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 Ooh. All right, let's go. Holy Spirit. Oh man, it's all it's all good. Polish, it's all good, man. You got that VIP, so I know what it is. I know what it is. You hear all the time, man. You show up when it ain't nothing to show up for. So I appreciate you. You show up on a regular day. What I'm seeing right now would be a good time for 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 Ty to take a note from the old uh, BZ and the sick tracking trait of cutting the ring off because he is in a desperate need of. From what the looks of it, in my judgment, Don's taking the taking the round in points right now. All right, so sure, man. Let's see here. We're gonna go in the eighth round with with Ty still down. In my opinion. On the next update, they, they probably need to tweak a sentence. They definitely need to tweak. They need to tweak some stuff. They're gonna have to keep tweaking it, but we're doing pretty good. All right, let's see here. Well, earlier in the fight, he was having to, he was having to adapt really well to to what Don was doing, doing being the, the aggressor. Now Don's being the more. All right, I haven't been, I miss, I haven't really been paying attention to a lot of the fight. I seen. Who's winning? Who's winning, y'all? Is it George, is George winning or is he still down? I mean, because I know Garcia is playing the card. Did George, did George Klein pass them with the knockdown? Because Garcia just need to win the fight with the card. George needs, George needs to KO him. I think he only got one KO. I haven't been paying attention. You see new code? Okay. Oh, oh god. We lost connection still. <laughs> man, mate, man, I thought they had quality of life. They got they got better connections, man. We still dropping connections in this thing. <laughs> Six rounds so I could watch BZ fight. Uh yeah, y'all might not even want to start, bro, because there's only two rounds left. I mean, you know you could do six rounds. No, uh, because it's it, it it might be, it might be fast. It doesn't make very much sense for Don to risk losing the fight by nine. He's already gone down one. There's no sense in risking it. Now. Yeah, you'll be listening. Yeah, I, I. Yes, sir. There's no sense of going in and getting your block knocked off. So obviously, you know, we want to see it. We want to see him go down. We want to see him kiss the ground. But, you know, at the same time, he's the one with the record. He's the one that wants the W. And we got to give respect to that. One of the greatest fighters of all time, Muhammad Ali, made, made you know glorified this fighting style, staying out on the outside, picking your shots, making the other guy come in and make his own mistakes and punishing him for it. Very true, and this is why I'm very excited. I don't know if you want to comment on this, but that's kind of your fight style, I've noticed. He's very patient. He's very on the uh, usual level when he's in the shelf line, so he doesn't just step in. 
<laughs> in the phone booth. <laughs> if he's if he's smart, if Garcia's smart, he would stay out of the phone booth. He would stay out. There, and he gets back in the phone booth. Stay out the phone booth. George Linares took the fight, bro. I told you. I told you. Hook City, bro. I told you. I told you, man. George Linares has the top has the knockout power, man. I fucking I called it. All that all that shit. All that shit Garcia does at the beginning of the fight. That's that's all that's just like motherfucking sprinkles, bro. That's that's that salt bay shit. That's them the motherfucking sprinkles. But when the fight get long, when it get when it get late, when the sun go down, right before dawn, George Lanier is punching your fucking lights out. Boo! 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 He's stamping that ticket, bro, right there. He punching your lights out, bro. I'm telling you. Garcia's in trouble, man, because... Hey, I, I, I like I like I like how I like how Jay Surge didn't give up the beans. I like how he didn't give up the beans right there, bro. He said, "You know what Jay Surge said? Did you notice that commentary?" Surge, Surge said, "The he needs to remember the punch that he threw to knock him down and throw that again." He did not give up the beans, bro. He did not give up the beans. He said, "Do what you did again." combat sport is being able to come in there and, and, and have multiple ways of, of, with multiple outcomes of doing things if, if we were all the same just like in any other way you know it wouldn't be entertaining it wouldn't be fun uh, this 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 fight as part perfect example right now you know we've got two different styles of fighting and we've seen there multiple different styles of fighting per round depending on what fighters have to do being able to adapt and having multiple styles in your repertoire is like, like, bro. All all Ryan Garcia needs to do is just is just one two him, one two, one two, in and out, in and out. Don't don't get in the phone booth with Linares. But I think he's in trouble. I think after two knockdowns, there we go again. There we go again, bro. He's done, bro. He's done. He ate him alive, bro. He's, he's done. It's over with, bro. Another round stolen, I believe. It's over. Another 10 8 at the he, he can't box anymore. He can't box anymore, bro. He can't. All he can do is. He can't even give him the 1 2. All he can do is jab, move, jab, move. If he takes one punch, he's, he's going to die. Jab and move, bro. Run. That's all he can do is run for his life. That. Yo. Yeah, it's over with. There's, there is, there's no way Ryan Garcia can knock out George Linares at this point. He can't knock him out. And he's done. It's over, bro. It's over. It's over. It's over. 
I told you, I told you Ryan wasn't going to last, bro. I told you he was not going to last. George Lanier is going to bring too much power. He wasn't going to last, bro. Listen to what these guys got instructions they got to tell me. I'm blown away by both fighters' performance. You know, we, we've seen so many different fighting styles, so many different decisions made in that fight. You know, I've said it multiple times. You'll say, you'll hear me say it multiple times on my stream and throughout. Anytime you hear any of our fighters, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. We're firm believers in it, and that was a a one display of that right there. Bro, lightning hands. Lightning hands. Lightning hands, I'm telling you. Um, It's a lightweight. Yeah, lightweight. <sighs> I got my I got my shoes on, bro. I got my shoes on. Ooh we, ooh we, huh? <laughs> All aboard! All aboard! No chocolate, no oompa loompas, straight to Hook City. <laughs> All aboard! That's her? The same girl that called you called me. She for the streets. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Give it to me. Where's my, oh yeah, show your screen. Let me see here, let me hit the mute on this. And then we're gonna say, we want to watch the, where's my, oh yeah. I guess I need to hear it as I can't follow instructions. I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna get in contact with this guy.
I really appreciate that. If you could do me a favor right now, Chase, if you could pull him down or uh, down in the weight room so I can holler at him real fast. Uh, I need him. And then pull us back up here. Good lord, boys, these these days. Now nah, I'm trying to get the code from this dude. Yeah, I'm up. Yeah, I'm up. I'm coming up right now. I'm trying to get the code. What's up, Jay Serge? Alright, so uh, I gotta take all my stuff off. I gotta take the cam off because they wanna they want to uh, see the stream from they wanna see the stream from my stream. All right, so I gotta take my cam off. Uh, I turn all my stuff off. Turning everything off right now. We should be good to go. Stroke that thing, Cuzzo. Fire your rifle, soldier. He's good. I love it. What you watch, you little bro? Call you in 20K ACR 1200 FPS Super Nintendo iOS 49 Blu ray Ultraviolet Radiation 1080p PlayStation 5. away from the last co-main event of the evening but Batman is looking to get his first win the win the uh, very least he do and he's got a hard opponent against Bazaar he's in he, okay he's using a USB hand which I'm very happy about because Bazaar is actually the person that's got me using a USB hand and I'm having a lot of success doing so. I really do love using USB hand now. Um, yeah, I'm pretty much doing most of my fights with it. Again, I, I mainly play Clutch Match. If I start any of you guys, I would be put in a coffin. Anyway, it's too loud. But guys, feel free to start your fight whenever you're ready. Batman, it has to be the damage and stamina is 1.5. It is 10 rounds. And it's in a lightweight division, which I think he might be doing something currently, but just a reminder.
so I do want some feedback from everybody in the chat. I'm uh, I'm thinking about um, banning Sergio. It's a competition of one. Um, you banned him based off one fight, realistically. Um, someone was kind of abusing him, spamming for the body. Um, realistically, that was our mistake. We should have actually took punishment from the competitor and not the actual fighter. Um, and also, some I know some people think he's OP, some people don't. Um, so I'm looking for some feedback, and after today's stream, based on what we're doing, we shall uh, ban all fighters but Eddie Hall. <laughs> I mean, that seems to be the the meta right now. Ban everybody except for what some people feel like they're only good with, and you know. Um, my personal opinion, man, I see I see the things that people are concerned with Sergio. I myself am a Sergio fan. Uh, he was recently added to the game. Before that, you know, I was using Ricky Hatton and things of that nature. He just fits my fighting style. And I think more than less, that's what bothers most people is he's an outside fighter and he's fast and he's effective at doing it. And when you and he's in the right hands, he, he's almost unbeatable. Um, but any fighter can do that in the game. It's, I'm a firm believer it's not the guy you're playing in the game. It's the guy holding the controller. And if there's things put in place for – for the spamming and the abusing of the me game mechanics and stuff of that nature, like you said, Craig, then I think the punishment should go more toward the guy with the controller in his hand versus yeah. who he's controlling. Yeah, yeah, I 100% agree. Um, ooh, Bizarro, I don't know if you can hear me. Um, I don't know if you could. I will message you in the chat. I just can hear how bad it is. Do these streams do your streams? Again, it's quiet. It's, it's not like. Hot damn, we got us a real live Greenberry.
Smythe, who and why only Lost coming from Jay Fish himself so I believe they're doing a rematch to the main event of the evening. I Blaze Ripped versus Chocolate in a middleweight division. Chocolate is gonna be fighting the current middleweight. Man, I wish y'all got to hear me, man. I wish y'all I wish I got to talk I wish I uh <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no KO. Oh, man. Uh, the dude, the dude, he had, he had a really good. He he could counter punch. That was that was about all he had, bro. He had the counter punch on me, but that was it, man. He was he was really stationary. He was waiting for me to throw and just counter, throw in that counter. But I picked his pocket, bro. I, I bro, I was I was all. Uh, man, I, you got no pause or no draws. I took him out to the deep water and the boy couldn't swim. His mama never took him to the YMCA. What I tell you, you can't catch Moby Dick with a stick. You in a ring with a polar bear with red hair. Quit playing with me. That was a British shark. You in the British waters. Quit I smell blood. You think I didn't know that man was hurt? I seen that man was hurt the whole fight. You think I was going to let him hurt me? No, sir. I played the intelligent fight. I stayed on the outside. I gave y'all some inside sauce. I gave you two knockdowns. He, really, he rocked me once. I said, no, sir. I ain't going out like that. Mama ain't raised no punk. Did y'all did y'all see the adjustment I made? Did you see the adjustment I made in the second in the second round after he rocked me? I made adjustments and it was over with. I picked his pocket and picked his pocket again and again and again. That man is broke. I tore him up. Be careful. Be careful what you what you wish for. Be careful what you wish for. I took that boy to Hook City the other way. I can't give up all the sauce. I can't give up I can't spill all the beans. But man, I was mean. Oh, let me let me button up my shirt when you get in the ring with BZ. Button up my shirt. <laughs> the long way. Yeah, yeah. Pee wee long way. I, the, the fight was over with. When I knocked him out the second time, the fight was over with. He just turtled up. He he turtled up, and and, and he didn't he didn't want to go out KO. He turtled up, so I went ahead and just took my dub. Established fighter in the sections that are <laughs> are 0 and 1. Yeah, hey man, it is what it is. I don't know, I don't know, but yo, my my record is my record is speaking for itself. I put on a lot of the experience right there. He had a, he had a good strategy. He had a sound strategy, but BZ knows better. Man, I got like 300, 400 hours in the ring, training, sparring. Looking, joking, shooking. Boy, you zigged when you should have zagged. Quit playing with me. 
let's go see what Zips is doing. Let's go check them out. Let's go get some fight analysis on, on Mr. Zips. Yeah, the only way I see it going distance is, is if... Um, he said, eh, eh. You know, you already seen the main event. That was BZ, baby. That was BZ. Thank you for all them subs. Everybody was up in here subbing and following. I couldn't see while I was fighting. Top G. Thank you for the sub, Top G. And all and uh all the people did uh they sub to me during the fight or before the fight. Man, I had a little hype train going. I appreciate y'all. Feed a fighter, baby. Feed a fighter. I can't fight on E. Damn, I need a Subway sandwich, uh, a Happy Meal, uh, some tacos, Mexican pizza. I need something. I can't fight on E. Cokes ain't free. Yeah, still, still Bane TV will lighten it up. Boy, I appreciate you. I mean, I think it was two days in a row, back to back. Man, that, that man reached deep in the back pocket and, and he was. Shit, if I ain't know any better, I think he thought I was pretty. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's happening in this fight. Oh, my God. Hey, man, you can take them subs back, homie. I don't need them that bad. I don't need them subs. Hold up. Let me turn the cam back off. He might like me, but can't nobody hit, bro, because I... I'm Muhammad Ali, your ass. <laughs> Oh, how about I leave your ass? You can't get me. You can't get me. This is you missing all the punches. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Is it Zip is Canelo? Zips is Canelo? This is a bad matchup for Canelo, bro. I would have, I would have never, I would have never first picked Canelo. If he, I'm guessing, I'm assuming Zips is first pick because if he was second pick, that's that's terrible. Yeah, it's it's good. It is a 12 round match, but but if Sugar Ray start running, if Sugar Ray get on the back foot, bro, he's not he's not gonna be able to win. The Sugar Ray get on, on on the treadmill. If he get on a little bicycle, if he get on them roller bait on them roller blades, that boy gonna skate. Let, oh, let me go talk to my boys in the, in the NBK chat. Let me go talk to my boys, man. I I had to get up out of there. And and one thing that's totally in his favor is he's he's using Canelo, which we all who the who the heck is this? Okay, let me go to the NBK chat. Let me talk to my boys real quick. Hey! Wait, wait, can they hear me? They can't hear me. Why my shit? Oh, I got my shit on mute. Hold up. Hey! Y'all seen the polar bear with red hair? Boy. Man, y'all seen the shark? That boy was out there. He was out there in deep water, man. I came out and he was turtled up. That boy was that boy was in the shell. He 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 was in the, he was in the weave and everything and all that, man. I got to checking him out. I walked off. I I sniffed him like a dog. 
<laughs> sniffed it. I sniffed him. I sniffed that shit out. I don't even know why he kept getting back up. Man, he it was over with. Let, I got I got to mute the chat so we could talk about the beans. So we could talk about the beans. Hold hold up, chat. I can't I can't share all this with everybody. <laughs> hold on. And again, you know, what? you may feel like Zips is winning these rounds, but you know, uh -huh. how you start, how you finish, Chocolate continues to do, you know, play his fight, try to impose his will. Anything can happen. Yeah, we're in the third round of this fight. We, from what we've seen so far. Awesome. And I, that guy was yeah, fucking fresh. I don't know how the fuck he has made it onto the established fighter section of that card. Like, Bro, he didn't even know how many fighters on there. I told him I'd fight on this card, and he didn't even reply to me. But he's let fighters on there that are 0 and 1. Don't make no sense. We tried multiple fights, multiple different ways of going, stepping, you know, through the ropes and facing your opponent. Coming off of Pizarro's fight, you know, just in your face, nonstop action. Coming into this one, a more technical boxing. It's just that's the beauty of boxing. It's an art. You know, you're never going to see the same thing twice. And and as as we as the camps grow, as the community grows, it's only going to get better. It's only going to increase. Fight it looked like he was just throwing and hoping for the best. Secrets and, and, and he didn't. He didn't put together not one combo. He just threw and ho hoped for the best. That's exactly. Yeah. I hope he's in range because I'm about to throw. No, get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> yeah, dude, he wasn't precise at all. Not with no success. Chocolate doing a good job at defending against it. Zips coming in with some body hooks now. Trying to wear down, chop the tree down here in round three with a minute left. Yeah, I have no idea how that boy made it into that section, bro.
car. Fuck I. All right, sir. Boom. I had. I had. I had a call and I was talking to the boys. Uh, talking to the fight camp, bro. Put it on them. Put it on them. Now, now I just confirmed with my camp leader, you know, my man Zips. He used to be MBK, man, but he has he has completely left the camp on his own free will. We didn't kick him out or nothing like that. He completely left the camp and he, he decided to go, you know, switch lanes and take it another direction. He hasn't told me why or anything like that. I haven't communicated with him. I did reach out to him. But he um, he didn't respond to me, so you know you gotta respect a man that chooses his own path. Man, want to choose his own path? Yeah, zip zip left. Uh, he left my camp, bro. Yeah, he sure did. Uh, he he wanted to choose his own path. I don't know what camp he went to. I don't know if he just solo dolo. Uh, he he was a, he's the middleweight champ, I think it is. Middleweight champ in a turn in a tournament. He's not champ of the league though, or nothing like that. I was I wasn't in the tournament. He I didn't get knocked out. He just won the tournament for the people that showed up to that tournament. He is middleweight champ that just happened to be fighting that day. So I was proud. I was proud of him and happy for him that he was able he was able to run the gauntlet and, and get the belt. But you know. Don't don't let me come up in, in no tournament cuz I'm definitely running the gauntlet. I'm definitely running through. So we're going to see what's up. We're going to watch this and then we're going to go back to the gym, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to watch I'm going to watch the rest of this fight. You know, uh, hopefully, hopefully Zips wins, and if he don't, you know, it is what it is. Oh my God! Did you say Savage Boxing, bro? Again, I right, man, Sav Savage Boxing is over with, bro. That's not happening. I can't believe you said that to me. I'm boycotting Savage Boxing. Maybe he's gonna hop on that bicycle the entire fight. He wants the W. Maybe that's his, him and his camps. Uh, nah, bro. There's no way. Ain't no way, boy. Ain't no way. Not. I'm not. I'm not Parsec fighting, bro. Now, if Savage League decide that they want to drop Parsec, I'll fight for Savage League. But I'll never. I'll never fight Parsec, bro. I'll never fight. It's not Savage League. It's Parsec. I ain't got nothing against Savage League. I got something against Parsec. If they drop par six, I'll come back. I'll fight any league that don't use par six, bro. Input lag is a big deal. You cannot play a fighting game with input lag, bro. It's a big deal. I fight. I fight with instincts. And if I if I can't use my instincts because I got a two second delay from the screen to the controller and to the controller to the screen, like four seconds, bro, I can't fight. I can't. I have to fight with instincts. You saw in my fight, right? You saw in my fight just then. I was using my instincts. As soon as I sniffed them out, hell yeah, chocolates winning. This is a bad match, a bad matchup, bro. Like, I, I don't. If Zips, if Zips pick Canelo first, that was a bad pick. And if if Sugar Ray Leonard was picked first, and then he grabbed Canelo, that's also a bad pick. Like, this is this is not a good matchup. Yeah, because because it's easy to outbox Canelo. It's not the play. It's not. It's not. 
It's not zips. It's the way Canelo was built. Canelo is Canelo is is Canelo is not built to outbox Sugar Ray. Up on the stick moves up and down on the stick moves down. <laughs> up on the stick moves up and down on the stick moves down. <laughs> Surge is hilarious, bro. Surge is goofy. He said, if you're new to the fighting game, press up to go up and press down to go down. <laughs> you need to move your feet. I think they have really bad lag, man. They got the one bar lag, and I think I think there's a lot of desync going on right now. This is a bad this is a bad fight because they they're desyncing real bad. I think Zips sees the fighter closer to him than what he actually is, so he's throwing. Man, yeah, I mean, Leonard's got him zoned out, bro. He's got him zoned out. He's he's throwing the Hadoukens. He's throwing Haruki, Haruki. He got him zoned out, bro. He can't do nothing. Yo, thank you, thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe. It was beautiful, Joe. It was beautiful. I came in the fight nervous as hell. After the first round, I was super calm, bro, because I knew the guy didn't have no footwork. I knew he didn't have no hands. He had no paws, no draws. That boy got his ass cheeks clapped. No paws, no draws. Yeah, I was hella nervous, bro. I was I was super jittery, but I settled in fast because he didn't show me a whole lot of action. So then I was able to just, you know, think kind of freely. And uh, he really only had like two dangerous punches, maybe three. He was only doing, throwing like two dangerous punches, and I was able to sniff him out uh, early second round. And uh. Once I once I countered him early second round, the fight was over with. The fight was over. He didn't have he didn't have enough tools in the bag, man. He didn't have enough tools in the bag. That boy showed up uh, with a flat head, a screwdriver, and uh, and one tire iron, bro. He had one tire iron, a flat head, a screwdriver, and a tire iron. I don't know what the fuck he came to work on, cause I ain't never used uh. 
Uh, I mean, shit, he might have been a car or something. I don't know. He he gonna take off some lug nuts and uh maybe uh, swap out the batter uh the battery post or something on the car. That's about it, man. Flathead, a screwdriver, and one tire iron. That's all he had. He was he wasn't he wasn't doing no home renovation. That's for damn sure. That toolbox was real real short. He didn't even have snap on tools. He didn't even have no them tools was uh. Where the hell them tools was from? <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> he ain't had no snap-on tools. I mean, oh my goodness, man. He was, I forget, he was he was at Harbor Freight, bro. He had a Harbor Freight screwdriver and a flathead. And he, and he had a... He had a four way. He had a tire iron. He had a four way that the daddy gave him. That's all he had. He probably don't even know where to put the four way. Chocolate still doing outstanding job at picking, getting counter shots in when they count. The daddy gave him the four way. He took the four way inside the house. He didn't put it in the trunk. He put the four way in the closet. He ain't know what to do with it. The four way stay in the trunk, son. Put the four way in the trunk, son. That man got three tools and only know how to use one. Put on display. Uh, I would like Zips to put the power of Canelo on display. You know, yeah. It, he's not really using Canelo for what he is. Canelo's a swarmer. He's a, he's a swarmer in real life. He, he puts the pressure on nonstop in your face. Um, he's he, he's not really that big back foot. He, he's not afraid to take damage. Canelo will take that damage. Put on the new. I'd like to see him start try to put the damage on. We're getting a little too late in the fight. We're three quarters of the way through. Less than a minute and a half. Oh my goodness, bro. Yeah, I agree. It seems like um the judges are choosing Canelo with power. For some reason stepping in with a one two. Like you said, I'd like to see him come with four minutes. Bro, this fight is over with, man. Zip Zips no better, bro. Like this guy, Zips used to be in my camp and i talked to him about some of this stuff for those of y'all that's been watching me that's been following me on my little undisputed career bro i, I started as a phone booth boxer i started in the trenches with canelo and i learned that you have to you have to uh you this game caters to the outside boxer, bro. You gotta be an outside boxer. This this is not it's not good. Left hook to chocolate's body, followed up with a step and right hook to the face, and just pick away at a portion of that of his body. Now he's just gotta bury his forehead in chocolate's chest. A hundred percent. Neither fighter looks to seem to have the experience to know how to throw a directional punch when it matters. Um, Said, I just be in my head. He said, uh, I think Zips got carried away. He won the tournament and now he thought he was too good. He left the camp to play solo without a count. I mean, hey man, I don't, I don't know what's going on, man. Like I said, Zips didn't talk to me. I wish he had a consulted with me with what's going on and shit. I would have pointed him in the right direction, man. I try to take care of all my guys, bro. But you know, let me let me talk to my boys. We believe in a straightener, innit? Oh yeah, facts, 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 bro. We want to have a straightener a lot of the time, man. Man, what is this, bro? There was one homie I grew up with, bro. He had, you know, he had a he had a beef with this one dude, bro. Some, you know, uh, for some crib versus blood shit, you know how that shit goes. So they okay. fought in the backyard, bro. Tell me why he was whooping the dude's ass. So after he beat the dude's ass, dude had grabbed the gun and went ahead and. Just... Oof. See, that's yeah. that's what's crazy. That's what's crazy yeah. about him. Is the gun. Got his ass whooped and grabbed the trap. That's crazy, bro. Came in on the wrong conversation. I think the yeah. You think the camp thing is dope? Yeah, bro. Because when you in a fight camp, when you in a fight camp with me. I'm going to share my information in it and it helps you it helps you you know what I'm saying iron sharpens iron steel sharpens steel diamonds cut diamonds bro like you have to 
you have to um, get somebody in the fight camp and you build them up and eventually I'll build a fighter up to be as good as me. And then if he sees something I don't see and he exploits my weakness, then the student becomes the master and the master becomes a student. And then I can elevate my game because I gave him the tools to be able to beat me. And then when he does, now I've gained experience and I can be a better fighter. But if I don't surround myself with better fighters, I'll never I'll never be a good fighter. You can't surround yourself with yes men. If you surround yourself with yes men, bro, you will you will never be great. You will never ever be great. You surround yourself with yes men. You won't be great, bro. You gotta have guys around you that's gonna challenge you at all times. All, all the guys in my fight camps. My fight camp, bro, they some dogs. They some dogs. You 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 think you think I'm bad? Bro, MBK is top heavy. MBK is top heavy, man. I got some dudes in my camp, some dogs. J Surge, me, King Dre. Y'all ain't even seen King Dre debut. He getting his computer together. Y'all ain't seen King Dre debut, bro. I got some guys in my camps, some dogs. Nate, Nate. Man, let Nate get on the scene. Y'all, y'all ain't seen nobody with power yet. You think I? You think I take people to Hook City? You ain't, you ain't seen nobody with power till you watch Nate. Nate got power. Who's the best in the camp? You know that's, you know that's a um the best is a very very um a very a, be, a very very funny word the the best you know the mvp or something like that um the best in the camp man you know what i gotta tell i gotta tell it i gotta tell it how it is bro the best in the camp gotta be j surge because uh uh as as much as i as much as i win and i and i talk a whole lot of shit and i do this and i do that guess what i ain't be i ain't be j surge every time i get in a fight with him he get in my head so uh I got I gotta concede dominance to J Surge. And J Surge been my corner coach since day one. Since the first day I started playing this game, J Surge has been coaching me on how to box the right way. That's the guy that's the announcer right now. He been telling me on how to fight the right way. And uh I think I'm there. I think I'm I'm think I'm there with J Surge. I think I'm really close. I think we, you know, neck and neck. Uh but I have still I still haven't recorded uh, a competition win against J Surge. So uh until I do, uh he gotta be the best. J Surge gotta be the best. So uh until I record a, a a competition win against him, I can't say that I'm better than J Surge. You know, J Surge got a job and you know, I mean all, all of us got jobs and families and this, this and that, but you know, he got his own he got his thing going on so he's not able to be on streaming all, all day and all night and all that uh give me five more years guys and i'll be camp worthy if the heart attack don't get me first <laughs> yeah man uh it, it is what it is bro we we got some dogs in the camp bro top heavy you know who you know who you know who coming up to the top they're gonna be top heavy too man hey Watch out for my man E uh watch out for my man E Man Duke. E Man Duke be sparring with me and he and he catching on. He coming along. Bear. Bear up in here. Bear, you ain't you 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 all the way in MBK, right? Bear four. Um yeah, you you asked, you said, how does the update feel? Um the update feel to me the update feels good. I'm sure to a lot of people, they uh you know they they tripping on the update or whatever but i think the update is good um yo bear is nice man like a lot of guys that i spar with whether they in the camp or not uh i'll be putting a lot of guys up on game and uh and they and they are nice you know guys that spar with me yo they get they be nice yeah okay yeah bear bear in the camp so he ain't the beauty yet but bear got nice hands but man mbk members we ain't we don't have no low tier guys bro low low tier shit nah we ain't we ain't we don't nah we top heavy bro we got we got mid tier to top tier tip top 
tip top tier. What I rate your skills at? Jose, I don't think, you know, uh, I think you got a lot of skills, Zay. Because, uh, you know, we've been fighting in the phone booth and stuff, and I've been watching your moves. I've been, I've been watching you think on your feet, be uh, very instinctual. But I don't think that we just had a a straight up, you know, a, a competition style fight. You know what I'm saying? Like when I'm when we when we're sparring, I spar just to you know get my instincts right. That's what I'm mostly doing in the spar to get my instincts together. Uh, I, I I play off of instincts, so uh, you know I can smell blood in the ring uh, when I'm actually fighting. Uh, but so what I do know from you, Zay, I know you got good instincts. Um, but I don't think that we've had just like a, like a use every, every, uh, every tool in your belt, you know, uh, every, every tool in your, um, in your belt, you know, in your toolbox, your toolkit. I don't know if, uh, if we've had a fight like that, uh, uh, Zay. The first time we met, you rocked me and shit. I didn't know what kind of I didn't know what kind of skill you had. You just came up in the chat. You was like, "Yeah, let me go fight next." So I was just trying to size you up. And you came in and knocked me down and shit. Got the dub, and I was like, "Okay, okay, he he got some skills." Uh, so you damn sure ain't no scrub off top. Just off of what I know about you, you're you're well above a mid tier fighter. Let me put it like that. So like you say, you you say rate your skill levels. I don't know. I don't know what your ceiling is. But I damn know what I damn sure know what the bottom what the bottom is, and you far from a bottom tier fighter. You're a if I just had to say like just based off of the off the sparring like the worst things that you do, uh, the worst stuff that you do, pff, you you still better than than most people will ever get with just the worst things that you do. So I would say that you're like a. I'll, I'll put it to you like this. I like to think of I like to think of myself as a as a top a top fifty fighter, bare minimum. I'm top fifty. So if I had to put if I had to rank you two, um, like I said, I haven't I haven't seen I haven't seen your ceiling, but I'd have to say that you you're a top one hundred fighter, just based off of not I ain't really seen I haven't seen your prime. So I have to say you're a top hundred because your your the the your, the bottom of what you got going on is is uh is, is too good to be anything less. So right now I have to say you're a top hundred because you slept me you you whooped me a couple of times in the phone booth. So anybody that can win in the phone booth in my book, if you can win in the phone booth in the phone booth, you like you you definitely got to be a top hundred fighter. I right, I right, I'll be checking you out, Zay. I'll be checking you out. If you can win in the phone booth, you you're on your way to being, you know, a a, a top fifty, a top ten fighter. You know, it's almost anybody can get outside game, but but can you fight under pressure? Can you fight when all when all them punches is you know going at your body and your head and you bobbing and weaving and the hooks is coming. The hooks is flying, the lead body uppercuts is flowing and shit. Can can you fight in a pocket? If you if you can knock if you can knock me out in a pocket, you could fight. You could fight. <laughs> he said I can fight under pressure. I just get knocked out. <laughs> Yo, Blunt said he's been practicing as much as he can. That's hey, bro. That's all it takes, bro. You gotta first of all, you gotta have the heart of a fighter before you can even before you can even be a boxer. You gotta have the heart of a boxer. It's gotta be in your heart. It's gotta be in your mind, and then it'll be in your hands. You gotta have heart. You gotta have IQ, and then your hands will come. You got to think, bro. You can't just be throwing shit to be throwing it. You got to think about what the fuck you doing. He 
So, yo, I, I've been playing this game way too much. I've been playing all day. <laughs> yo, me too, bro. I've been playing this game so goddamn much, bro. My, my life has almost came to an end. I've been playing this motherfucker like I'm on crack, bro. Like I'm cocaine, hair, heroin addicted, bro. Like, <laughs> I've been playing this thing way too much, bro. Has anybody got knocked down yet in this fight, bro? Has, has Canelo got knocked down? Has... Sugar Ray got knocked down. Has anybody taken taken a knockdown? But this fight moving way too slow for me. This is a bad matchup, bro. This is a bad, bad matchup. <laughs> he said since RuneScape. God damn. He ain't played a game that much in a long ass time. RuneScape. Woo. Boy. Yo, RuneScape, Ru RuneScape was 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 Roblox before Roblox. RuneScape was uh was Minecraft before Minecraft. RuneScape was like the first PC game ever fucking made. <laughs> it was there. It was a RuneScape. RuneScape was World of Warcraft before World of Warcraft. <laughs> Get out of here, bro. Oh man. He got knocked out, bro. He chased him and chased him and chased him. And Sugar Ray Leonard put him on the canvas. Bro, my mans need to talk to me, man. Zips should have talked to me, bro. I would have gave him a better game plan. I would have set him up better, man. My man should have talked to me, man. I feel... I feel I feel bad for him going out like that in the main event, bro. I've had I've had a lot of main event losses, bro. I've only had one main event win. Y'all seen like two days ago on Monday, I had one main event win, and this was my uh, co-main event. I got a win as well, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, it wasn't good, bro. He lost by five points on every card, five points. So, uh. It is what it is, bro. It is what it is. I don't, I don't know what to say, man. That's a bad matchup. That's a bad matchup. That's a horrible matchup, bro. Horrible. You know it. I know it. Chocolate know it. Zips know it. We all know it, bro. You shouldn't have. You know what I'm saying? Jordan never did that move. It's a bad matchup, bro. I'm telling you right now, if you if you come to box and win, if somebody picks Sugar Ray Leonard, do not pick Canelo. Do not. If you if somebody picks Canelo, pick Sugar Ray Leonard. And then and then you can knock them out. You know what I'm saying? If somebody pick Canelo, Sh Sugar Ray Leonard, you know, that's like that's that's the that's the anti the anti bully. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you, bro. That's not even sauce. That's not even sauce. That's just common knowledge. You know what I'm saying? That's not sauce. I don't know what that is. That's just like some shit everybody know. That's like that's 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 like home training, bro. You know what home training is? Some shit that your mama and your daddy tell you. You go to school, they give you education, but your mama and daddy supposed to tell you how to not be nasty, how to wipe your ass. They don't teach you how to wipe your ass at school. That's home training. You do not fight Canelo versus Sugar Ray Leonard. You heard it here first. That's why they call me the battle zaddy. If you don't have any home training and you and you need a daddy, come see the battle zaddy, alright? I'll be your zaddy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, bro. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good, folks home training I'm and I'm not above home training like I said Jay Serge my corner coach man from day one from day one Jay Serge been a corner coach bro and he showed me he showed me I got my ass knocked out the same fucking way the same matchup Canelo versus Sugar Ray Leonard and, 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 and he knocked me the fuck out bro gave me some home training right here at M MBK camp he gave me some home training. Y'all didn't see that fight? Y'all didn't see that fight? The fight already happened. It gonna happen the same way every single time. Every single time. It's gonna happen the same way. 
Sugar Ray Leonard is going to knock out Canelo every time, bro. I'm sorry. The cocaine bear, he's strong and all that shit, but yo, Sugar Ray Leonard going to knock the cocaine out of you, bro. A polar bear with red hair? Shit. He going to knock all them little red, red hair follicles right off your ass. You're going to be a naked bear. That's what you're going to be, a naked bear. You're going to look like a big-ass mole rat. Sugar Ray Leonard gonna slap the shit out of you. You gonna look like a, I don't even know. That would be ugly as hell. Could you imagine a bear with no hair, bro? Like what he would look like? He would look like a giant fucking rat. That'd be scary as hell. A bear with no hair, bro. He would look like like this big ass pink rat. Like, <laughs> oh my goodness, that would be ugly. That'd be the ugliest creature on earth. I do not want to see a bear with no hair. Well, well, folks, that's all she wrote, man. Uh, it's over with. Jay Surge uh, did his thing. And the commentating. <laughs> you thought I was talking about bear. Oh, man, bear. That's funny as hell. Uh, if King Dre or somebody's in here, man, I never have the Discord link. I'm gonna have to have my guys uh, show me exactly how to do the Discord link. I'm such a rookie with technology. If I get the, if I could figure out how to do the Discord link, I'd put it in here. But uh, J Surge will probably drop in here. E Man, dude, King Dre, there you go. He got the Discord link. There you go. Night, yeah, Nightbot Command. I'm gonna go ahead and set up a lobby, man. We're gonna go back to the gym, bro. Back to the gym. We're going back to the gym. There go the code. There go the code, man. The only way you the only way you can stay on top is if you stay ahead, bro. Shit. You slept, I don't sleep. The only way you can stay on top is if you stay ahead. When you sleeping, I'm sparring. When you well rested, I'm still swinging. Somebody come up in here and get this sauce. I can't tell you the sauce, so you got to take these punches. You got to use your eyes. Use your eyes and ears. You got to use your eyes and your ears. Eyes and ears. Oh, you told him to raid me? Well, that's good. Tell him to come on down. Come on down. Come on down. I'm going to show him how to get it done. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you how to sniff out a fighter. I'm going to show you. I can't tell you. I'm going to show you how to sniff out, sniff a fight, baby. I'm going to show you how to sniff it out. You got to use your eyes. You got to pay attention to what the fighter doing. You got to you gotta look at how many tools he got. When he pull out his first tool... You pull it out, you look at that cell phone, you say, get that shit out of here. You pull out the next tool, you get a water bottle, you try to take a break, get that shit out of here. And then he come with another tool, he say, man, I want to smell good in this fight. Man, get your smell good ass out of here, bro. This is a fight. By the time, by the time he trying to scrounge around and find find the fourth tool and shit like that, he trying to find the cocaine, you just, he, the cocaine don't even get in the picture, just, phew, Night, night. It's over with. He tried to get back up and take another sip. Slap the soda out that boy bound. Most most guys don't got four tools. They don't. They can't even make it to the fourth tool. They don't have four tools in their bag. They got two point five tools. Two point five. They don't stay in the gym. They don't stay in the gym. They don't stay in the gym at all. 
You need you need to warm up before rank. Come on in, huh? Come on in, big baby. Come on in. Come on in. Dive in, bro. Dive on in. I gotta pull for the liquor and I dive in. You know what I'm saying? That's what you gotta do. Pull, drink. Yo, what kind of uh what kind of settings you want, bro? What settings you want? You want lightweight, bantam weight, middleweight, welterweight, featherweight, whatever, except heavyweight. Man, that's my dude right there. He said whatever except heavyweight. Alright. You know what? I really, I really enjoyed a lightweight class, man. I've had a lot of, a lot of competition fights in the lightweight class, and I actually enjoy it. It's my second favorite, uh, my second favorite class, uh, other than welterweight. And I've played a ton, a ton, a ton of welter, welterweight. He said, "Guess what league is live right now?" I kind of seen it in the back, in the background right there. I believe that says Savage Boxing. I said, uh, no, that's somebody else. That's a uh, wet uncle. It's wet uncle. Uh, oh, oh, savage boxing. Yeah, we we don't we don't support that, bro. That my boy hold the TV. Let me give my boy hold the TV a shout out. All right, shout out, man. He on the battlefield. That's a real cool dude. If you just want to sit back and chill, and talk to a cool dude, my boy uh, hold the TV. Let me shout him out. My dude hold the TV. He was here when I didn't have any viewers. When nobody wasn't watching me. Hold the TV was watching me. He was supporting me. He wanted them day ones, y'all. So get that man to follow. Even if you don't go watch him right now, just, just click his stuff and follow him. Even if you ain't you don't feel like watching Battlefield right now, show that man some love. He doesn't. He doesn't play undisputed, unfortunately. I believe he's playing on a. I think he's playing on a PS5. That's his name right there. Uh, I put the shout out. Holder TV. Holder TV. Twitch name. Holder TV. Yeah, that that was it. Let me shout it out again. That's it right there again. Holder TV6. That's his Twitch name. Shout that man out. You know, he good people to just kick it with, man. You ain't got nobody to watch or whatever. Or you just want to watch somebody new and refreshing or whatever. Go check out my man, Holder TV. Yo, thank you, Cat. Cat. Catherine. I think Catherine. <laughs> Catherine, thank, thank you for the follow. My man's been lagging. Boy, my man's been lagging. Yo, what's up, Ben lagging? I thought I was going to have to send a SWAT team to get you, Ben lagging. I thought I was going to have to find you off in them caves or something. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> FBI. This man, he, he in the dungeon, you know what I'm saying? He in the dungeon. He got the music going. I'm saying he got the smoke going, bro. Don't nobody come up in that in that dude that dude man cave, bro. You might get knocked the fuck out. Don't go up in that man man cave. He got all his shit lined up. Go in there touching. Don't touch a black man shit. <laughs> go in there touching things. Yo, follow my man Ben Lagging, bro. You talking about somebody who on the real? You said you don't want to see what's under the desk, yo. <laughs> I'm not even knocking, yo. I'm calling first, yo. I'm walking to the door, yo. I'm at the door. Open the door, bro. Open slowly, slowly. I'm standing right here, <laughs> yo. Chill out, cuz. Chill out. Do too much. Look, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you. What the man should have been doing with uh with Arturo Gotti. I'm gonna show you what he should have did with Gotti. He kinda had a good a good strategy against me. He kinda, but he ain't had no footwork. 
That man ain't had no footwork. He was a statue. It was a statue, bro. He had no footwork. I'm gonna show you how. I'm gonna show you what you're supposed to do. Don't go easy on me, BZ. I need to learn tonight, man. Shit, say less. Say less. I'm gonna knock your head clean off your shoulders. Bow. Did you learn anything? <laughs> Duck next time. Bow. <laughs> He said, I bought that buy one, get one, two off of Febreze. <laughs> you better, you better go ahead and spray it. Cause it, you smell that? I smell shit. <laughs> Yo, Hanzo over here taking a shit, y'all. Hanzo over here taking a shit. You better not stream. If you stream and you in there fighting like shit, boy, I will raid you. I will raid you with 35 people. I will make I will make you get good. Don't make me don't make me send out the people to embarrass you. I will make you throw them hands. You gonna throw them hands. You gonna stay in the gym. You gonna stay in the gym with me. Uh, where you at? Where you at, cuz? You said you said don't take it easy. Well, I heard some power come out of that thing. I heard some. I heard you. I heard I heard them. I heard the wind cuts, bro. What you trying to do, Lanierez? What you trying to do, Lightning Hands? What's up, Lightning Hands? You ain't on nothing. Pick your shots. Pick your shots, Lightning Hands. You ain't got nothing. You're too slow. Your hands lightning, but your feet molasses. What's up? What's up with it? Put them things up. No pause, no draws. Come on, lightning hands. Oh, you see that? Zeus ult, baby. Zeus ult. Boy, I'm going to knock his head clean off his shoulders. Dip, dip, potato chip. I'm going to knock his head clean off his shoulders. Ah, I didn't want to take that, bro. I couldn't believe you hit me with that bullshit. Hit me with that bullshit. Yo, J Surge, good shit, buddy. Good shit. Boy, you had that commentary shit down pat, bro. God damn, I thought you worked for Fox 4 News, bro. Good shit, J Surge. That's what I'm talking about. All aboard. J Surge got y'all learning out here. Had, had, had that stuff going. Was it good? Hell yeah, it was good. Hell yeah, I mean, I, I couldn't listen to, to you talk about my fight, but I was listening to the other fights. Yeah, yeah, you was you was talking about them, bro. And, and the good thing, the one thing that I noticed early on when you was talking, you you told, you told said what was going on without spilling the beans on what they supposed to do. I remember you said this exactly. This, you said this one thing exactly. You said... And the fight that I was watching, I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, I got to go back and listen to, uh, to the, to the video on what you said about me. Uh, I'm going to go back and listen to that after they, after they cut the stream. But, oh, uh, what I, what I heard you say in one of the other fights, it was a George Linares fight. It was George Linares versus, uh, Garcia. When George Linares hit him, you said, George Linares needs to go back and think about what he did to knock him down and throw the same punch. He need to do the same thing. I said, ooh, that was some smart commentating right there. He didn't say what punch he threw. He didn't call it out. He didn't tell him exactly what to do. He said, just do the same thing. I said, I'll be down. Did you see that? Was y'all paying attention? Y'all looking, but you but you ain't paying attention to detail. You didn't see it. You looking, but you ain't see it. Oh my goodness. Lightning hands. Holy Spirit. Activate. Activate. Come on, lightning hands. Come on, lightning hands. What's up? What's up, Zeus? Zeus ult. God damn, he hit me with the lightning hands again. That boy fast. What you trying to do? What you trying to do, Giorgio? Giorgio, what's up? Holy Spirit, activate. Oh, no. Holy oh, Spirit, no. Oh, activate. No. Holy Spirit, activate. 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 Oh. All right, let's go. You better stay prayed up. 
Hook City is real. You better stay prayed up. <laughs> he said, what the fuck was that? <laughs> I was I was trying to get the Holy Spirit with that girl, with that young WP. I was trying to get the Holy Spirit activate. Oh no! Holy oh, Spirit no. Oh, activate. No. Holy Spirit activate. 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 Oh. All right, let's go. <laughs> I was trying to catch the Holy Spirit with that girl. Quit playing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I've been known to run out of toner. <laughs> Oh my god, that's the inside joke. Some of y'all know what's up with that joke. I've been known to run out of toner. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh yeah, he won both of us? Oh, that'd be great, bro. That'd be great. That'd be great, man. Yeah, I offered it to him, but I knew that he probably wasn't gonna he wasn't gonna take me on the on the mic because I was in the fight. You gotta get your soundboard going. Hey, let me. Hey, you you don't you got a uh what you call it? You got blurp. Let me send you the link, bro. Let me send you the blurp link. You know what I'm saying? Let me get my affiliate shit. You know what I'm saying? Let me let me get a little bit of uh I'm affiliated with blurp. Let me try to get a little cash, homie. Let me try to get a little cash. You ain't hip to that shit? Boy, we could put you on. We could put you on, bro. I give you the walkthrough. I give you the walkthrough, man. This is a this is a tips and tips and tricks channel, you know what I'm saying? Yo. Come on, man. That's too easy. Come on. Come on. Come on, oh bro. Oh my god, you know what? This is really scary. What I tell you, George? What I tell you? What I tell you, George? Hook City. Hook City, George. Quit playing with me. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna sauce you up, George. It ain't over. It ain't over. Ooh, I'm gonna sauce you up, George. Go back to that corner. Think about it. Think about it in that corner. Huh? <laughs> huh? You in here fighting the zaddy? You in here fighting the zaddy? What you want? Oh, you can't take those like that, George. Keep taking those. I will send you to Jesus. You can't take those, bro. Oh no, and you can't approach me like that with your hands all throwing them all the wild at you can't approach me like that, bro. You gotta come up here, you know, cool, calm, and collected, bro. You can't come up in here wilding out. You don't know what that is because that's that's some American shit. You don't know about no wilding out. But regardless, don't do it. You eating them punches, George. You eating them things. George, I'm too strong. I'm too strong. You can't eat them punches, George. Yo, man, get, pull out the Febreze. Pull out the Febreze, bro. You keep on taking them hooks. Pull out the Febreze. Well, I'm finna instant transmission your ass. Straight to heaven, bro. Straight to heaven. Instant transmission. George, you gotta fight back, George. Sometimes if you can't block, the best block is a punch. There it is. There it is, George. I told you sometimes the best block is a punch. Fight back. Bruh. Put them motherfucking hands Fire up. Fire your rifle, soldier. Put them hands up. Put them up. If your defense suck, your offense better be better. You can't have shitty offense and defense. You better be good at something. Bring that ass here. Bring that ass here, boy. What I tell you? What I tell you? You can't have bad offense and defense. Pull up. 
Pull up to the table. <laughs> that boy put a Y in the help. He said, help. <laughs> Can't nobody hear you, bro. The crowd is fake. The crowd is digital. It's just me and you in here. Can't nobody save you. Them is cardboard cutouts, bro. They not going to get in here and save you. The ref damn sure ain't gonna save you. I didn't even know there was a ref in this game. He ain't gonna save you. You ain't got no cuts. I'm just gonna brutalize your ass. Let me see if I can cut you. There you go. Go ahead. Take that power. Let me see if I can cut you real quick. Maybe the ref will stop the fight. Uh, uh, uh. Maybe the ref will stop the fight for you. He might feel sorry. Oh, George got a little bit of offense. Just a little. Come on with it, George. Come on. Come on, Lightning. Come on, Lightning. Oh, you ate another one. I caught you just looking at it, George. You were just looking at it. The punches hit you in the mouth in slow motion. Don't look. Move your head. Move your head. You in the ring with a killer. I'm finna murder your ass, bro. Oh. Oh. I told you. The cocaine bear. I'm finna murder your ass. <laughs> oh man get the toe tag get the body bag zip them up <laughs> zip them up call the corner call the mama yo j surge Tell them, for some of y'all that's new to the game, up on the analog stick make you walk up the mat and down make you walk down the mat. Use your feet. <laughs> Use your feet. Cha-cha now, y'all. Cha-cha now, y'all. <laughs> Oh, man. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Crisscross. Crisscross. <laughs> Use your feet, homie. That man didn't know he had feet. If you don't know you got feet, then shit, you know, you gotta you gotta do like this. You know what I'm saying? You gotta weave a little bit. You gotta ah uh, ah uh, you gotta you gotta do a little bit of this. You might have a bad back. You know you need to stretch a little bit. You need to do a little bit of this. <laughs> you need to stretch. See that? Look, I'll show you. Ah, ah. Lean back, lean back. Where he at? Ah, ah. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness. Ah, ah. There you go. Yeah, your back loose, man. Now use it. Before I knock your head off again. <laughs> if you can't move your feet, you better move your back. Can you join Katrin? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream, Cat.
We have a new challenger. Yo, Zay, let me fight Cat first. I've never seen this. I said I've never seen this uh, Twitch Twitch uh, viewer fighter streamer before. It's their first time up in here today. First time talking. Let me see what they got. Let me see what they got. I'm all, I, I love a nice surprise. Surprise me. Let me see what you got. Let me see what kind of tools you got in the box. Let me see if you got some junk in the trunk. Huh? Don't come up in here lighting the ass now. Don't come up in here lighting the ass. I like them thick. I like them thick now. I like them thick. Come in here lighting the ass. We're going to have some problems. Put that thing in reverse. It better beep when you back up. It better beep when you back up. Come on. Come on, lightning hands. Come on, lightning hands. Oh, lightning hands. The same girl that called you, called me. She for the streets. He said, I want to fight. I want to join the lobby. You next up, cat. You next up. You want to fight? You want to fight? You next up. <laughs> he said, any moment now. Any moment, you going to get to fight. <laughs> any moment. George Daenerys is going down. <laughs> Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty, man. He finna fall off the wall. Humpty Dumpty had, oh, he had a great fall. Yo, Humpty Dumpty, if you were smart, you would make like the gingerbread, the gingerbread man and run. The, the big bad wolf is here. I ain't already ate Little Red Riding Hood. You the only motherfucker left. I ain't already ate her. Why are your gloves so big to punch you with? <laughs> Why are your eyes so big to see you move in slow motion? Why are your paws so big to send you to Hook City? Ah! <laughs> oh, you can't piss like a puppy and run with the big dogs. I think he had enough, man. I think I think he was laughing too hard at the little red Riding Hood story. <laughs> I think little red Riding Hood made him made him lose control of his sticks, man. <laughs> he said he gotta mute my ass. Boy, the taunting is real. The taunting is real. <laughs> <laughs> it said, why are your eyes so big? So I can see you throw in slow motion. Lightning hands. Lightning hands. Why is your paw so big? <laughs> I fucked myself up. Why are your paw so big? For powder. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> God damn, I I knocked I, I knocked a slipper up off you, man. Shit. Your ass went back to being a regular girl. Yeah, man, I knocked the magic right out your ass. <laughs> FBI, open up! <laughs>
Yo, shit, I promise I paid my taxes, man. I just got those subs, bro. I just got them. Hold on. Let me add this shit to my W-2. I promise you I paid my taxes, man. <laughs> it says feed a fighter, bro. Damn, I'm just trying to eat. The FBI always want to stop a nigga from having fun. Yo. Yo, Cat, is that you? Cat, are you Mike Glizzy? Katrin. Are you Mike Glizzy? Because if you're not, I got to get Mike Glizzy up out of here. And if you are, what weight class do you want to fight in? Do you want to fight in welterweight? Do you want to fight in lightweight? Do you want to fight in featherweight? Do you want to fight in bantamweight? Tell me what you want, cat. Well, I'm going to tell you what I need. Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I want to, I want to, I want to. I want to make them say, ah. Yo, you got that in your, in your DJ stuff being lagging? You got you some Spice Girls? <laughs> was, was, that, was that Spice Girls? That wasn't Spice Girls. Who was that? That was another little pop star. I don't know who the hell that was. If you want to be my lover, I don't know who sang that song. All right. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. This person is not communicating with me and we is not rocking no heavyweight shit. So I'm just going to take them. I'm going to take them downtown. I'm going to take them into lightweight. It's a little, there's a lot more even fighters than lightweight. Is Catherine? All right, it's Cat. It's Cat. Catherine. All right, we're going to boost everything up. All right, we're going to pick our fighters. I, I already showed you what, what Mr. Gotti could do. Mike Glizzy, all right, all right, Mike Glizzy. So I already know. Glizzy not about them hands. Mike Glizzy say if I whoop his ass, he going to grab the Glizzy. All right, so... I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how how you how that guy how the guy should have played Ryan Garcia. I'm gonna show you how he should have played Garcia against who was it? It was it was Garcia against uh George George Linares. So what he was supposed to do? Uh, are you registering for the WCB cruiser cruiser? Oh, it's a cruiserweight tournament. Fuck no, man, that's ugly. Ugh. I would have to practice like for the rest of the week just to be decent at cruiserweight. I would have to practice all week, bro. And I do I don't think I wanna I don't like cruiserweight and I don't think I wanna sit there and practice cruiserweight all week. Just just to maybe win. Yeah, if I I don't know, bro. I don't think I don't think I wanna practice cruiserweight all day today and tomorrow and then go to a cruiserweight fight on Friday just to possibly win when I don't I don't want to be I don't want to be the cruiserweight champion. I could care less. Like somebody going to come in and take the belt from me because my heart not in it. So I don't play cruiserweight, but I did it cuz why not? Yeah. I mean, I, I you know, if it had been a couple of weeks ago, I probably would have took a, I would take a cruiserweight fight. But you know, right now I feel I feel pretty I feel pretty confident in my uh my middleweight welterweight. Uh, I, I'm playing I'm playing every I play all divisions except for three. There's only three divisions I don't play. That's the women's division, heavyweight, and cruiserweight. I don't play heavyweight, cruiserweight, or women's. I could play women's, but I just don't care to use women fighters. So really, it's just heavy and cruiser. I don't want to deal with heavy and cruiser, bro. That's just lame. Jose, what you talking about? When is the fight? My fight? The one that I had today? I already knocked him out. It's over with. That boy went to sleep. He went night night. You gotta, yeah, you gotta catch the instant replay, man. He done, bro. I, oh, you missed it, bro. I picked his pocket. Yeah, I picked his pocket, bro. We can go back and look at it, though. In fact. 
I'm gonna go back. I think I'll go back and look at it maybe after this fight because I want to see. I want to hear what Jay Surge said about me. Jay Surge was commentating, so we can go back and, and watch it. Oh yeah, it, it was it was ridiculous, bro. It was ridiculous. I tore him up. I tore him up. You know what I'm saying? The meter man showed up. The meter man. I showed up and turned the lights out, bro. He ain't paid a light bill. Showed up and turned the lights out. Uh, the update is cool, bro. I like the update, but everybody else is crying about it. They crying about it because I'm sending people to Hook City at an accelerated rate. You know what I'm saying? They buffed Hook City. And uh, you know what? I don't even have golden tickets anymore. We don't even have tickets. It's just it's, it's standing room. You know, just if you can fit on the train, get in there. Stand on top of somebody. Uh, lay on them. Whatever you got to do to uh, catch the train. You know, because it's packed right now. Everybody going to Hook City. I got to talk to my wife. Hey, baby.
Yo, what's up, Undisputed? You seen Hook City going off? You seen Hook City? I was looking real crisp. I told you next time you see me, it won't be the same BZ. I told you it was going to be the same next time you see me. Came and showed out. I had to box him up a little bit. Pick my shots. I picked his pocket. The boy wasn't ready. Full counters. He wasn't ready. It was a lot of animals. He wasn't ready for it. So you know what it is? They wasn't ready for me, man. I came in there crispy. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm tagging you up, Zay. I'm piecing you up. I don't I don't got a lot of power, but I'm 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 sooner or later I'm gonna wear you down. They them them punches gonna stack up, it's gonna start hurting.
Yeah, yeah, I'm muted for a second. I'm on I'm on the phone with my wife, y'all. So I'll be I'll be I'll unmute in a little bit talking to my wife. Well, she said she wanted to get off the phone. She said call in an hour. So we're gonna try to get this rank match in. And then uh I think I'm gonna go back to the undisputed uh the undisputed WEC page and then we're gonna we gonna rewatch my fight and we're gonna we're gonna hear with uh what my corn what my corner coach Jay Surge had to say about me. Cause I didn't I didn't get a chance to hear it because I was in the fight, so I don't know what the announcers were saying. But we're we gonna listen to the the announcers analysis. And y'all didn't get to see me because I had to turn my mic off and my camera off and everything. So we'll listen to what Jay Surge had to say and what he seen. And then I'll also tell you what I saw in the fight, what I seen, uh, and, and why I was doing what I was doing. So you can kind of get uh, you can get two opinions of uh, the fighter in the ring. And you can get an opinion of, of the person uh, watching the fight and see if they were, uh, see if the opinions were close. I, I won't lie. I will uh, uh, if I if I have a disagreement with what Jay Surge says, I'll disagree. And if I say if I think Jay Surge is right, I'll be like, yeah, he was definitely right. I just made the wrong move, the wrong read at that point in time. Which fighter shall I pick and ranked to improve in middleweight, lightweight? Hooks all day, sending bums to a nice spot in the Hook City graveyard. There are still many spots to fill. <laughs> Get yours. Yes, sir. That's a little Hook City brochure right there. <laughs> a little Hook City brochure. Um, I'll, I'll knock. Okay, so here's the thing, bro. I don't really, I don't really feel like ranked um really like tells you how good of a fighter you are just because people use a lot of like cheese strategies but if i had to say like a fighter to get good with and use i would definitely say sugar ray leonard is a more balanced fighter so uh i'm going against a inside fighter bro and uh, i'm going against an inside fighter which in, in canelo and i'm an outside fighter so this is a bad matchup, like I said before. I should uh I should destroy uh, this Canelo pretty easily, but we'll see what happens. What's up, Joe from the John? That's my dog, Joe from the John. I know y'all know Joe from the John because he's swinging and banging and hanging with the best of them. Yeah, I see you folks with the vibes. Definitely, bro. You know, I'm going to be in here. I'm going to be talking. Oh, let me get up out. I'm going to be talking mad shit. I'm going to be busting them in their ass. I'm going to talk about what they doing wrong. So this dude right here, this dude, he real live. He real live with me right now. No lie. I see him. I see him. He he think, he think he wants to compete. So this dude right here, he definitely wants to win. He wants to knock me out. He got the strategy. He got the twitch fingers. You know what I'm saying? He coming, he coming with the heat. He coming with the heat. Yo, he trying to pack me up in the light box, bro. He trying to give me the lunchable and tell me to take my punk ass home. I'm not, I don't eat lunchables. You got me fucked up. He trying to give me the lunchable, bro. He coming with the ramen noodles. Boy, I'm top shelf. You can't do me like that. He come up with the Lunchables, man. His name is Mr. Man. Mr. Man. You can't do me like that, Mr. Man. I'm finna. Woo, I'm finna take you to Hook City, Mr. 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 It's coming. It's coming. I told you. I told you it was coming. <sighs> I told you it was coming. Well, that boy was a free throw. You know what I'm saying? I got him. Yeah, out of there. Yeah, out of there. Walk up. Nothing but net, baby. Walk up. Walk up. 
we do not know they did not send out any specifics on exactly what the percentage was but it doesn't matter you got hooked today you got hooked yesterday you're gonna get hooked tomorrow and if you show up in the ring with me you're gonna get hooked again because this is hook city they can change the settings all they want it won't matter He's hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt. The man is hurt. I'm going to put him down. Oh, oh, he got me. He got me with a powerful hook. The bear claw. The bear claw is real. I got to stay alive. I got to stay alive. He done burnt on my block. I got to stay alive. I'm dancing. I'm dancing. I'm romancing. The same girl that called you called me. She for the streets. That boy rumbling, stumbling. Lift off. Lift off. Get your ass up out of here. Lift off. Private jet. Gas it up, baby. Gas it up. I'm finna hit this boy with the instant transmission. Send your ass straight, straight to heaven. You're gonna be sitting next to Goku with the little with the little angel angel thing on your head. Get up out of here. Get up out of here. I'm finna pack them up. I'm finna pack them up. Put the boxes, put the box right next to the ring. All he needs is a fresh pair of drawers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's getting pop. Boy, look at the paparazzi. The paparazzi up in this motherfucker. Ah, ah. Get up out of here. Oh, he caught me. He caught me slipping. He caught me slipping. Oh, my footwork got loose. My footwork got loose. Oh, when he takes me down. He takes me down. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. I better take this time to pray to my Lord and Savior. Because that man got stone hands. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I'm in a dark, dark place. I'm in a dark, dark place, y'all. You better stay prayed up. You better stay prayed up. You better stay prayed up. Your ass is mine. Yo, I'm finna sauce him. I'm gonna tell y'all what I'm finna do to him. I'm gonna tell y'all so y'all know that I ain't phony. You might think I'm phony. I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm going to let him gas himself. I'm going to let him gas himself. He's going to throw out them hooks. And when he run out of steam, I'm going to punch him right in his fucking mouth. Here it come. I'm going to set him up. When he run out of steam, I'm going to punch him right in his fucking mouth. Watch. Watch. Watch, watch what he do. Watch what he do. Here he come. Here he come. Watch what he do. Watch what he do. Come on with it. Run out of steam. I dare you. Run out of steam. Stay in the pocket. Come on, run out of steam. He thinking about it. He thinking about it. I'm going to take you to the shack out back. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm going to take you to the shack out back. Down by the river. Down by the river. What they had to do to old yeller? What they had to do to old yeller? I'm sorry. I got to do it to the polar bear with red hair. I got to do it to the polar bear. I got to take him down by the river. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Sad songs last long. So, please. No singing at my funeral. Oh, my goodness. Button up your shirt. When you come to the live stream, button up your shirt. Don't come up in here funky. I smell shit. Hey, hey. Canela over here taking a shit, y'all. Canela over here taking a shit.
Let me, let me, let me get them. Let me dust my sticks off. Let me get them, y'all. That boy not ready. That boy not ready. You better come up with a new plan. You better come up with a new plan. Oh, yeah, he got the pillow. He definitely got the pillow. You in the ring with the Sandman. Let me sing you a song. It goes a little something like this. Dream. Dream, 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 dream. Boy, he got a temper pitic temper silly mattress. The motherfucker don't get hot. It don't get cold. <laughs> You could roll over on a mat. I wouldn't know you was there. That boy sleeping better than Dak Prescott. Oh, I told you. I told you what I was going to do to him. I'm going to let him throw himself out. And then I'm going to knock him out. Run them hands. Run them hands. Come up out them pockets, cuz. Oh, he done rocked me. He done rocked me. He done rocked me. He done rocked me. Run them pockets. Run them pockets. Run no pockets, you ain't about nothing. You ain't about nothing. He done burnt on my block. He ain't burnt, he done burnt on my block. Run no pockets. Run no pockets. I done told you how it's gonna do you. I done told you how it's gonna do you. You gonna gas out and then you gonna pass out. Light work. Light work, baby. Gas out, pass out. Your mouth wide open. Beam him up. Scotty. Scotty, get him. Scotty, get him. He don't want to be here. He don't want to be here. Your mama said stay in school. You don't want to be here. Stay in school. Stay in your books. Stay Get in your paperwork. Get in your books. I need you to read. Think about what the fuck is going on here. Think about it. Read something. He not ready. Somebody send this man a note. He need a text message, a DM. He need a oh, God. I told you to stay prayed up. You need to listen. You in the Lord's hands now, cause I got your ass. <laughs> if you're scared, go to church. You in the Lord's hand now, huh? You in the Lord's hands. You better hope my internet go out, man. You, you better hope I didn't pay the light bill or something. You better hope my batteries die on my controller. Because you ain't making it out of this ring. You, be, you, better, you better pray. You better pray that my eyes start itching or something like that. You better pray that I got to use a bathroom. <laughs> ah, ah! Oh, he throwing the heavy. He throwing the heavy hitter. He throwing the headshots. Boy, you not finna get me with that. You not finna get me with that. You not finna get me with that. I wish you would. He lands another. I wish you would. Boy, I bust you. Oh, I bust you right in your mouth. Right in your mouth. Right in your mouth. I bet he throw it again. I bet he throw it again. Watch what I'm gonna do to him. Watch what I'm going to do to him. He going to throw it again. Woo, watch what I'm going to do to him. He going to do it again. Watch how I handle him. Oh, he rocked me. He caught me with one. Yo, he got, yo, Canelo, he got a lot of stamina, bro. He got a lot of stamina. You got to watch out. That boy eat his Wheaties. He eat his Wheaties. He got a hell of a stamina bar. He eat his Wheaties. Watch what I do to him. He tied. He tied, y'all. He tied. I'm finna make it rain. He tired, y'all. Let me go. Let me go to the body. Let me go to the body. He can't breathe. He can't breathe. What happened to your cardio? He can't breathe. He didn't put enough gas in the tank. That's 87. You need 93 octane to fuck with me. You need some jet fuel. 
You ain't got the right gas. Boy, I got diesel. I got diesel. Oh, no. What you gonna do about it? What you gonna do about it, Nello? What you gonna do about it, Nello? Oh, and the bell saves him. The bell saves him. It's just too bad there's there's six more rounds, bro. There's six more rounds. You got to deal with a demon. You got to deal with a demon for six more rounds. I told you what I'm going to do to you. I told you what I'm going to do to you. Look at him. He eating them bodies. He eating them. He eating them. You're going to be too tired. He don't know what to do. I got him gassed. I got him gassed, y'all. I got him gassed. I done broke him down. I done took the parts off. He missing a muffler. Look at him. He trying to hit me with the same counter, bro. It's not going to work. He missing a muffler. What else he missing? What else he missing? Boy, he about one spark plug shy. He got seven, he got seven, seven spark plugs. You got seven spark, spark plugs and you got a seven. <laughs> you got seven spark plugs in a V8. Boy, you sputtering. You sputtering right now. You need a new plug. Make sure you gap it. Make sure you gap your spark plugs now. Oh no. He got me with a shadow punch. It's okay. It's okay. I don't give a damn about that shadow punch. Your shadow punch ain't shit. You can't win. You can't win. Look, I'm I'm well rested. Well, I'm taking a good ass nap right there. You see that? You see that temper peely I was laying on? Temper peely. While well, taking a good ass nap, let me get up. Let me let me get up and think about it. Oh, he got me again. Oh, I'm in trouble, y'all. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble like a motherfucker. I had to take a knee. I had to take a knee. He was finna knock me the fuck out and take my points. Now you gotta be smarter than that. You gotta be smarter than that. Whoa, you gotta be a little bit faster now. You gotta be a little bit faster. Whoa, you gotta be smarter than that. He was finna take my ass out. Not today. Not today. I stay prayed up. The devil is a lie. The devil is a lie. Oh my goodness. I'm up. I'm only up one point. I had a 10 7 round. I had a 10 7 round. That's not good, my friends. That's not good. I'm playing with him too much. I got to go ahead and put him out of his misery. Y'all ever seen Misery? Y'all seen Misery the movie? When that girl hit that man on his motherfucking ankles and broke his shit? Boy, I was scared to death after I seen that. Boy, I, boy, I sauced him up right there. I'm in dangerous water right now, y'all. I'm in dangerous water. I got to finesse them. I'm in some real dangerous water. I got to finesse it. If you catch me with that bear claw, I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose if you catch me with that bear claw. I'm in real dangerous water. I got to tiptoe. Oh, shit. He almost took me. He almost took me there. We are the champions. We are the champions. No time for losing because we are the champions of the world. <laughs> it was all a dream. That boy thought. He thought he was going to take BZ out. But you thought wrong. What they say? You study long, you study wrong. You can't take me. You can't take me. Boy, did you see me in there? Did you see me? 
I zig and I zag. My head, my head movement was like, what? Ah, ah, ah. 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 Oh, oh, oh. 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 Which way did he go? Which way did he go, George? What happened? What happened? I'm the real deal. I'm the real deal, Holyfield. I did all that shit for two points. For two points. It's okay. It's okay, because I was really just playing with him the whole damn time. It wasn't as close as I allowed it to be. I was on some high-risk-reward type shit. It really wasn't as close as it was supposed to be, because I... S -s 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 -s, and I... But see, but then I got greedy with it. I walk up, walk up. I rocked them early, you know. I was putting them power things on. Quit playing with me. Quit playing with me. That's why I try to tell y'all. I try to tell y'all, man. Look, that rank shit, it ain't for everybody, bro. Just because you high ranked or whatever, you sitting here on, you got an undisputed belt and all that bullshit, and you're high up there and all that, it don't mean nothing. That shit don't mean nothing. I'm telling you, I got this motherfucking hook. I take it with me everywhere I go. Salt shake me if you want to. Get fly if you want to. Put a code up in the chat if you want to. I'm going to bust your ass live in full effect. I'm going to give it to you raw. Let's go back to that footage. I wanted to run the tape back. We're going to see the instant replay. Some of y'all missed the fight. Y'all missed the match. Uh, Goose, you said, what time is my fight? You missed the fight, but I'm going to run the fight back, bro. You finna get the instant replay. Let me go ahead and see if I can find the instant replay. Pull it up for y'all. And we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about some shit I did right. And we're going to talk about some shit I did wrong. All right. You can always get better. I did not fight a perfect fight. You can always get better. So we're going to talk about the dumb shit I did wrong and the good shit I did right. And we're not going to spill no beans. We're not going to spill no beans. We're just going to point it out. Point them out. Point them out. All right. Let me find it right here. Undisputed. Not a lot of people on my follow list, on my friends list and shit like that. WECB Unsubute. Uh, uh, woo! WECB Unsubute. I can't even say it. WECB Undisputed. There we go. And right there, as you see, Chocolate landing a nasty right straight to the face. It finishes All off right. double left hooks to the body. So we got it pulled up, y'all. We got it pulled up. Way to finish the fight. We're going to talk about it. As I said before we started, Zips... In his own right, an outstanding fighter, not very known in the community, trying to make a name for himself. He does hold a WECB Let middleweight championship. Let me go ahead and stop that. Let me see what you said. You said, I had the power, power, I had the power out. Damn, I want to see that shit. Since you're showing it to me, so proud, I can't already guess who won. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Since I'm showing it to you, you know what happened. You know what happened, bro. You know what happened. BZR showed up and showed out. That's right. We're going to run it back. Yo, what's up, Undisputed? We're we doing an instant replay, and I'm going to listen to what uh, you and Jay Surge uh, had to say about me because I couldn't hear it during the fight. And we're going we gonna to talk about the things that I did good and the things that I did bad. And if I agree or disagree with uh, some of the commentary, with what I saw at, in the moment of the fight, what I, was, what I was seeing and what I was dealing with, the adjustments that I made, and we're going to talk about the adjustments uh, the adjustments that the announcers uh, said that a uh, uh, thought that I should have made, or the things that I was doing good, or whatnot, all that. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna uh, we're gonna agree and we're gonna disagree and we're gonna agree again because I came out with the win. All right, you can't disagree with a win. Hook City in this thing. All right, so let me see where I'm at. I should be about me right here. No, that's Canelo still. We had some long fights, cause uh, we had relative, uh, we had a relative time, so the uh, the fights was real long. Okay, that's me right there. We had there we go. We had Ricky Haddon, Ricky Haddon 
versus Oturo Gotti. BZR versus the Bam Man. And he was trying to set me up with some BAMs, y'all. Let's go ahead and turn turn the audio on and listen to what they got to say. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're going to do some some in-depth some some in-depth uh analyzing bro we finna again, we finna do some see. analyzing we're not gonna we're not gonna talk about any he cheat codes we're not gonna talk about exactly what i did tickets. but but it's gonna be pretty in-depth i can't report. spill the beans <laughs> oh i i think it's um it's no question we're gonna see somebody go to hook city um in the favor somebody's uh, going like, to hook city uh, somebody's going a little bit of stutter issue right now I don't know which fighter chose which fighter. Normally, my boy goes with uh, Ricky Hatton, but he also likes Gotti sometimes. So, yeah, Ricky Hatton in the house. Shout out to Ricky Hatton. Great fighter. Great fighter in the game. Uh, Bizarre is really good with him, really good at doing a lot of different things with him. So, I'm, I'm eager to see this fight. Hook City, baby. All right. All right, so I don't, I don't want to talk over uh, – over the announcer so much so immediately at the beginning of the fight i see um i see a churro Gotti is like he's acting really weird he's um in the weave and he's just kind of bobbing and weaving he's very stationary he's not moving so i'm trying to fill him out and i know there was a patch update today they increased the damage of the hooks and uh in the power and i know churro Gotti possesses some of the highest power and some of the highest damage in the hooks. So I'm extremely worried that this guy is trying to one punch KO me at the beginning at the beginning of the fight. That's what I'm thinking about. Wait the vision. So you see me sidestepping him. I'm got a prediction live as well, so feel free to bet some channel points on this fight. So I'm trying. I'm trying to pick his pocket. I don't know who I'm predicting. I'm trying to get around his defense. He's in. He's in the weave. All my channel points. I'm out of channel points. I've been making bad predictions. You're out of them. You ain't been making the right ones then. <laughs> my style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable, and I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. All right. Let's see here. Trying to figure. All right, so I'm trying. I'm trying to stay out of his. Uh, Which stream are we watching, boys? We, oh, yours right there. Got it. I'm staying 100%. out of his range. Having technical and, difficulties over here. I apologize. And I'm picking and popping yeah, right now, good. cause like, um, he's not moving his feet. So I'm staying again, out of striking distance. Play. Picking and popping. Style. He's putting that pressure on, walking down his opponent. And uh, looks like they're gonna be fighting in the front. Okay, so early on. I know Gotti's got the power, and he hasn't yeah. thrown very many don't shots. Know bizarre. He's he's turning. He, the man. Okay, so right here, I don't want to talk over the announcers. Uh, so what I notice, uh, my my assumption is right. He's throwing very little punches, and the ones he does come out with is power punches. He comes out with a power straight that kind of spooks me a little bit. I get worried of, of the power straight, and he throws um, a lead body uh, uppercut on the left. And uh, and you know, anytime somebody goes to the body, goes to the stam, they get you a little worried about uh, about the end game. We go in ten rounds or twelve rounds, they get you worried about you know where you're gonna be at the end of the match. All right, so let's keep going. So I'm spooked on a power punch and uh, Eden Lee bodies. He's got like a thousand fights under his belt. He he lives and breathes this game. It's he he overanalyzes it, he underanalyzes it. He does everything he can to try to stay on top of the game. He, he's developed into a well-rounded fighter, being able to press, being able to stay on the back foot, whatever it takes to take somebody to Hook City. Yeah, I feel the fan like... man doing a... Go ahead, I'm sorry. No, you're good. I feel like um, the bad man's coming with us. Not too good of a game plan, especially against Bazaar. Like, if he wants to fight in a phone booth, it's a dangerous tactic against bizarre you know on the other side of that you know the good old saying is fight fire with fire sometimes you know the best weapon is 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 getting in there and giving him this taste of his own medicine uh don't be scared of him. don't be scared of his reputation show him that you belong to be there and, and he'll re earn his respect 
He'll yeah. give it to you pretty quick. He he definitely earned my respect early on. He, he's he never going to let you breathe if you don't give him a reason to. And, and that's very true as well. I'm not going to let nice you breathe. Jab but he, he, he pops me a few times and earns my respect. I was already worried. You know, God, he's got heavy hands. So I was already worried. Yeah, Again, well. the Batman just standing there flat-footed, holding the weave. Not going to do be a very effective against somebody of easy stature of being able to rotate and hit you in different parts of your body. He's looking for openings. He's 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 got an eye for everything that you do. He, he reacts to everything that that Bam Man's going to try to do. And standing there is not a very hard thing to react to, if you know what I mean. Yeah, You're going to have to move around. So you see, he's eating me up. We all see in uh, the Bam Man land a few. He's eating kind of body uppercuts. Yeah, which he's is nice to see. That's bothering me. The lateral movement from Bazaar. He's, he's eating me and up with those lead bodies, and it's like bothering when me. He's using, when he's moving laterally, he's also throwing hooks as well. He's, he's, he's always moving. Not a stationary opponent at all. So No, not at all. He's he, Bazaar's a really good uh, directional punch thrower. He's, he's mastered the art of throwing the directional punches when he needs to, depending on where the opponent is. He's right. uh, he's one of our best at doing that for sure. So we got Jay Surge in here. He's the not guy. A bad fight. He's the announcer it's talking not, right not, now. Not a bad round out of both competitors there. I'm gonna have yeah. to give the round to Bazaar. Um, but of course I'm a little biased. What do you boys think? Um, I would have to say the same. Although the Batman seems like he's more of the counter puncher in this fight. He did land a few good counters last round. But no, I would have to agree. I think uh, he definitely counterpunched me the the, the entire Amanda match. Landed or bizarre, definitely won him that round. I could be wrong. Okay, so you see, he threw a power straight at me. So I'm concerned with the power straights and the lead bodies. Okay, I know I can't get caught. I can't get caught. And eleven people voted for bizarre to win this fight. So 100% staying light on my feet. I'm staying light on my and feet, but he is he is putting some hurt on me. The line. Okay. Ooh, that's some heavy odds, boys, but expected. Bazaar's a well-known uh, member of the community. He streams every day for hours on end, puts on a good show every time he does it, and he has the best trash talking in the game outside of myself, the mouth <laughs> from the south. <laughs> I like that. But that being said, <laughs> the mouth his, his from the south style is 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 hard to beat. It's hard to beat, but his persona is even harder to beat. When you hop in a ring with him, you're not just facing so, up against his his ability in the so ring. So right you, there, you, you know you got. Eyes. That's what I was really trying to avoid. I was I was really trying to avoid that power straight that he caught me. It's the third round. You know, if he had caught me with that power straight uh, early in the first round when he threw it, uh, you know, it could have been a showstopper. So I'm very aware, God, he's got, you know, uh, uh, he's got a, his gas tank when it comes to power. You, you don't want to mess with it on 100%. So um, I, was, I was being very, very cautious and just trying to pick his pocket and not, not eat a 100% shot. Um, you know, that's a little bit of, you know, I'm not going to try to go into depth and tell you, you know, like how to play the game the right way and everything. But uh, I, I'm alluding to some things. The rest of it, you got to figure it out by yourself. But uh, fighters are the most dangerous in the first round, if you know what I mean. They're the most dangerous when they're fresh. Uh, so I've been I've been working them and working them and working them. And uh, I, I opened up my uh, my defense a little bit and I got caught with a power straight. And you see, I back off. I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let you, uh, you know, open me up like that. Eyes on you. Oh, you yeah. know, you got eyes on you. You have to perform. 100%. Once you get over those nerves, you'll be all right. So and even before the fight even starts, if you tune into his live, the mental games. Ooh, nasty left hooks. Oh, he's taking him to Hook City. So, so I guess I'm not. So I, w I, I clearly I missed the there was a rock that I believe that happened in the second round, but I guess because they're watching it from my live stream or whatever, you couldn't see uh, at whatever point when Gotti rocked me. He rocked me, got me scared, got me thinking, 
and I made an adjustment. So if you if you noticed uh, what was going on in the first two rounds, he was catching me with that lead body uppercut. As I told you, I'm not going to give out the sauce. I made an adjustment and the adjustment manifested right there. And this one adjustment that I make uh, is pretty much, um, he doesn't have any more tools in the bag after, after I destroy his lead body uppercut. He doesn't have another go-to. His, his, uh, what I seen out of him is he was trying to set me up for a power straight. He was trying to eat me up with the lead body uppercut. And, uh, and he has some, some power jabs. And every now and then, he'll, he'll throw a hook with some pressure. But he really doesn't have any tools in the back. Uh, he's just wait. He's just trying to catch and shoot. He'll wait for me to sh to uh, to jab him or hit him with a right straight, and then he'll return fire. And that is that's not good enough. It's not good enough. Nasty left hooks to the, to the head. You see how he focuses his damage on one portion of the body. That's the most effective way to get the stun to finish it off. Can he and finish off the the knockout he right here? He gets rocked. Yeah. And the bam man surviving by the hair on his chinny chin chin going into the what are we going into the second round now? That was only round one. No, that was round two. We're going into the third round. My apologies. Fourth round. Fourth round. We went into the fourth round. And the card predictions are up. Bam man taking round two. So we're up two one in the favor of BZ on the cards with a stun in his favor. Eating a straight coming out of Bam. <laughs> you know, I said it before. I told you I'm going to say it multiple times. It's not how you start. It's how you finish. Bizarre starting off with the outstanding uh, performance right now. But if the, if anybody knows how to beat Bizarre, it's, I've got the sauce. But I'm not going <laughs> to share it today because that would be just anti-MBK. <laughs> He's got the sauce. Watch out, y'all. Jay Surge has got the sauce. I've already I've already conceded that J Surge is the leader the the number one fighter in MBK. You can't you can't call yourself the best if you don't beat the best and I have yet to beat the best. So uh, I will call myself number 2. Very technical fighters. And we see him J Surge is the is the real corner coach. Well, you know what? At the end of the day, it just comes. Oh, as it was, you say that Bam Man coming oh. in with his own stun. Okay, there it is. Trying to finish off Bizarre right now into round four. Can he get the knockdown? Bizarre trying to survive, doing the best he can, and he does survive. Okay, so I thought the rock came in the second round. It actually comes in the fourth round. He rocks me, but I already knew that he was going to be able to get that rock. So I, I actually made my adjustment before he rocked me and and uh so after he rocks me at this point i decide to uh to do a little bit less a little bit less uh risk reward yeah we all in bk j surge we all in bk i decide to tone down my risk reward and just pick them apart a little bit more because right now Gotti is too powerful i know he's too powerful because he got the rock on me so I gotta, I gotta, you know, take some more parts off this man. I gotta take the muffler off. I gotta take, I, I, I gotta take the headers off. You know what I'm saying? I gotta, I gotta take the oil out. I gotta make sure that uh, I'm dismantling this, this car, this truck. You know what I'm saying? You're not finna hit me. You know, uh, with uh, all, you know, 400 horses of your V8 of your 5.7 liter. Nah, bro, you're not finna catch me with that. I gotta take the spark plug out. You finna be missing a cylinder, fucking with me. All right. So here we go. Wow. Bicycles his whole life. Okay, good job like, uh, by Bam Man. Yeah, I think the so Bam Man bizarre. He's here, that. here, to, here for a war. He says, "You want to go to Hook City? We're going to Hook City. <laughs> Let's bang." Yeah, he trying to bang with me, yo. But I'm the inventor. I'm the inventor. Put on a show of for Hook the crowd. City. Outstanding. I'm the inventor, so you gotta ride behind me. You know, as you noticed, I've been noticing Bam Man keeps catching. Bizarre with that left hook, that quick left hook to the to the jaw, and I think that's what got him that stunned. That's exactly yeah, what no, got I me. I think so as well. That's exactly and, uh, what got me. It seems to be more of the counter punch, and he is landing them as well. I think uh, I don't know if it was a counter punch that landed for him that rocked Bizarre. But uh, yeah. But like I said, I made I made the adjustment. I think 
The ba- well, yeah, the bad man. I made a really good adjustment, and and I'm I'm gonna start giving this man the yeah, sauce. You know, here we go. Nice power straight for bad man. Here we go. I think we got a we got a you knockout coming. A lot coming. of fighters are, are surprised by the pick and and Bizarre's pick here with with Ricky Hatton, a very underrated fighter in the game. He's a in our opinion at MBK is a very well rounded fighter in the game. He can do multiple things all around. He has very good stamina, a very good chin, and his speed his speed is faster than what most can 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 hang with. Now Gotti, on the other hand, he looks like he's getting tired here. We're only in the fifth round with two minutes left. It looks like he's he's starting to slow down just a little bit. Man, no, yeah, I agree. Like because of he's starting to slow down because I made so him slow much. down. I started to use Ricky Hatton. Oh, as we say that, oh. we get a stun out of Bizarre. A left hook to the face stuns the Bam Man. Can Bizarre finish him off and put him down in the mat to silify the win in this round? No. Absolutely not. Bam Man survives again. Outstanding heart by this man. He's the Bam Man. On the so, right side of his face. So I got him. I, I, I got him yeah, lined the, up now. The face of the Bam Man right now is as red as his gloves. I got him yeah, lined up right now. Those, uh, those rocks are easier and easier moving forwards, I think. I got him lined up. I know exactly. Zar knows where the damage has been done. He knows what his job is right now. He's going to find a way to just pick apart at that left, that right side of uh, Gotti's face right now. Yep, that's exactly what's happening. He's really trying to I... stamp that, uh, they get the hook city on his face, but it just won't go down. That's exactly what's happening. He's pressure well, too. Like, he's not really allowing Batman to, to work his game plan. Yeah, and that's, that's exactly what Jay Surge said early in the fight, that Bizarre just doesn't oh, let his opponent breathe at all. Exactly. I'm not... Yeah, it kind of forces you to stand and get your ass kicked. So. I'm not going to let you sit back and take a water, oh, he'll a water break on me. He'll force you to step into that phone booth one way or another. If he's going to chase you down and put you in it, he's going to do it. He's 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 master the art of, of forcing you to fight his fight. And if you've ever fought Bizarre, you know it's not just stressful in the game. You're sweating, your palms are sweating, your nerves are on edge. He's he's putting every bit of the heat on you in every possible way, every physical way. So, like I said, I made an adjustment, and I'm on I'm, I'm well. on his head. Obviously, right side of the face of Batman is swelling up, so he's starting to load up that ticket. So I made I made the adjustment, man, and Again, he just head movement from he's the man. he's not able to he's, he's not able to adjust to my adjustment. To he doesn't have any more tools in the bag. So all I'm doing is bringing the pain. Stay out the phone booth. I'm bringing the pain, but I'm also being cautious. Uh, again, because... right here, the difference between Bazaar and myself, um, a little bit of this, you know, secret sauce here is, is uh -oh, he six tell rounds it. in. I know I've won the fight. I know I won the fight too. Uh, I already I'm not know as it's hungry over. for the knockout as he's going to be, so he's going to stay in your face a lot more. As I say that, he nails another left hook to the right side of Bam Man's face, puts him down this time oh, in round six. My. He knows he knows exactly what he's talking about. As expected, Hook City coming out on top. <laughs> he knows exactly what he's talking Look, about. If you want to be the best, for the you're going to have to beat the best. I'm hungry for the KO. And right now, Bazaar is the best. I know I had to fight one. But I had to put on a show for the fans. Everybody want to see the knockout. Coming back out after the knockdown, bizarre, right back in Bam's face. Not letting him breathe one second. Look now. Wait a second. Some of y'all might might have peeped what happened right there, and some of y'all probably didn't. I came out immediately, went straight to the Bam man. I wanted to give him another knockout, but then my spidey senses went off. I punched him one time, and I said, "Oh my God." And Turo Gotti has a perk when after a knockout. When he gets up, he's even stronger for 25 seconds. And my spidey senses went off. I was like, this dude is finna hook me and it might be a flash TKO. So I immediately back off and, I, and I'm trying to count for 25 seconds for him to power down. Put him down again. So the round's almost over, so I'm like... You know Even what? those left hooks to the right side of his face doesn't matter that much. Bam out has to do something to protect his face. He has to see how damaged. He has to feel it by now. You, you have to adapt. Quit letting Bizarre just turn you into chopped liver. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think I, I'd like to see... And I'm pounding him. I'm out, pounding him. As I said, but he needs to move to the left. Avoid them uh, left hooks from Bizarre. 
So we see the scorecard. I think at this point, I'm three. I got a three point lead, and the fight is yeah. literally and, over. And if you guys notice the difference in the last fight, as as good as the fight was, and the fight before that, I mentioned it multiple times. The combos, spreading the combos out in this game, just are not as effective as they need to be. Bizarre doing a really good job at focusing his damage at one part of the body, and it's it's paying off right now. You know the the, the right side of Van Man's face is tender. It's not going to take much to put him where you want him to be. Yeah, one hundred percent. So, and the one thing that that I did bad in this game is I I'm ate I ate it. one too many right, uh, body bit. punches. My stam yeah, got bad. got a little out Where of control, a little out of control. But I was, I was already in the, in the, in the lead. update we received today. You know, there's extra stuff done with the cuts and the bruising and 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 all the damage factors to to the to the head now, that that you know weigh its own value. Bizarre doing a good job of slowing down, trying to control the pace now, realizing that you yeah. know he's got the fight won seven rounds in, out of ten. Yeah, he's already knocked him down one time. He knows Try he's got him on his back foot. That's exactly no right. Need I'm trying to, to over. Trying exhaust to, yourself right now. That's exactly what I was thinking. He's got him hurt to the head, hurt to the body. Qu I'm, questioning his decisions. That was that was a very good commentary. Like that's exactly what I'm thinking right now. Uh, uh, I know I know the fight is over. with them left hooks. I'm um, starting to notice Bizarro is kind of doubling up more on the crosses. Uh, yeah, the cuts are in custom lobbies. Yes, they are. They just made the cuts happen more yeah, often. A little bit of boxing IQ for those out there. You know, a little history. You know, Bizarre doing a really good job at using Ricky Hatton for what he what he is in real life, and that's just a swarmer in your face, not going to let you breathe at all. Punches and bunches. You know, no no f's given from Ricky Hatton, and that that's how he is in real life. If you're going to have yeah. to knock him down. So. Ooh, I was uh, swelling on the right side. I was face. all on him on again. Now. I don't think he can eat too many more hooks. I think we're gonna get another rock coming up here. It's a ten round oh, fight, so round we only got two ten. more rounds to go. Um, I know I got the fight in the so bag. The only thing I have to do is really don't get knocked out. Up, what do you think the Batman has to do now, Jace at this point in the fight? Batman needs to utilize the ring a little more. Stay uh, at this point, it's it's almost impossible to win the fight on the cards. He, he he's forced to come in and try to do damage and get a knockdown to steal these rounds away from Bizarre. A um, little harder said than done. At the same time, Bizarre's not going to let him breathe very much. So uh, he's got to find a way to do that with using the ring, moving around and picking his shots again, finding the target that he wants to focus on and 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 and, and hit the target. Don't focus on hitting the body as much at this point in the round. It's in the fight. It's too late. You need to get a knockdown. So every now and then you'll notice that uh, the the Gotti will mix it up and he'll he'll throw a right He's at me. Knock out. So oh, knock his out. right is kind of keeping me at bay just a little bit. We got two rounds left. There's I'm, a minute I'm left paying attention to his left. Round. And uh, it's it's do or die right I'm now. I'm pretty sure I can knock him out, pressure. but I gotta make sure that I don't get caught with a right Gotti's when just, he switches it in up. In my opinion, would not have been the fighter that I picked, knowing that I'm gonna go against Bazaar. Um, I don't know if he was aware of who he was fighting before he was was to fight, but as we say that, Bazaar with another left hook to the right side of the face, put him down with a follow up. So, down he goes. Hook to the body. Down he goes. Moonwalk out. The the same the adjustment that Another I made in round, round two eight. is bizarre. Trying to put the fight to the end. The adjustment I made in round two is still working in round eight. He did not adjust to my adjustment. The most he ever did was throw a right that kept me at bay a little bit. I was like, okay, be be a little bit weary of that right. But outside of that, he didn't readjust. You know what I'm saying? He he was doing some things good. And uh, and I made an adjustment to counteract that, and uh, he tried to work my body, but I I, I just wouldn't allow him to uh, stay effective with the body, and uh, and I just I stayed on top of it. If you know Bizarre, he's not known to go to the final round of the fight. He wants to put you down way before we even get there, and the eighth round is good enough for him. Going into the ninth now, and that's very true. I do want the KO, but one thing I also uh, realize is Gotti's got that the other the other trait 
a, re, a relentless warrior or something like that where Gotti can get up like three or four times. So I'm looking at my health. I'm looking at my stamina. I got two knockdowns, but it's really only about one knockdown in Gotti's world. And I need two more, maybe even three more. And there's only uh, like one or two rounds left. So I'm like, yo, I got the... I got the win in the bag. The worst thing I could do is go out here and let and let uh, Gotti, you know, slowly dismantle me, rock me, and then uh, you know, knock me down three times in the tenth round. That would be horrible. So uh, I continue to put on a show for the fans, but I'm also making sure that uh, I stay safe and that uh, I come home with the dub. He's gonna come out strong. I promise. Bam Man's gonna and his corner men are gonna have to come out with a strategy because he's hurt and they know he's hurt and most importantly Bizarre knows he's hurt and he's gonna come out like a freaking hornet's nest and take him to Hook City. And I I predict another knockdown within the first thirty seconds of this round. And if that prediction Bam Man does not do some adjustments here. That prediction it would be a hundred percent right. But at this point, I'm I'm guarding my W. I'm guarding my W at this point. I got I got nothing to lose. The fight is won, so uh, you know what I'm saying. Uh, work harder, or work smarter, not harder. I don't have to get this knockout. I want it real bad. It's you know it's burning my veins up. But I know God, he still has knockout power, and the W is in my back pocket, so I'm not gonna jeopardize it. I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna be smart. I'm not gonna jeopardize it. He's trying to bait me in with some some pretty big counters. He's very counter heavy. Uh, Bizarre turning me into a liar right now. Being a little bit more methodical with what he's trying to do. He knows he's got the fight in the bag. <laughs> yes. Uh, Good. Not taking anything away from Bam Man, but he's looking extremely tired right now. We haven't yet to see him go into uh, loose foot trying to fight against Bizarre. He's he's just set on and, and, and hard headed on trying to meet him and meet Bizarre in the phone booth, and and earn his respect in that manner but in my opinion it's just not the best decision right now it's definitely he's not. gotta find a he's gotta find an opening it's not the best decision the color in the face is on the right side of his face right he's 1.5 is a bit too much for heavy quit moving to the right side of nah, uh it's not or rather the left side of uh bizarre and eating that left hook Right there. Every time he steps down, he tries to rotate. Bizarre's going to catch him with that left hook every time. If I'm Batman, I'm circling to his right side and I'm throwing that power right straight. Circle with that. Circle with the circle with your jab. Get a step and jab in there. Open up a combo. Throw off Bizarre from what he's doing and 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 capitalize on a on a power shot of some sort. We haven't seen many power shots as I'm now that I you know mention it. We haven't seen many power shots thrown from either fighter so again he's still really surprised that we haven't seen any power straights from uh he's still, Bam Man he's still attacking my body i myself have seen a lot of openings from bizarre that, that could be utilized on under 10 seconds now going into the final round did not see a knockdown in that fight both fighters putting on an outstanding show right now he's going um, to my body hats off to Bam man for last he stayed going to my body the entire fight so he put me in a stamina situation i didn't want to be in but it just wasn't enough I, I like i said i made an adjustment and it was just too little too late and i destroyed him on all those rounds i got you know damn near every single card and i got two knockdowns and uh, all i had to do was just play it safe you sign up for this weekend uh the tournament j surge you talking about the uh it's going to be a cruiserweight tournament i'm not very excited about it um if you think i should fight in it man i might i might start practicing cruiserweight today so that i could be ready for it but i i care little to nothing about about cruiserweight but i say yeah you fighting in it all right i can i can put on my cruiserweight my cruiserweight uh shorts you know my big boy shorts and as long as he has taken 
bizarre to the deep water, and that's how you got to do it. But now's your time. You you there's no no time like now. There is no tomorrow. Bam man needing to do something, needing to put a, put an end to this massacre right now. We need a flash KO out of him if he has any chance of coming out on top in this fight. Bizarre, knowing he has the W in the bag, in my opinion, doesn't need to risk a flash knockout because anything, if anything, we know anything can happen in this game. And risking a flash knockout by the underdog in this. So right here, I'm pretty, I'm pretty uh, stamina deprived. But uh, I'll go ahead and give you the sauce on this. You see the you see the little short uppercuts to the chin, boy. I'm trying to sneak them. You know, I want I want a KO win, and I'm trying to I'm trying to sneak that chin and get me a fucking KO win. But I can't break his guard, so I, I have to abandon uh, abandon that strategy. This game is 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 a high possibility right now. Needs to play a little more on the fence. Knows he's got the fight in the bag. Don't risk the flash knockout. But I know I'm talking to a dead tree when I say that to Bizarre. He don't give a damn. <laughs> in your face, I'm going for the knockout. Yes, that's what I was doing. I'm in the face going for the knockout. Uh, eventually, I throw an uppercut, and he, I think he catches me on the chin, and I, and I, and I retreat, and I'm just like, you know what? I got I got the dub in, in the bag. Back, I don't I don't oh, he was have. Just working something in the background. We was we were holding it down. I was like, I don't have to give him this fight. The fight is completely over. I don't. Why are y'all talking over me? These assholes are just ignoring everything I say. I don't have to give this guy anything at this point, but I'm trying not to make it boring for the fans that came to watch. So I eat a few punches. I return a few punches, but it's absolutely over with. No, I did read the chat, and we got uh, the purest gamer in here. He did say Bizarre is one of the best fighters in the game. And hey, the purest put on a fantastic performance himself in the Monday Night Contender. If Bizarre and uh, Purist do happen to sign up to next Wednesday night's card, you know. Yeah, that'd be a good fight. And of course, you know, we're all waiting on that bizarre J Surge round two. You know what I mean? <laughs> Can't wait for that oh, one. Oh, man. They're lining me hey, up. Pure, yeah, I got the purest in. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Pierce Gamer. He's a he's a well-known member of the community as well. The purest... Shout out to him. If you're looking for a camp, brother, you know where we're at. MBK. All day. And hey, no as expected. No no, <laughs> no poaching. <laughs> the purists, they want to line me up with yeah. the purists, and they want to line me up as with, expected. With Bizarre coming out on top for sure. Not expecting a card victory. If there would have been two more rounds in that fight, a guaranteed knockout is unquestioned. We've seen a couple of split glimpses of Hook City. We got two knockdowns. Who's winning? Who's winning? I think. Uh, you game? Wow. You playing some cool kid race? Some some Madden? What you doing? So here, it looks like you're yeah, I go back to work tomorrow. So that was pretty good, man. Uh, yo, I mean, if anybody was actually sitting there watching it with me there for a while, I, I do got 18 viewers, but I don't know if people were really paying attention. If y'all are really paying attention and you got any questions about the fight, I'll be I'll be happy to answer uh, a couple questions. Obviously, I'm not going to give away any fight mechanics, anything like real, real in-depth. But uh, you know, if you got some some lighthearted questions, then uh, I'll be happy to answer. Um... Yeah, <laughs> MBK is stacked, baby. I told him we top heavy, J Surge. I've been telling these guys the camp is stacked. We top heavy as shit. Yo, uh, we might uh, you know, uh, we might have to talk to Nate. Nate might be ready. Um, to 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 debut in the cruiserweight tournament, you know what I'm saying? Nate might might come out, and uh, yo, that would be ferocious if Nate debuts in the in the cruiserweight tournament. What I've seen him do, whoo, 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 it might be some lightning, some real excitement in there. So uh, that's crazy. We are definitely top heavy, and I've been warning people that we got some members in NBK that have not debuted that are really nice. 
when I say nice, I mean like you ain't seen nothing yet in the in these uh tournaments. You haven't seen anything yet because all the NBK ain't fighting. Uh, King Dre has not debuted, it, and you know what? That guy right there, the Bam Man that I just fought, he has a little. He's got a little bit of King Dre in him. If you've seen the Bam Man fight, King Dre's got a uh uh got got some of that, but uh uh King Dre's a a, a lot. More, he's got way better defense. Um, he's got that statue defense, and uh, he uh, when I get done with him. When I get done with King Dre, uh, you hey, know what I'm hey, saying? Hey, 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 now, hey, now. He's going to be, uh, Slow down. All right. he's really going to put them paws on you. Yo, what's up, Reek? How you doing, man? We was just doing a little uh, in-fight analysis on, uh, uh, in-depth analysis on the fight that I had earlier on the uh, co-main event. How you doing? So watch out for... Watch out for J Surge. He hasn't. J Surge, you know, is a, he's a busy man. He really hasn't been in a lot of events, but you did see him take me down. Uh, you know, like I said, top top fighter, MBK's top heavy. Look out for J Surge. Look out for me. Look out for King Dre, and look out for my man Nate. I think Nate is one of the most deadliest players I've ever went up against. I'm talking. I'm talking one punch man, deadly. He will shatter your world. People are going to be yelling cheats. He will shatter your life. Watch out for Nate. I'm telling you right now, the warning has been sent. You've seen it here first. The fighters to get in the ring with them won't believe it. All I can tell you is believe it. I can't believe it's not butter spray. Believe it. The real meter man. If you don't pay your light bill, Nate Dog will show up and turn your fucking lights out. <laughs> Look at that. Hyper Wayne is vouching. He 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 let you in on on a little bit of the sauce. Nate Dog will be in the back of your house checking the meter and will turn your shit off. You will not be playing video games today. Nate will turn it off. The meter man is real. Yo, we got another meter man too. Um, we got another guy with, with lightning in a bottle. Um, Ice House. Watch out for Ice House. Um, I don't know when he'll have a debut, but Ice House got some lightning in a bottle. Um... I don't know what I'm finna do, y'all. Shit. Let me let me uh let me uh look on my computer. Let me see if I got any messages or anything. Um I don't I don't pay attention. I have to get in here and pay attention to my messages. Make sure I know what's going on. Okay, I got that request from Zay. I don't know who the hell this is. Some girl trying to message me. Chick, I don't know you. Um I'm just gonna go ahead and ignore that. I do not know that person. Um, got some new messages. Uh, okay, we got. I got a. I got a good little DM messages right here. Let me read this. Just wanna know, make it official. So if you can get me the lots of dope, on the Discord, I'll have the P. But even if not, it'd be good to have the whole team on Discord. So I can tag everyone for the official roster. Okay, that's a cool little message right there. That's cool. Um, um, if you see me fight in the DGL, as of right now, they got me ranked number three in the DGL. So I'm looking, I'm looking up the ladder, and I need to take out uh, Ken Mura and switch and switch flip. Uh, yeah, I'm calling you out. Number two and number one on the DGL uh, ladder. And I don't know if uh, Fight Night's Finest is actually a player, but I guess he is. He's got the, the crown. So I'm calling I'm calling out the crown. Fight Night's Finest. I'm calling out Switch Flip. I'm calling out Kimur. 
catch these motherfucking hands, bro. Run that shit. Come out them pockets, cuz. Bow! I'm calling you out anytime, any place. Or set me up on the DGL car. Get knocked out like your father did. Um, let's see here. I can never read that one on the ACA. This shit's just too cluttered in that thing. Uh, I don't need none of that. I don't need none of that. All right. Um, what else? Okay, so I'm done reading that stuff. I need to find a new fighter, though. Gotti is Canadian, so I'll maybe grind on him. But I'm sort of taking a break from this. Just spars here and there. Gotti's a great fighter, bro, but Gotti is a front runner. You cannot fall behind in the fight and expect to win as Gotti. So you got to watch out for that. He's got low defense. You cannot fall behind. If you fall behind, bro, it's GG. It, GG, it looks a little bit like this. The little boxing gloves, the GG. You know what I'm saying? And, and right before somebody says D, GG, um, you're probably going to see some uh, Hook City emotes and some uh, sleeping pillows. Maybe a MBK logo and some uh, BZ logos. And uh, and then finally, they uh, hit you with the GG. You know it's over with. It kind of goes uh, you know, somewhat in that order. Um, the Hook City's coming. You're like, oh, shit. And then uh, next thing you know, the pillow comes out and you're sleeping like this, well rested, well rested. <laughs> as my man Duke says, <laughs> as E-Man Duke says, well rested. And then uh, the MBK logos come out, everybody's chanting, everybody's chanting. I'm going to shine that motherfucker up real nice, turn that some bitch sideways and stick it up your Rudy Poo candy ass. It's exactly how it goes down, and then you'll see some B, some uh, some BZ logos and some GG, and that's all she wrote. The hooks are, he said, since the hooks are so important now, Duke is coming for y'all. Duke is coming for you all soon. I'll spar him every day, and he'll be. Uh oh, watch out. Watch out. I didn't I didn't put somebody's name on the list when I said MBK was top heavy. Watch out for E Man Duke. He coming with the showstopper. The he's he he's the next up on that on that on that uh uh one punch man. He the next one punch man. I know I know Nate is already here and, and, and Duke is just licking his chops, man. He just he just putting all the food on a plate. And then as soon as you get ready to eat, when you you get your spoon together and you open it up. He's just going to boom, knock all the food and shit right out your motherfucking mouth. What happened? That's what's going to happen when you get in the ring, get in the ring with E-Man Duke. What happened? We came to see a fight. I paid $50 for, for pay-per-view and it was a one-hit knockout. What the? F <laughs> I want my money back. That's what's going to happen in some Duke fights. I'm telling you right now. I smell it. <laughs> I smell Duke cooking up in the kitchen. I smell it. Don't say I didn't tell you so. When you're talking about old flash knockouts are so random, this, this, blah, 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 blah. I don't want to hear that shit when Duke done laid your ass out. And I, <laughs> I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Don't come here. Don't come to NBK talking about some random ass shit. I already warned you. Um, let me uh close my window. Or no, I'm gonna leave that window up. Let me uh let me move this over here and see what some other people is doing. Some other streamers, real quick. Let me lurk. Let me lurk while I'm on the job. Let me lurk. Uh, I told y'all to check out my boy Holder Holder TV. If you ain't watching them right now, or if you don't want to watch them right now, watch them later. Holder TV six. Uh, he's playing uh, NBA 2K23 at the moment. He's also an avid Battlefield 2042 player, and he just got nothing but chill vibes. Uh, and I know y'all seen my boy Ben Lagging was up in here. He's also a guy that's nothing but chill vibes, just laid back, got the music going and everything. Y'all know Joe from the John. You know, I put my whole team on. Even if you're not in NBK, people that fuck with me, 
back when nobody was fucking with me, y'all. I'm putting I'm putting them out there. I'm promoting them. I'm promoting them. These my these my dogs. I'm promoting them, and you can't tell me that I can't promote them. You can't tell me who I can promote. Uh, like I said, uh, SV underscore E man the dupe. Shout him out. Shout him out. Even though he got a little dog and he cost me uh 50 bits today, you know what I'm saying? It can be forgiven because the dog was free. It was a gift. Um, uh, but in the future. Uh, if anybody gifts you a little dog, just say no to little dogs. Get you a Rockwaller, get you a Pitbull, get you a Doverman, something like that, man. You got me out here making bad predictions with uh with Max. Bad predictions with Max, all right? Um We got some more guys that we got a guy like Tank Tank uh Tank Thompson. I think I said his name right. I already scrolled. I think I said his name right, Tank Thompson. Oh my dude, smoking Joe, the goat. Sometimes he up in here, sometimes he ain't up in here. Smoking Joe. Slayer TV. I know some of y'all probably done seen Slayer TV. That's good people's. You know my man Angles. That's some real good people, man. When I seen Angles fighting, boy, I knew I had to stay in the gym. I knew I had to up my game. Cause Angles been piecing people up since day one. Uh, gotcha, Mitch. I, f I found out he had a little bit of the dark man, <laughs> the dark man in his family. Uh, gotcha, Mitch. Yo, he doing it up, doing it up. I'm scrolling down my list. I'm lo I'm looking for everybody. I'm looking for everybody. Hold on. Okay, my boy Nate. Nate is it's T R V P Nate. Like, follow, and subscribe. That's the man. That's he's deadly. Deadly. We got Joe from the John. We got Click Fate. We got the real Chew. Shouting them all out. Pol Polish. Polish be up in my thing every day, man. I got him on VIP status. He be up in here every day. Y'all gonna see Polish. That's my dog. I don't know if he if he streams or anything like that, but I'm gonna shout him out anyways. Uh, and King Dre, King Dre is an avid Battlefield One player. He also plays Battlefield 2042, and he will be debuting soon on Undisputed. You know, with the with the with the with the big badass impressive uh, rig. Man, he gonna knock your ass out in 4K, 500 frames per second. It's gonna look like slow mo. You gonna be in the matrix, and then you gonna eat that motherfucker right straight. And you gonna be talking about desync and shit like that. I'm gonna say you should have spent more money. <laughs> It ain't no decent. You should have spent more money. Go to work. Uh, my boy, this ex Glock works, man. That dude was supporting me with, with nobody up in here. And he was my biggest heckler. My my biggest fan. And you know, he he giving it to me raw. Alright. And y'all know J Surge. Y'all know J Surge. I'm scrolling down a list, man. I got a lot of people on this motherfucker. I ain't believe. Damn, I follow so many people. All right, I made it to the bottom. That was it. That was it. I made it to the bottom of the list on all the shout outs. Uh, oh, Joe from the John. Let me see. Let me get called back up on the on the text. All right, it says, since Hooks Duke is coming for y'all, he got the skills. He got the hands of stone. Yo, Bert. Ah, oh, you missed the event, Bert. That's my that's my other dog. Yo, let's shout out Bert. My other dog, yeah, you missed the event, bro, and, I, and and you missed the event, and you missed the uh the instant replay, bro. I went back and uh watched the whole fight. It, oh, I went back and watched the whole fight all over again, and we did an in depth analysis of the fight. You missed the the original and the instant replay. Oh man, you know, you know our people. We be running late. You know our people be running late, but I I love my people. Regardless, cause I'm a, I'm a late dude too, man. Boy, clock start at I mean work start at one o'clock, man. I clock in at three and just start hustling. I start doing two hours worth of work in one hour. <laughs> I show up late to work like a motherfucker. Everybody know it. 
me get a shout out to Bird. But anyways, Bird, I got the dub. Boy, I took him to hit to Hook City real quick, bro. I, I uh, uh, I John walled his ass, took him to Hook City real quick, packed him up nice and neat. He had a little bitty box like this. I told him to get the fuck on. I gave him a little bitty FedEx box like this. I said, man, all you need is a little fresh pair of drawers and maybe a toothbrush in here and get the fuck on. Shit, quit playing with me. He said, he said, ranked 500 frames per second. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's how he gonna look in slow-mo. His rig is so hot. He'll KO you before the fight even lows. Yeah, for real. He gonna be in there quick. Uh if he is the if he is the biggest and right up in here next to him, my man. Uh damn. Work been wild today. Yeah, yeah, bro. I know how work is. <laughs> I know how work is. Yeah, man. Yeah, Bert. I gave him the business, man. Yeah. Yeah, I gave him the business, man. He tried to come in there and get me with a few little little lead body uppercuts and you know how to make an adjustment. And I I I came in there just full on slap, powder up. He didn't want none. He didn't want none. On guard. Touche. I did him. On guard. <laughs> Tow that ass up. You know what? I'm feeling I'm feeling a little froggy. I'm feeling a little froggy today. Let me go back in the rank, man. Let y'all y'all, you know, I talk a whole lot and be like, man, this dude number top, man. He ain't shit. I don't ever see him in in rank. I don't ever see him in rank. I don't ever see him going up against any type uh top opponents in undisputed. I just see him in competition matches and I think they rigged. I think people just be losing for him and shit. He paying them off. He sending them bits behind the scene. I ain't sent nobody no bits. I'm finna knock the bits out this boy. I'm finna knock the rings up out of his ass. Dr. Robotnik is here. I'm finna slap the shit out of Sonic. <laughs> knock the shoes right off his ass. Run now, hedgehog. <laughs> finna knock them little dusty ass uh, Nikes right up off you. Y'all seen the new Sonic movies? Them hoes is clean, bro. I'm gonna hit his ass like Knuckles. When he first met Knuckles, he was trying to spin. He was... And Knuckles said, Boom! Wakanda forever. <laughs> That's how I'm gonna get your ass. Quit playing with me, cuz. Oh, you want me to get 100 points? Uh, I could, I could try, I could try to go for a hundred points on Undisputed. When's the last time you did one X? Bro, what you think, what you think about when you play ranked? I'm also Undisputed and you get versus a gold or a plat three or four. Man, I feel like leaving because, you know, if you lose, it's like 15 points and you only get one or two points if you win. They gotta fix that. Yeah, bro. Um, I that's exactly how I feel, man. When I come into a fight and uh I'm undisputed and they put me up against a, a goal one or a plat four, I feel like bro, this is a setup. I got everything to lose and they got they got nothing to lose. If I beat them, they won't lose any points. Uh if they win, they'll gain fifteen or twenty points. Uh if if I lose I'm going to lose 15 or 20 points. And if I win, I get a big fat goose egg. So that's some bullshit. But uh, like you should, they should never set you up for, uh, you should, you should never, I'll put it to you like this. The situation is you should never get matched up into a fight where if you win, you get a goose egg. I really don't even feel like they should match you up to a fight where if you win, you get one point. I think that's bad too. I just beat the guy and I got two points. I could take two points, but one point? Come on, bro. You got me in here risking it all, my life on the line, for for one point or zero points? You got me giving up the sauce to these rookies for zero points? He get to eyeball me and, fig and you know figure out how to fight for zero points? Nah, bro. That's that's not how it's supposed to go. You gotta you gotta earn your shot in the ring. You gotta earn it. You gotta earn it. But I guess what they're trying to say is like if you're undisputed and you get you get lined up with a uh, 
with a goal four, a uh, goal one or a plat four, you should win. No way in hell should you lose to a plat four. Well, obviously, I shouldn't lose to a plat four, but also, obviously, a plat four should never have the chance to sniff my dirty draws. That's how I feel about a plat four. He shouldn't, he, sh he can't hold my jock strap. That's how I feel about a plat four. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they start running and all that, all that fuckery. Yeah, bro. <sighs> yeah, the the running the running fuckery is real, y'all. You know what? And I'm supposed to be talking to my wife. My wife said call her back in an hour. Um, <clears throat> it's already, I think it's already been like an hour and 30 minutes. So after this fight, um, I might raid somebody. I might raid somebody and uh, I got to I gotta get in some uh, some one-on-one -on -one time with the wifey. You know what I'm saying? I got to talk to her. And then uh, after that, um. After that, after I get done talking to her, she'll probably want to talk for like an hour or two. It'll be it'll be eight o'clock when I get on the phone call with her. She'll probably want to talk for like an hour or two. It's eight o'clock Central Time. Then uh, it'll probably be about ten o'clock. So probably about ten o'clock Central Time. I'll probably sign back on and maybe uh, I'll be able to chop it up with my boy J Surge and King Dre and the rest of some MBK members, and we can just really be on some chill vibe shit. We gon we gonna put the stream, the live stream on cruise control. That's what we gonna do. It's gonna be on cruise control. Oh my god, bro! The same shit we was talking about. Look at this, undisputed versus platform. I'm gonna get a big goose egg. This is the worst matchup ever. Um, Canelo's gonna lose, and this is a waste of my time and a waste of y'all's time watching me destroy Canelo. This is a waste of fucking time. Um. So when I come back, we're gonna put it on cruise control and just kill uh just chill with the boys. We just gonna kick it, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna kick it with with the best personalities and undisputed, the best people I know. I'ma hang out with my undisputed family, you know, probably uh 10 p.m. man. 10 p.m. We got real love up in here, man. Real love up in MBK. And and members outside of MBK. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know what, man? I, I've been, I've been, uh, I've been hesitant to, um, you know, have replays showing. You know, I'm sure people that are really interested, really interested in me. I'm sure people that are really interested in me are probably watching my replays. But I've been very hesitant to like, um, save clips and replays of uh like really crucial yeah really crucial stuff you know what i'm saying i don't want to give everybody the sauce and you know they you know they're gonna pick up on on everything that i'm doing i let i let y'all watch I, I yeah i let y'all you know peep it you know in real time but most people can't see everything that i'm doing in real time they don't see the strategy but if i put it on if i put it on a clip on an instant replay then they gonna put that they gonna put that thing you know in a loop over and over and over and eventually they gonna be like oh yeah I see the sauce eventually they gonna be like oh yeah so I I don't I don't know if I'm gonna do that or not I'm thinking if I did do that if I did put up clips I would probably put it on my YouTube on my YouTube channel uh you know as like like as an instructional or something like that to try to try to get more views and you know more monetizing and things like that yeah commenting you know i would probably try to do it for a little bit of money something like that but i i really don't want to give up all the secret sauce i'm really trying to keep the sauce on the in-house so it might it might be a while before the for those videos come out it might be like i might wait till the game actually actually releases before i give out the real secret sauce like that oh my goodness it's over with for this guy 
Body shots, then head. Body shots, then head. Body yaddy 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 yaddy. Huh? Y'all know how to turn in the Voltron? Y'all know how to turn in the Voltron? Leg, what is it? What Voltron do? Leg, leg, arm, head. Or is it? Was it arm, leg, leg, arm, head? Voltron, baby. Arm, leg, leg, arm, head. You don't know how to turn in the Voltron. Defender of the universe in this motherfucker. You don't know how to turn in the Voltron. Bro, he almost caught the fade right there. I almost hit him with, with the Thanos punch. You know what I'm saying? I almost ended his shit. He got snapped out of existence. I almost Thanos that motherfucker. What had happened was, what had happened was, Yo, what you doing, big homie? What you doing? Throw them things. Come on, big homie. Come on, big homie. But he turtled up, bro. He in a turtle shell like a motherfucker. Let me break his shell. I'm going to go to the body. I got to break the shell. He turtled up. I seen him tuck the elbows. You took the elbows? I'll pop you in your motherfucking forehead. Tuck the elbows, pop them in the forehead. Look at them. He don't know what to do. He don't know what to do right now. He's like, oh my god, this dude is throwing a flurry of punches. What do I do? The flurry. What do I do? Burr. He throwing a flurry of punches. Canelo is really easy to beat with, with Royal Leonard. Just one, two from a distance. Once the face is tomato, just go in with the hooks. Man, you heard what the man said. You heard what the man said. I'm not going to disagree with him. You heard what he said for real. Even if Canelo was really good... It's still easy. Oh, man. The guys, they've been watching the fights. They've been analyzing. They've been seeing what I'm doing. Easy. Yeah, yeah. I like to give on the show, too. You know what I'm saying? I like to I like to let them think, you know, the, the fight's close. You know, let them feel like they win in a little bit. I like to let them feel, feel a little special. Uh, you guys could end this real quick. Yes, I could end it real, real quick. So you're just distant spamming and you think you're good? I mean, the whole point of the game is to is to punch somebody and not to get punched. This is boxing, baby. That's the whole point of the game. To knock their ass out and don't get knocked out. But I get in the phone booth, you know what I'm saying? Canelo's got a good chance to knock me out. I let him get in here. But, you know what I'm saying? He not doing what he need to do. He's not doing what he needs to do at all. I'm not I'm not jabbing and running. I'm not jabbing and running at all. He just can't execute. Look at that. Beat his body up, bro. Beat the body up. That boy pissing the red sauce. Nah. Uh, Chan, bro. Chan, bro. If you come back at 10 o'clock, bro, if you come back at 10 o'clock, bro, I'll get, I get you in the ring with me, man. Come back at 10 o'clock, Chan. You know what I'm saying? Catch the code. Catch the code, and I can show you how it go, bro. I can show you how you go inside, outside, mid-side, left side, right side. I can show you how it go, Chan. You must be a little confused. I can show you how it go. Hey, exactly, exactly. Thank you, Jose. Be respectful, bro. 
be respectful. Be respectful, man. That was a good uh the game already implemented 1v1. Um yeah, be 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 respectful, man. You know what I'm saying? I said I don't I don't even think Cham plays the game. He just might be an avid an avid watcher. The fight's already over. I don't even have to throw no more punches. The fight's over with. Obviously. What type of question is that? Well, I mean, this is Twitch. People can watch games that they don't own. Oh, my goodness. That boy got a brick head. Damn, when I'm gonna get a chance to knock this kid out, bro? Ah, he really messing up my stand bar. He messing up my stand bar. This is a freaking plat four. Plat four, and I'm tired of playing with this kid, bro. I'm tired of playing with him already. It's not even a real fight. Freaking hate. I hate. 1x damage, bro. I hate 1x damage. I hate 1x damage because of this reason. I gotta punch this guy a billion damn times to get the win. This shit's annoying. And I'm not even gonna get any points for, for winning this shit. That's a fucking problem. Come on, Camelo. Just go ahead and die. Spam this guy up real hard. Go ahead and die, Camelo. Just die. Ah! I got to soften up his face all day long, bro. How many punches do I got to throw at this guy for his face to get all soft and mushy, bro? Jesus. <laughs> nah, bro. I'm not getting not one point at all. I'm getting a freaking goose egg for dealing with this guy, bro. A goose egg. I'm getting a fucking goose egg, bro. There we go. I really don't I really didn't want to fight this guy for 12 rounds, bro. I got to get him up out of here quick, bro. I don't want to sit here and deal with this shit for 12 rounds. Stick and move. I don't want to jab and run. The fight's over, bro. Just don't get up. Don't get up, bro. The fight is over with. I can't believe that. I can't believe that. Come on, baby. Oh yeah. I got him soft. He like he a little watermelon now. I done softened up his turtle shell. I done got him real soft now. There it is. I done told him guts up. I done told him guts up. Colossomy bag. Pissing blood tonight. Colossomy bag. He definitely don't. He don't deserve a ticket, man. The train gonna leave his ass. Fuck that. You can't even come to... You can't even get hooked in, in Hook City. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hook City don't even want to hook you. Train gonna be like, nah, there's no there's no more standing room on the train. Why I I dis I dispatched him. I dispatched him. Rrr. The, the, the conductor just said, you know, fuck it, bro. He didn't even say all aboard. He just he the train just took off. 
just took off. I'm dragging motherfuckers on the track. Train just took, just started leaving, man. Fuck it, man. Y'all, y'all know what time it is? Fuck it. Put it in drive. Pull the little lever. Psh, get in the drive. Fuck it, bro. Y'all know what time it is? I'm, just, I'm gonna body this guy to death, bro. Like, I'm just gonna body spam him, bro. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna body spam him. I'm tired of looking at this guy. I'm gonna body spam him to death, bro. He cannot protect himself at all. Look at that. He don't know how to protect himself. And I, I wish he would dare call me a spammer, too. I wish he would dare call me a spammer on this 1x damage bullshit versus a plat 4. I wish he would say something to me. I wish he would. He can't protect himself. He he tuck his elbows after I hit him four times. Then I hit him in the head five times. And, and then I go back to his stomach. This man can't protect himself, bro. Look at him. He just hoping. Look at that. He just hoping. He hoping, wishing and praying. Wishing and praying. You got to put the time in the gym, bro. You got to be in the gym. You got to get on a speed bag, the heavy bag, and call me up on Discord. Out of there, cuz. He out of there. You know what I'm doing? You know what I'm doing? Well rested. You know how I do him. I get that boy well rested. I got a I got a two for one pillow sale. Fire sale, y'all. Two for one pillows. I want everybody to get their rest. Watch how they give me a goose egg, bro. I promise you it's gonna be a goose egg. You win zero SP. Goose egg, bro. That shit need to be taken out the game. Zero XP. Goose egg. There's no point in me even playing Undisputed, bro. There's no point in me even playing that shit. Trust me, bro. Trust me. I don't care what the online ranking says. Half of these motherfuckers are disconnectors. I'm a top 50 fighter. That's me being respectful to the rest of the community. I say top 50 because there are some other good fighters in the community. That's me being respectful. I'm not saying I'm the best. I'm not saying I'm top 10. I don't fight every single body. But I'll be hard pressed. I'll be damned if there's 50 people playing this game right now that can whoop my ass. I'll be damned if there's 50 people that can whoop me. I don't think so. I don't think so. You could go to Jerusalem. You could go to Jamaica. You could go to Jan's house. <laughs> you could go to the janitor's closet. You could come to Texas. <laughs> yeah, you could go check the Nile River, bro. You could check the Nile River. You could you could go you could go anywhere, man. You could go to Jupiter. <laughs> you could go to the deepest, darkest depths of the ocean. They might have the internet down there. I don't know. You're not going to come up with 50 people that can beat me in this game right now. You're not going to come up with 50 people. Maybe later. Maybe next month. Maybe next week. Maybe next year. But at this very moment in time, I'm a top 50 fighter. On my mama. On my mama, I'm a top 50 fighter. So, uh... Let me see right here. <laughs> he liked that Jerusalem. <laughs> Oh man. Let me see uh let me see who playing who who's streaming, bro. What day is it? It's a Wednesday, right? It's a Wednesday. Performance for bizarre took uh, every round apart from one. It's a Wednesday. And uh You know what? Um 
we just gonna we're gonna raid my boy man i've been telling y'all about my boy uh holder tv he just balling out right now he's in mbk uh mbk he's in nba not mbk <laughs> nba 2k23 just you know hooping it up chilling doing his thing so uh if you just want some chill vibes and to talk to a real cool dude just laid back and everything go check your man's out bro check your man's out i'm gonna go ahead and raid him the raid button go where's the raid i lost i lost the raid button what the hell i almost 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 messed this up i almost whiffed it i almost whiffed it where'd the raid button go So, uh, I ain't with him, bro. I got the stick. I got the stick, baby. You don't, you don't whiff. You don't whiff, man. When you got the stick, you don't whiff. All right, now I got the raid coming up. We're gonna go check out Hold the TV, y'all. We're just gonna chill, relax. Watch this man dunk on some people, hit a couple swish, you know what I'm saying? Black excellence, black excellence. Here we go. you on the battlefield, I ain't gonna lie to you. I miss you, bro. 